Chapter 51 Invincible Number Ku Yiren stepped on high heels and hurried out of the building. Mr. Chen, are you okay? This daughter-in-law seemed extremely anxious at the moment. Chen Zonging was the person she hired, and he tried to rescue her many times. It is a lifesaver. How can she feel at ease if Chen Zong has an accident? Exclamation mark. But at this moment, when I saw this man standing in the doorway intact, smoking a cigarette, Ku Yiren was actually a little stunned. In her beautiful eyes, a vaguely interesting and inexplicable mist flashed through, but she was soon hidden again. After dozens of minutes, two ambulances rushed in and stopped at the gate of Kiss building. A group of nurses got out of the car and checked Xia Jin Long's physical condition, breathing no fatal damage to the body. The bones are shattered and the internal organs are damaged. The mental state is scared and fainted. The nurses carefully carried Xia Jin Long onto the stretcher and sent him to the ambulance. Where is the other person who fell? The nurses asked hurriedly. According to the report, there were two people who fell down at the scene. But at the scene, only one injured was seen. The people present looked at Chen Zonging with complicated and strange gazes. Someone reached out and pointed. The nurses looked puzzled, stunned. The nurse came to Chen Zonging. Sir, are you the faller? Chen Zonging faintly spit out a smoke ring and nodded. A group of nurses looked at the fair-skinned youth with weird eyes. What's going on? Question mark. Falling down 400 meters. He looks unscathed. Is there any problem with your body? Question mark. Sir, please come to the hospital with us. We will perform a physical examination for you. The nurses said worriedly. No, I'm fine. Chen Zonging slowly let out a smoke ring. Then, in the eyes of everyone's astonishment, he slowly turned around and walked into the building. To him, the 400 meter high altitude jump was just a few steps away because his high altitude jump limit is 30,000 meters high. Pacific East China Sea, violent storms dot 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 30,000 meters in the sky, extreme sky diving and speed drop. This suicide parachuting record that surpassed the limit of human normal physical fitness is still maintained by him, and no one can surpass it. And the name of the recorder, it is also his serial number back then. That number that is respected as invincible in the world. That, the name that has made the whole East so solemn to this day. If we say that death is a demon, then, his name back then was God. In the world, God of invincibility. Dot. Half an hour later, a Jaguar XF sedan rushed from a distance. Crunch. There was a piercing slam of the brakes. The Jaguar slammed across the door of the Kiss building. In the car, there is a long-haired woman sitting. The security guards at the gate of Kiss building did not dare to stop this woman, because of her special status. She is one of the few shareholders behind the Ku group. Fanjin, Mr. F. At the same time, he is also the executive director of the group. Fanjin stepped out of the car with a cold face, looked around with beautiful eyes, and then walked into the building indifferently. Q's building, the 9th floor of the president's office. Ku Yiren is sitting in the office, processing the results of the investigation and cleaning all day today. In one day's investigation, hundreds of illegal and corrupt persons were found. Involved countless senior management. There are even some members of the shareholders meeting. Her eyes were extremely solemn, and the Ku group now dot 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 maybe it has reached the juncture of life and death. The group's internal and external troubles are both under attack. How will she respond to this situation? Bah. At this moment, suddenly the door of the president's office was pushed open. I saw a woman wearing a casual uniform with delicate makeup on her face rushed into the president's office. Her face was as cold as cold, with an inexplicable chill. Fanjin? Ku Yiren looked up, her eyes condensed when she saw the person coming. The visitor is one of the shareholders of Kiss Group, the company's executive director, Fanjin. Ku Yiren, what do you mean? Who allows you? To move my subordinates wantonly? Fanjin didn't have any polite words, stepping up to the point and asking aggressively. She pointed out that it was naturally Xia Jin Long. Xia Jin Long is under Fanjin's command, but this autumn Yiren touched Xia Jin Long, and waiting is moving her Fanjin. Although Fanjin's rank is much smaller than Kuyi's, 
and his shares are also very small. But he is always a member of the board of directors. And her father, Fchi, is one of the company's veterans. At that time, her father worked hard with Kuei Hai for decades before creating the Ku Group, a business empire with a huge industry. In public and private, their family are heroes. Now, Ku Yiren dare to be so upright, the person who moved her Fanjin? Sorry. This is the result of the company's management decision. Xia Jinlong is suspected of illegally dumping the company's funds, the amount involved is 390 million yuan, and all the evidence is solid. Ku Yiren Maima calmly said slowly. Fan Jin's expression became colder, and she suddenly patted her desk on the desk. Ku Yiren, don't be too sharp when doing things. An executive director dared to make a decision on the president's desk. This. I am afraid that Fanjin is the only one in the entire company. She has equity in the company and the right to vote at the shareholders meeting, so. She is unscrupulous. Ku Yiren had beautiful eyes and looked at her lightly, Director, in this company, it seems that I have the final say. Hearing this, Fanjin's pretty face flashed with icy cold. Kui people, everyone is a grasshopper on the same boat. I would advise you again. It is better to call out that project and share it with the members of the shareholders meeting, so that dot 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 everyone can cooperate and win win, and can work together. Otherwise dot 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 I dare assure this group, will eventually split. Fanjin's voice was solemn, threatening slowly. A car mark flashed across Ku Yiren's face. Really dot 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 thank you for the reminder, director f if there is nothing else. Please do it yourself. After Ku Yiren finished speaking, she ignored her. Continue to bow your head and deal with official duties in the computer. Fanjin looked cold, snorted coldly, turned around coldly, and slammed the door to leave. Dot. But after walking out of the president's office, Fanjin did not leave. Her beautiful eyes were deep and complicated and she glanced at the security director's office next door. A sharp flash of thought flashed through her eyes. Stepping on high heels, Fanjin came to the security director's office. She knocked gently on the door, and then voluntarily pushed open the office door. In the office, Chen Zonging was sitting in a chair, holding the Tao De Jing in his hand, and slowly flipping through it. Who, without looking up, Chen Zong continued to flip through the books and asked indifferently. Fan Jin closed the office door, then gently locked the door. This action made the atmosphere in the office suddenly become a little ambiguous. I know you are the newly hired bodyguard of Ku Yi, and she values you very much. Fan Jin looked faintly and stepped forward gently. Who are you? Chen Zonging didn't have any nonsense. Only spit out three words. Cherish the word daughter. I am the executive director of the Ku group, Fanjin. You can call me dot 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 Fanjin. Her voice was charmingly magnetic, I need you to help me, how many conditions and costs are you going to drive? I want Ku Yi to lose. Chen Zong continued to look down, but did not pay attention to the woman. Seeing him ignoring his own conditions, Fanjin's beautiful eyes flashed lightly and he stepped forward boldly, half of his hips wrapped in a uniform skirt almost sat on the desk. The long legs of the meaty stockings gently rubbed, blurred. She gently kicked off the pointed high-heeled shoes under her feet, and then leaned over dot 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 towards Chen Zonging. As long as you can help me, I can agree to any conditions. Fan Jin's eyes became faint and vague, seemingly endlessly charming and seductive. At the same time, with her other hand, she had gently unbuttoned her shirt and uniform. Through the gap of the collar, she could even see the towering white skin dot 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 and the lavender bra. Chapter 52 By the order of Master Hong Yui Chen Zonging still didn't look up, his eyes always fell on the Tao De Jing in his hand. In the air, there was a faint fragrance of woman moose floating. Fan Jin is beautiful, the kind of coquettish and charming. At this time, she gently rubbed the flesh culled silk stockings to outline the and seductive appearance of those long legs. Under the short uniform skirt, the seductive spring light made her blood spare. Most of the buttons on her white shirt were already unbuttoned, 
and a touch of white mutton-like fragrant shoulders were exposed in the air. On the fragrant shoulders dot 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 only a purple sling was hiding the last secret of her flesh. She gently approached Chen Zonging and said in an almost bewildering voice, as long as you help me, I dot 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 is yours. At the same time, her beautiful legs in silk stockings were quietly wrapped around Chen Zonging's body. Smooth silk stockings. Rubbing against Chen Zonging's body, the faint feminine fragrance made the air more blurred and warmed. Fan Jin's beautiful eyes were blurred, her mouth was blue, her delicate red lips dot 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 slightly bit on Chen Zong's ear. Show the charm of a woman to the extreme, she is a deadly goblin. At this moment, Chen Zong suddenly raised his head slowly. He severely pinched Fan Jin's neck with one hand. In an instant, all the emotions in the air faded away. Fan Jin's entire body was lifted by him in the air, and the silky long legs were lightly kicked in the air. Her pretty face was pale, and she couldn't even breathe. Chen Zonging looked indifferent, and stretched his other hand toward her clothes. But he didn't do anything wrong, but took off a silver button from the collar of the woman's white shirt. Crack! The button was crushed and the tiny electronic devices inside exploded. This is the micro-monitor. The method is very low level. Chen Zonging looked indifferently, with disdain, he let go of Fan Jin. He bowed his head, picked up the Tao Ching, and continued to read it. Fan Jin trembled softly, gasping for breath. At that moment, she seemed to see death. She had long heard that there was a capable bodyguard beside Ku Yiren. Originally, she wanted to seduce the bodyguard. Chen Zonging, and then recorded the whole process with a private camera. At the moment the man was seduced, she sent someone to rush in and finally accused him of rape. But in the end, it was expected to end like this. If you fail to make a plan, you will be eclipsed. Chen Zonging, I remember you. Fan Jin's face was cold, and she buttoned her shirt angrily in a loss. If her gaze can kill, then her gaze at this time is enough to kill Chen Zonging dozens of times. Roll. Chen Zonging didn't raise his head, but returned a word indifferently. Only one word, cold as cold. Just one word, murderous aspect. At this moment, Fan Jin's delicate body trembled. She was trembling with the shocked soul of this man's word. Fan Jin traveled across the mall, and all the men bowed down when they saw her. But she... Has she ever been treated like this? In front of this bodyguard man, he even touched his nose. Unable to be seduced by sex, the conspiracy was seen through. Still being so humiliated? This is simply an unprecedented humiliation to her. You, wait for me. She bit her red lips tightly, shook a word in anger, and rushed out of the office. Dot. The Nine Tiny in Floor. The president's office. Ku Yiren stood in front of the French windows in a uniform with long hair and shawl. A trace of complexity flashed in her eyes. Today, the collective internal and external troubles. The internal shareholders will be in turmoil, while the outside, Huang family, Go family, and a large group of hidden forces are watching. How does she respond to the attack from inside and outside? The project in her hands made her Kui people a goal for everyone. A trace of weakness flashed in Ku Yiren's eyes. Since the advent of that project, everything has become out of control. She turned around and walked out of the office. Take the elevator and press the button on the 77th floor of the company. The 77th floor is the company's equipment management room. Therefore, it is not open to the outside world. All elevators cannot stop on the 77th floor, because the entire 77th floor is the secret research base of Ku Yi people. The elevator stops on the 77th floor. Ku Yiren stepped out of the elevator and passed through a series of transparent bulletproof glass code doors, and she walked straight into the research base. The entire 77th floor is fully equipped with the strictest level 1 security, bulletproof glass, infrared scanning, pupil and retina scanning. Such a strict guard. Shocking. What important project secrets are hidden on this floor? Ku Yiren came to a sterile glass room and put on a sterile white coat, then rolled up her long hair and put on a transparent protective helmet. Only then did it pass through the layers of isolation zone and entered the internal research area. Dot. 
stayed in the 77th floor research room all afternoon. It was not until dusk had fallen that Kuyirin walked out of the research room. Go out of the isolation room and change into the white gown. Remove the protective glass cover. Wash your hands. Then he undid his long hair. At this time, she has returned to the appearance of a daughter with a strong temperament. Continue to maintain the stability of the project. Do not advance the research too fast, and proceed steadily. After the coup Yi told the researchers at the secret base all this, he turned around and left the research base. Dot. The sun set in the evening died the end of the entire sky red. After get off work, at the entrance of the KISS building, a fleet of five Mercedes-Benz cars stopped here quietly. A dozen bodyguards stood in two rows with solemn expressions guarding the surroundings. Soon, there was a sound of high heels in the building. Kuya's temperament is like a cut, and Chen Zong side by side, they walked out of the building. Um. At this moment, suddenly a grumpy engine roar came from a distant street. A yellow Ferrari sports car with a Shanghai AO6666 license plate came roaring. Ha. Huh. All bodyguards on the scene are on alert instantly. Form a wall of people who stop. Hum. The yellow Ferrari 488 sports car roared, slammed the brakes, flicked dot 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 stopped in front of everyone. When seeing the license plate of this sports car, Kuyiren's beautiful eyes condensed suddenly. Shanghai AO6666. This license? Exclamation mark. This is the only one in the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets. The color of this Ferrari sports car represents his family. Hu Hai, Huang family, the Huang family, finally came. Ku Yiren's heart beat abruptly at this moment. The pretty face became extremely solemn. Crisis, what should come? After all, it will come. The door of the yellow Ferrari sports car opened, and a charming young woman stepped out of the sports car. The woman wore a work uniform, with a delicate body, like a charming vixen. She just stepped on her high heels and walked in the direction of Kuyiren. Stop. Report your identity. The bodyguards looked solemn, stopped the woman, and asked. The woman's beautiful eyes cast a glance at the group of bodyguards, and a trace of cold disdain flashed in her eyes. I am young Master Hong Yui's secretary. I am here to deliver an invitation on the order of young Master Hong Yui. How many ant bodyguards do you want to let go? Her voice was indifferent, with a hint of arrogance. Ku Yiren's eyes condensed when she heard this woman's words. Hong Yui, the second son of the Huang family. Huang Hong Yui. Is this woman Huang Hong Yui's secretary? This Huang Hong Yui's secretary? What is coming here? Let her come over. Ku Yiren's voice was calm, and he ordered the bodyguards. The group of bodyguards in front of him carefully stepped aside. The woman's secretary was cold and arrogant, and came to Ku Yiren. Chapter 53 I admire your courage. The female secretary came to Ku Yiren, and her beautiful eyes looked up and down Ku Yiren. A mere secretary but dare to look at Ku Yi with such eyes. This courage is also big enough. All because she belongs to the Huang family. She is the personal secretary of the second son of the Huang family. Report her identity, this Shanghai market. I don't know how many people will kneel to the ground and give a big gift. Huang's in the Shanghai Sea is a quarter of the sky. Ku Yi, famous. It's not as good as seeing. The female secretary's voice was calm with a touch of arrogance. It's just praise. Kuya's pretty face was like a cut, and he replied calmly. The female secretary smiled coldly, and then, took out a gold-rimmed envelope from her handbag. By the order of the sun, I will deliver this letter. To you personally, the female secretary said, and handed the envelope with the golden silk border to Kuyiren. It's hard work. Kuyiren's beautiful eyes were calm and he slowly accepted the letter. The envelope is sealed with gold thread. The whole letter is heavy, and it seems to have a touch of solemnity. The Huang family, the letter from the second son. This is a kind of honor and honor in the Shanghai and Shanghai markets. At this moment, Kuyi was holding an envelope, but he was a little worried. The enemies of the Huang family have reached the point where they cannot be tolerated. At this time, the second son of Huang suddenly sent a letter making people speculate again and again. However, 
she did not rush to open the envelope, but Mei Su calmly stared at the female secretary of the Huang family in front of her. Ku Yiren, believe that I have delivered it. As for how to choose, it's up to you. The female secretary's red lips flashed with a cold dark, and as her secretary, even the Ku Yi people in front of her had to respect her so much. This made her even more arrogant. But at this moment, she suddenly felt a cold look, looking at herself. The female secretary raised her beautiful eyes and looked towards that gaze. The master of that gaze was a fair-skinned young man standing beside Ku Yiren. He was dressed in a straight suit, and his face was fair and elegant, and even looked a little handsome. This man, isn't it the little white face raised by Ku Yi? This thought came to the female secretary's heart for the first time. She didn't know Chen Zonging, because her level was too low on that day. Huang Zhuiang had no right to go to the funeral. Therefore, I don't know who is the master who disturbed the funeral of Huang's family. Therefore, she did not know the elegant and fair-skinned young man in front of her either. She only thought that this young man was just a little white-faced running dog next to Ku Yiren. At this time, she hated the look of this little white face. Looking at the entire Shanghai and Shanghai market, who? dare to look at himself like this, looking so disrespectful, doesn't he know that he is Huang Gongzi's secretary? Moreover, she is not only Huang Gongzi's secretary, to be precise, she is Huang Gongzi's woman, Huang Hongyui's public lover, Xiosun. Oh, Mr. Ku, unexpectedly, you still have such a white face by your side. Tsk 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 young and tender. I just don't know what's going on on this bed. The female secretary laughed lightly, with a hint of playfulness. She hates this little white face's gaze. She wants to humiliate this little white face, and even let this little white face know that dare to look at her so disrespectfully. It's a price to pay. Sorry, please speak up and show respect. Ku Yiren's pretty face condensed and said solemnly, he he. Mr. Ku is planning to hide the dog in a golden nest, but this little white dog is quite tender. Mr. Ku, don't mind asking, how much is a little white dog of this quality for a month? If the price is right, I am also interested. Go find a house for a few months to play. The female secretary's voice is charming, but with a strong sarcasm. It's just a little white face, she has money. She is Huang Gongzi's secretary and she is extremely distinguished. As long as she wants, how many men will kneel down and lick her high heels? Ku Yiren's face finally cooled down, and she was about to speak. But Chen Zong, who was standing behind him, had already stepped forward. Chen Zonging looked faintly, step by step, and walked in front of the female secretary. Why, Xiao Balian? Want to lick my shoes? This girl's feet are not something you can lick. The female secretary's eyes were high and sneered, and she cast a glance at Chen Zonging with disdain. Her words were full of irony. Chen Zonging's expression was calm, and he slowly raised his right hand. In the next second, his right palm already slammed down the delicate and pretty face of the female secretary. Slap, slapped fiercely and crisply. The female secretary was directly fanned out at the scene. Everyone was dumbfounded. Everyone raised their gazes, looking along the arc of the figure that was fanned out in midair. Bar. The female secretary fell to the ground a few meters away, her hair messy and miserable. Blood overflowed from the mouth, and the entire delicate face was a little distorted. You, you dot 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 you dare to hit me? Exclamation mark. Chen Zonging stood there calmly, took out a soft Chinese cigarette and slowly lit it. You are very noisy. There was a hint of impatience in his eyes. He is very tired of this kind of woman. You. Do you know who I am? The female secretary's voice was angry and ferocious, her delicate pretty face was full of anger. She is Huang Ergongtsi's secretary. In the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets, who would not bow to her when he saw her? Exclamation mark. But today. She was actually slapped in the face in public! Exclamation mark. Chen Zong Zong was smoking a cigarette, and the figure step by step dot 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 slowly walked towards her. Kneel me down. Kneel down and apologize to me. Today, this lady wants you to beg you. 
The female secretary shouted angrily. She thought that Chen Zhongying came to apologize. She thought that Chen Zhongying hit her, and was scared after the beginning, began to regret and tried to beg for mercy. However, Chen Zhong stepped forward, grabbed the placket on her chest, and dot 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 again slapped and slapped her fiercely. Papa, the violent and crisp slap in the face echoed. I, don't care who you are. Chen Zhongying's eyes were calm. At this time, he was extremely cold and showed no mercy to Yu Yu. The female secretary's entire face trembled violently, and a bright red palm print instantly appeared on her cheeks. The bulging nose. The lips that had been hit with high hyaluronic acid. Dot dot dot, the chin that was cushioned with fake bones. Dot dot dot, was distorted and deformed in an instant. The whole person has become extremely ugly, and the facial features that have been plasticized are distorted at this moment. At the scene, everyone was shocked. Kuyiran's pretty face was stunned, looking at the picture in front of him. Some of them couldn't respond completely. You dot dot dot, you dead him. The secretary of Prince Huang Hongyui, do you dare to hit me? Exclamation mark. The female secretary trembled completely in anger, and her face was extremely angry. Oh, isn't it? What is Huang Hongyui? Chen Zhongying's voice was calm and he raised his palm, snapped. He slapped the fan fiercely again, puff. A whole row of front teeth of the female secretary was directly fanned out, vomiting blood extremely miserable. This cold and arrogant female secretary, at this time, was completely fanned into a pig's face. All the marks of plastic surgery on his face were distorted, and it became more disgusting than a pig's head. Ah, uh, I swear, I want you to kneel at my feet. I want to see you die at my feet. The female secretary trembled violently, blood, nose, tears dot 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 mixed and flowing. At this moment, where is her noble and arrogant appearance before? Become extremely disgusting and miserable. I don't know the importance of life or death, fearlessness. I admire your courage. Chen Zonggong's mouth raised a sneer arc. He even dared to kill Huang's father and son on the spot. What's the secret of the second son's secretary in front of him? You dot 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 you dare to treat me like this dot 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 Master Hong Yui won't let you go. The female secretary's voice trembled fiercely, revealing endless anger. Chen Zhongying looked faintly, and slowly spit out a smoke ring. Really? I am looking forward to it. It is not enough to kill one Huang Zhengming, and another brother Huang Hongyui will be considered complete. Boom. As soon as this is said, the female secretary's pupils trembled suddenly. The whole person seems to be petrified in place! Exclamation mark. Killing a Huang Zhengming. Not enough? Question mark. What does this mean? Question mark. Huang, Grand Prince Huang Zhengming, exclamation mark yes. Was killed by the man in front of you? Question mark. This time, the female secretary's entire body was trembling. Panic from the whole body. A chill swept. Chen Zhongying looked faintly, and slowly raised his leather shoes. Reaper kills, in the blink of an eye. Mr. Chen. Forget it. At this moment, the Kuyiran not far away finally stepped forward and spoke complicatedly. This female secretary, after all, is the secretary of the second son of the Huang family. Besides, this is the gate of Kiss Group. It is messy enough now, and she doesn't want to let the gate of the group be stained with blood and chaos. Chapter 54 When the Jiangnan dominates hearing Kuyiran's words, Chen Zong's raised leather shoes slowly put them down. Killing, as far as he is concerned, is just a snap. Whether to kill or not to kill depends on the mood. He pinched out the cigarette butt, took out a square towel, and slowly wiped his hands. At this time, he returned to the appearance of a refined gentleman. Let's go. Ku Yiren's voice was complicated and softly reminded. Chen Zong turned around, followed Ku Yiren and got into the Mercedes-Benz. The Mercedes-Benz fleet drove away slowly. Only the female secretary was left, lying in horror and trembling. Dot, 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 her body was still trembling. Dot. On the streets at dusk, the Mercedes-Benz fleet drove slowly. Kuyiran sat in the car, and only then formally picked up the letter bordered with gold silk in his hand. There was a trace of solemnity in her beautiful eyes, 
and slowly dot 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 opened the envelope. In the heavy envelope, there is only one scribbled sentence, tomorrow evening, Shanghai City, Hilton Hotel Private Banquet. To the such a domineering, such arrogant tone, Huang Hongyui, the second son of the Huang family, set up a private banquet to invite Kui to attend. Moreover, the tone cannot be rejected to the these two words have absolutely no room for rejection. If you don't go, what will happen? The invitation letter from the second son of the Huang family, no one in the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets dared to refuse. Huang Hongyui, invite me to a private banquet tomorrow night. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes flashed with complexity, and she looked at Chen Zonging beside her. Mr. Chen, do you think? Am I going to attend? Nowadays, the relationship between the Ku family and the Huang family is at odds with each other, almost to the point where they meet each other. Should I go? Because tomorrow, by will be a grand feast. Chen Zonging looked indifferent and took a deep breath of cigarette. If he invites, then go. This is Chen Zong's answer. It is simple, casual, and careless. It seems that the second son of the Huang family dot 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 in his eyes, it is of little importance. In the name of the of death, sweeping overseas dot 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 at the fingertips, the giants are in their nests, the warlords are destroyed. How could he care about the second son of a small clan? But Kuya's pretty face was dignified and complicated, and he stopped talking. Knowing that it is a Hongman banquet, if I go to attend, isn't it? Hit the gun. It's okay, don't worry. Chen Zong squeezed out the cigarette but just leaned on the seat, and took a rest. He stopped talking too much because he was too lazy to explain. Hearing this man's words, Ku Yiren's mood was complex and surging, and a trace of determination flashed in her eyes, and the magnetic echo replied, OK. It seems that as long as there is this man, she doesn't fear anything anymore. Because, she knows. This man is very powerful. Dot. Late at night, Shanghai City, Huangjia residence. The second son of the Huang family. Dot 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 Huang Hongyui was leaning on the sofa with a hemp cigar in his mouth. He was quietly waiting for news. It has been several hours since the secretary was sent out, and that letter. Dot 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 should have been delivered. He was curious to know what Ku Yiren's expression would look like when he saw his invitation letter. Shocked, horrified, still flustered, thinking of this. The corners of Huang Hongyui's mouth raised an arc. The Ku family, Ku Yiren are just his playthings. As long as he uses a few tricks, the Ku Yiren is what is in his own pocket. Brother, what you have not completed, I, Huang Hongyui, will do it for you. Huang Hongyui's eyes were faint, and his voice muttered deep. Ku Yiren, the number one beauty daughter in Shanghai. Sooner or later, that woman will become his thing. Wanton, rubbing. Thinking of this, Huang Hong Yui took a deep sip of hemp cigar, the ecstasy sensation of marijuana spread throughout his body, closing his eyes with enjoyment. At this moment, suddenly outside the door, there was a panic and hasty knock on the door. Young master, young master, followed by a panicked female voice. Huang Hong Yui's eyes slowly opened. Dot dot dot. This voice was very familiar. It was the voice of his personal secretary. The secretary went out to deliver the letter and came back. What's the panic? Coming. Huang Hong Yui slowly spit out a smoke ring, calmly said. The door was pushed open, and the swollen female secretary walked into the room tremblingly. Ha! Huh. Huang Hong Yui was taken aback. Who are you? Huang Hong Yui didn't react for a while. Who is this ugly and ugly woman? Question mark. The son. Yes. It's me, Lena. The female secretary's lips trembled, and said miserably, Lan dot 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 Lena. Huang Hong Yui looked wrong, staring at the miserable pig-headed woman. The female secretary trembled lightly, and stepped forward. She knelt down in front of Huang Hong Yui, her face crying with grief. My son. Please call the shots for Lena. Beside Ku Yiren. That little white faced man. Dot, 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 he, dot, 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 he not only beats me. Dot, 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 he wants to kill me. Please, son, you must be the master for me. Female secretary Lena knelt on the ground, her nose and tears pouring out of her brain, looking extremely miserable. Huang Hong Yui stood up abruptly, 
his complexion changed, and the weather was uncertain, his fists were already clenched tightly, the female secretary Lena is his lover's mistress, in the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets, who would dare not give him face, but today, his junior secretary, was beaten like this, question mark, this is an unprecedented shame, that person, who is it, Huang Hongyui's expression was extremely cold, with a hint of murderous intent, he, his surname is Chen, the female secretary's voice trembled slightly and said grimly, boom, upon hearing this, Huang Hongyui's heart trembled, Chen, question mark, surname Chen, exclamation mark, Chen, aspect, exclamation mark, again, that man, exclamation mark, Huang Hong Yui clenched his fists, it was a terrible anger, the revenge of killing the brother has not been reported, and now dot 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 he dare to brand his close female secretary in public like this, exclamation mark, this is tantamount to hitting Huang Hong Yui in the face, my son dot 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 you must be the master for me, the female secretary crawled in front of Huang Hong Yui, holding his legs and begged, Huang Hong Yui's complexion flickered, and his anger was raging, with a sharp kick. He kicked the pig-headed female secretary away fiercely, useless waste. The female secretary was kicked to the ground, and the pig's face was trembling, it was panic. Huang Hong Yui clenched his fists, at this moment, he was full of murder. Chen dot 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 zonging, you dot 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 wait for me. His eyes were maddeningly hostile, he will pay back both the new and the old hatred, the anger of the second son of the Huang family will be filled with blood. Dot. The next day, early morning, a ray of bright sunshine rose slowly from the eastern sky. Chen Zonging had already finished his morning exercises, put on a neat suit, and came to the Ku family manor opposite. In the hall, a hearty breakfast has been prepared. When Chen Zonggon came in, the pretty face under his sister Kush Wang suddenly became cold, she was too angry to eat, full, goodbye, she angrily dropped a word, and then walked out of the villa with her school bag, obviously, she was still worried about the fact that Chen Zonging ate her precious poisonous spider the day before yesterday, the hatred of Chen Zonging has become even deeper, a few minutes later, there was a roar of engines outside the villa, a Lamborghini sports car roared away, Ku Yiren sat at the dining table and shook his head helplessly, Mr Chen, don't mind, the little girl is not sensible, Ku Yiren apologized, it's okay, Chen Zonging slowly sat down at the table, he had no plans to take care of that yellow girl, how can a dignified of death be as knowledgeable as a little hairy girl, sitting in Kiss Villa, enjoying breakfast quietly, at this time, Chen Zonging was calm as a scholar, no hostility, no killing, and outside the villa, the seemingly peaceful Shanghai market, but because of him, is experiencing a turbulent tornado-like turbulence, dot, Shanghai, Mnhang district, an underground long street, the early sun in the morning has just penetrated the misty gloom, in the depths of the long street, a blood-stained figure slowly walked out of the darkness step by step, Dong Biao held a long knife, his eyes calm as cold, blood was still dripping on the blade of the long knife, behind him dot 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 you can faintly see dot 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 the ground of long street, with corpses all over the place, outside the long street, a group of members in black suits were waiting respectfully, the moment Dong Biao walked out, all the Dongman members bowed their bodies respectfully, congratulations to the Lord, successfully won Chengning Street, the deep voice trembled in the air, Dong Biao's eyes were indifferent, and the knife was retracted, since his father was killed and he inherited the position of the head of the Dong sect, this young Novorish has quarreled and seized territory, from the eastern zone, sweep all the way to the northern zone, the power of Dongman has been continuously expanded, the blood was red, and the killing grew stronger, Dongbio's growth rate is too fast, he is a beast that is gradually awakening, the animal nature has been restored, no one can file, Dongman, from a small power that entangles one side dot 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 now it is rising and becoming a new king's door, it's a mere chaining block, but, 
It's just a small step forward. Dong Biao raised his head and stared at the sky above his head. Chen dot 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 zong dot 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 horizontally, when I sweep the bund and dominate Jiangnan, it will also be you dot 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 the day of death and death. Chapter 55 Welcome, my private dinner at 9 o'clock in the morning, Qs Group Building. Five Mercedes Benz convoys slowly stopped at the door of the building. Ku Yiran and Chen Zong got out of the car. Around, a group of black bodyguards looked around for protection. Everything is still as calm as usual. Ku Yiran glanced around with beautiful eyes, and then slowly walked into the building. Chen Zong Gong lit a cigarette and then walked into the building. When he arrived at the director's office on the 99th floor, Chen Zonging lay on a chair, picked up a classic Confucian classic The Doctrine of the Mean on his desk, and slowly flipped through it. Reading seems to be his only hobby every day. It is hard to imagine that this terrifying of death who swept across the entire western Pacific Ocean and made the entire United States Empire trembles, yet can sit quietly in the office, calm down, and elegantly read Taoist classics. He has a neat suit, a fair face and a hint of elegant bookishness. His appearance is completely different from his name. Boom, boom, boom. Just as Chen Zong was reading the book, suddenly there was a soft knock on the door outside the office. In, he replied faintly. The door of the office was gently pushed open. A beautiful figure walked into the office cautiously. The person here is the president's secretary, Sun Tzu. Today, she is wearing a light gray old uniform, her long black hair is lightly tied, and a trace of makeup is applied to her face. She is actually very good looking, and she is the kind of woman who looks more attractive. Moreover, she has a finer personality and is a woman from Xiaojiabu. Sungs gently folded her hands in front of her, her face seemed a little timid. Mr. Chen. Dot 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 yesterday, thank you for saving me. Sungs said solemnly and earnestly. At the same time, she leaned slightly towards Chen Zong and saluted. This is a thank you for your life-saving grace. Yesterday, she was kidnapped by desperate Xia Jinlong, and she was at stake. If it weren't for Chen Zong to rescue her, the consequences for her. Simply unimaginable. How can the life-saving grace be repaid? So Sun Xu came here today to thank Mr. Chen. However, Chen Zenging still looked down at the book, as if. Even looking up was superfluous. It's easy, you don't need to thank me. Chen Zonging lowered his head and flipped through the books, and said lightly, Very calm, very indifferent, and very indifferent. It seemed that the hand was made yesterday, and to him. It is of little importance. Sun Xu stood there, hesitating for a few seconds, and then said timidly, Mr. Chen dot 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 that dot 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 tonight, can I invite you to dinner? She really didn't know how to repay Chen Zong's life-saving grace, so. She wanted to invite Mr. Chen to dinner as a way of thanking her for his kindness. No, but Chen Zonging answered such simple words. Sun Xu's pretty face was a little stunned. The air at the scene was a bit awkward. Mr. Chen, I just want to thank you, but I have no other meaning. Sun Xu explained softly, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. Chen Zonging was still calm and replied indifferently. He was cold like a piece of ice. Let no woman get close. A trace of astonishment, complexity, and loss flashed across Sun Xiao's face. Oh, then, excuse me. Her voice was a little discouraged and frustrated, she turned aggrieved, and was about to leave. Is it true that I am so annoying? Will they be rejected even if they eat a meal together? Sungs was the first time in the company to pluck up the courage and take the initiative to invite a male colleague to dinner. Unexpectedly, it was such a result. Moreover, the other party is his own savior. This made her a little wronged. No time tonight, tomorrow night. I will only eat French Western food. But the moment Sungs walked out of the office, Chen Zong's faint and calm voice came from behind him. Ha Sun Xu was taken aback first. Then in a flash, the unhappiness on Kieo's face disappeared. She turned around and smiled softly, okay. Looking at the beautiful shadow of Sun Xu leaving happily, Chen Zong continued to draw back his gaze, 
lowering his head and sweeping towards the book. At that moment, for some reason, a trace of unbearable flashed in his heart. So he agreed to the woman's request. It's just a meal. It seems that there is nothing wrong with it, right? Chen Zong lighted a cigarette, then touched his nose. Grim Reaper, ruthless, kill Senhun. For a whole number of years, he has been icy cold. But now, his icy shell seems dot 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 is gradually melting, even he himself is somewhat unaware. Dot. Chen Zonging just sat in the office, flipping through the books for a whole day. From the blazing sun at noon outside the window, it slid until the sunset. The evening twilight stained the skyline red, and the entire sky was shrouded in red. Shanghai Stock Market. A prosperous day has come to an end. Next door to the president's office, Ku Yiren packed up his work, stepped on high heels, and walked to the door of Chen Zonggong's office. Mr. Chen. Let's go, Ku Yi said with a calm face. Tonight, she will attend a private banquet hosted by the second son of the Huang family. Or, it can also be called dot 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 Hongman banquet. N. Chen Zongping pinched out the cigarette butt, then slowly got up, followed her out of the office. Downstairs of the building, five black Mercedes Benz S600S are waiting quietly. Dozens of bodyguards in black suits stood in two rows extremely solemn, at the dinner tonight, Ku Yi people are equipped with complete security measures, although she still felt wrong, Chen Zong went with her, and her slightly uneasy heart settled somewhat, as long as Mr. Chen is there, it will be fine, the Mercedes Benz fleet started slowly and headed towards the destination dot 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 Hilton Hotel dot, half an hour later, Five Mercedes-Benz cars drove slowly into the luxurious Hilton Hotel. The private banquet of the second son of the Huang family was held in this hotel. The hotel doorman stepped forward and opened the door respectfully. Ku Yiren was dressed in an old maid costume and stepped out of the car. Behind him, Chen Zonging was dressed in a straight suit and got out of the car. The two stood the side by side, matched in height and had great looks. Ku Yi is beautiful and beautiful, Chen Zonging is fair and handsome, and the two are like golden boys and girls. Several waiters stepped forward and welcomed them into the hotel respectfully, and the dozens of bodyguards brought by Ku Yiren followed into the hotel together. Tonight's banquet is full of misfortunes. They must always protect Mr. Ki's safety, just in case. Dot. Hilton Hotel, the top presidential banquet room. The entire banquet hall is luxurious and prosperous. Dot 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 all the decorations and furnishings are top notch. Dot 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 plate in uncovered, diamond encrusted decorations. Dot 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 golden plate. Dot 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 extremely luxurious. A young man with a straight suit and a slender figure is standing in front of the window, his eyes faintly looking at the evening sky outside the window. At this moment, the luxurious wooden door of the banquet hall was slowly pushed open. Young Master Huang, the guests have arrived. The waiter stood in front of the door, bowing respectfully. The man in a suit slowly turned from the window, his handsome face. His eyes were as deep as a sword. The second son of the Huang family, Huang Hongyui. Huang Hongyui stared deeply at the entrance of the banquet hall. At the door, Ku Yiren's beautiful figure stood tall and beautiful looking beautiful and moving, and beside her, there was an elegant and fair-skinned youth. At this moment, Huang Hongyui's pupils dot 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 shrinked. That's an emergence of murder. How could Huang Hongyui not know this young man? Exclamation mark. A few days ago, alone, he set foot on his elder brother's funeral and shattered his golden dragon coffin. This familiar and elegant face, even if it turns into grey, Huang Hong Yui recognizes it. How can we forget the enmity of killing brothers? Exclamation mark. But soon, Huang Hong Yui reduced his killing intent. He returned to calm and indifferent, with a soft smile in his eyes. Miss Ku, welcome. Dot 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 I have a private dinner. Huang Hong Yui's eyes were faint, and the corners of his mouth raised a touch of arc and depth. Chapter 56 Quietly enjoying the dinner Ku Yiren nodded lightly, looked around the banquet hall with beautiful eyes, focusing on Huang Hongyui. Young Master Huang, you hosted the banquet yourself, how can the Iraqi people not come? Her voice was calm, 
without the slightest timidity. At this time, neither party had torn their faces, so they still maintained the apparent etiquette. Huang Hongyui glanced meaningfully around Ku Yiren's body, then glanced at Chen Zong faintly. For this man, he had his own means to deal with it. Today, his target is only Kiwi people. Miss Ku, today is just a simple private banquet. Why bring so many bodyguards? Huang Hongyui said with a faint smile. What he was referring to was naturally behind Ku Yiren. The dozen or so bodyguards in neat suits followed. I'm afraid it will be a Hongman banquet, so be careful. The Ku Yiren was not afraid, and said straightforwardly what he was thinking, since they are all here for the banquet, why bother to pretend? No matter how the situation progresses today. She can only face it. Miss Ku was joking. How can I, Huang, be upright and honest? Huang Hongyui's eyes were faint, and the corners of his mouth became thicker. Miss Ku, please. He stretched out his hand slowly, motioning to take a seat. Then, he took a seat first and sat in the front position of the dining table. To Ku Yiren, Huang Hongyui's attitude was neither lukewarm nor cold as if he hadn't paid attention to the daughter-in-law at all. Indeed, he is the second son of the Huang family, the name of the Huang family, trembling for a hundred years, rampant south of the Yangts. Why should he care so much about the president of a small group in front of him? Today, it is a great honor for him to host a banquet for Ku Yi people alone. Ku Yiren hesitated, instead of taking a seat first, she turned her head and glanced at Chen Zonging. Mr. Chen. Please. She actually invited Chen Zonging to be the first. Has shown respect to Chen Zonging. Chen Zonging was also welcome, and walked into the box indifferently, then pulled a chair away and sat down at will. The group of bodyguards behind Ku Yiren stood in two rows respectfully, waiting at the door. Stepping on high heels, Ku Yiren walked into the private room and sat beside Chen Zonging. Seeing this scene, Huang Hongyui's eyes picked up slightly, with a hint of coldness that was not easily detectable. Who allowed you to sit down? His gaze was staring at Chen Zonging coldly. Chen Zonging sat there calmly, slowly took out a cigarette and lit it. I sit down, do I need your consent? Chen Zonging's answer was also very simple. The air became a little frozen. The two breaths seemed to collide. I advise you to get up and leave. Huang Hongyui stared at Chen Zonggong like a sharp sword, as if to pierce him. I also advise you, it's better to be quiet. Chen Zonging also gave him a word. Arrogant and domineering. In the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets, he dared to speak like the second son of the Huang family, Chen Zong. Is the first one. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring still sitting there, looking at Huang Hongyui indifferently, the eyes of the two confronted each other in the air. Okay, very good. The murderous intent in Huang Hongyui's eyes emerged uncontrollably, and then he was forcibly suppressed. The corner of his mouth raised a deep and strange arc. Chen, since you want to sit here, then I dot 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 make you perfect. Huang Hongyui looked calm and clapped his hands slowly. Private dinner. Opening, a group of waitresses dressed in luxurious Chong Sam slowly entered the box. Today, the waiters in charge of serving dishes are carefully selected, everything. Only to meet the requirements of the second son of the Huang family. How can the banquet set by the second son of Huang be ordinary? A bottle of gold encapsulated red wine glass was brought up carefully, and the waiter carefully opened the bottle and sobered up the wine. Gold packaging is extremely luxurious. Huang Hongyui smoked a cigar, his eyes were indifferent, and said slowly, France Romanti Winery, dry red in 1982. I wonder if Miss Ku, would you like it? Ku Yiren nodded slowly, neither cold nor hot, and replied, it's okay. The waiter was holding wine bottles and pouring wine for the three of them carefully. Then, start serving. The top luxury dishes are slowly being served. Dot 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 each dish is extremely luxurious, and the plates are made of pure platinum. This private banquet is simply eating money. Miss Ku, this banquet tonight represents an opportunity for cooperation. Cheers. Huang Hong Yui raised his wine glass in a graceful manner and toasted. At this time, the second son of Huang, 
condensed all the murders and became calm and soft. Such a state of mind is indeed a person. Kuyiran shook the wine glass and gestured softly, taking a sip of the red wine on her lips. Although young Master Huang was calm and indifferent at the moment, but, the sense of crisis he gave her was getting deeper and deeper. At the table, drink and dine. The atmosphere became a little weird. Huang Hongyui did not speak, and Ku Yiren did not intend to speak actively. And Chen Zong shook his wine glass, holding a knife and fork in his hand, and faintly sliced the steak. In such a weird and pervasive atmosphere, he could still eat so indifferently. Miss Ku, the Shanghai Sea today is not peaceful. Huang Hongyui's voice was calm and suddenly he spoke slowly. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes condensed lightly, and then he replied, it's a little bit uneven. In the air, there was a faint smoke of gunpowder. The Hu Hai Huang family, the core heir of the younger generation, will inherit Huang Hongyui, who will be the head of the Huang family. With Ku Group, the youngest group president, the developer of that special project in hand. The first time the two communicated fast to face, it seemed calm, but the atmosphere was extremely strange. It seems that there is a tension, and the bowstring is quietly pulled away. My elder brother's death is not worth it. Huang Hong Yui toasted and sipped a sip of red wine, said deeply and quietly, Ha! Huh. As soon as he said this, the air was silent and depressed for an instant. Ku Yiren's heart beat slightly, and an unpleasant feeling faintly floated. Half a month ago, Huang Zhuiang died. Most people in the Shanghai and Shanghai markets may not know the cause of the death of Mr. Huang. However, Ku Yiren were the witnesses on the spot. That night, the banquet, she saw with her own eyes that her bodyguard, Chen Zonging, pierced Huang Zhuiang's trachea with a chopstick. And tonight, the same feast. The hostess, the second son of the Huang family, Huang Hongyui. Is this, planning to, revenge? Sorry. Please, Ku Yiren replied softly, Big Brother's life will not die in vain. Huang Hongyui's gaze was faint, and he looked at Chen Zonging who was on the dining table. There seemed to be an endless chill in his eyes. This sentence is for the murderer. Kill, pay for life. If you dare to touch the blood of his Huang family, his Huang family will surely be encircled and suppressed. At this time, Chen Zonging did not seem to respond. Still drink lightly and enjoy steak. Quiet like a gentleman. Seeing this man's unresponsive indifferent indifferent, Huang Hongyui's eyes condensed slightly. This man makes him very upset. In the past two and a half months, my Huang family's net of heaven and earth has been rolled out. This city now is like a net, only in, but not out. Huang Hongyui's voice was faint and his fingers lightly flicked the goblet in his hand. Kang dang! The glass goblet shattered instantly, and the red wine spread on the tablecloth, looking like blood. The atmosphere is strange as cold. Is this a threat? Remind? Caveat, still shocked. Everything has it. The Huang family is not in a hurry to kill. Block the whole city and catch turtles in the urn. Just a matter of time. What they want is to make the murderer completely panic and completely nervous. Mind collapsed. The feeling of being unable to survive and having to wait for death is the most struggling and saddest. This is what the Huang family wants. Let the murderer have nowhere to go. However, the murderer at this moment obviously does not have this kind of consciousness. Chen Zong Zong sat slightly at the dining table, tasting the 82-year-old top lafite red wine. The purely fragrant liquid was as thick and attractive as gold. The steak's heat is just right, but dot 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 the black pepper sauce and lemon are too much, which affects the fresh and tender taste. He enjoyed the dinner quietly as if everything in his surroundings had nothing to do with him. Chapter 57 Only when you are full can you have the power to kill in the banquet hall. The atmosphere is strange and quiet. Chen Zonging quietly enjoyed western food and red wine as if nothing was left. Huang Hongyui's eyes became colder and colder. He just stared at Chen Zonging. The hideous arc of the corner of his mouth looming. You eat so indifferently. 
you are really not afraid. Dot, 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 is my elder brother's injustice entangled with you? Huang Hongyue's voice was calm and cold. The air seemed to cool down instantly. Chen Zonggong gently cut a piece of steak and put it in his mouth. After chewing, he took a sip of red wine. When you are full, you will have the strength to kill. His answer is calmer and simpler. Ha! Huh. The air froze in an instant. So overbearing, so arrogant answer. Only when you are full can you have the strength to kill! Exclamation mark. This sentence was spoken in front of the second son of the Huang family. It was arrogant, unscrupulous. Huang Hongyue's pupils shrank, angered, and emerged uncontrollably. You dot 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 really crazy. With the palm of Huang Hongyue's hand, he firmly grasped the dining table in front of him, with great force, directly grabbing the corner of the mahogany dining table into a depression and cracking. It can be seen that his inner strength is deep. The two sons of the Huang family, who have been practicing martial arts since childhood, have a strong foundation in Kung Fu. On that day, the eldest son Huang Zhuiang died, because Chen Zong moved his hands too fast, a chopstick pierced his throat dot 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 so he didn't have time to do it. Today, the second son of the Huang family cannot repeat the same mistakes. The waves behind the Yangtze River push the waves forward, on martial arts, on cruel and treacherous. The second son, Huang Hongyue, is better than his eldest brother. Chen Zong did not return to him, still tasting the red wine lightly. Red wine is one of the most delicious in the world. He is addicted to alcohol, and now he has such a rare 82 year old Lafite. Why not enjoy it? Women missed, there will be again, but the red wine missed, then. But there is no more. Because in this world, how many bottles of 82 year old red wine can there be? Hey, that's all. For the dying person, Please drink as much as you like. Huang Hongyue's voice was calm and indifferent, with a strange murderous intent. In his eyes, this Chen Zong is already a dying person. In the eyes of the Huang family, Chen Zonging will undoubtedly die. There is no chance to live out and ascend to heaven. It's impossible. His death is only sooner or later. Just an order from his father's clan family, the Huang family. Dot 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 will surely come out. Bloodbath. Jiangnan. Need another bottle? Huang Hongyue glanced at the dead man, and cast a mocking glance at Chen Zong. Then he clapped his hands to the waiter and motioned for another bottle of 1982 red wine. Soon, the waiter walked into the restaurant with a bottle of Lafite just opened. Pour the wine for this Mr. Chen. After he dies, there will be no chance. Dot 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 drink such a fragrant wine. Huang Hongyue's voice was weird and faint and the yin and yang told the waiter in a weird manner. The waiter cautiously came to Chen Zonging and poured his wine gently. The red lafite red wine is poured into a goblet, filled with a rich aroma. Chen Zonging was not polite, toasting and sipping lightly. Good wine. Chen Zonging's gaze was faint, and he nodded gracefully, praising this famous lafite wine. Kuyiran sat aside, somewhat inexplicably suppressed by the atmosphere of the scene and she didn't know how to speak. In this situation, she seemed inappropriate to speak. Drink more. After you die, you won't be able to drink such good wine. After all, the bones of those buried in the wilderness may be gone, and no one will come to give you incense. Huang Hongyue voiced calm, the killing intent at the corner of his mouth is looming. Hearing Huang Hongyue's threat of killing, Chen Zonging was not angry but raised a leisurely arc. For Huang Gongzi's generous sake, when Huang Gongzi dies, I can leave you a whole body, let you reunite with your elder brothers. Chen Zong sipped the wine and vomited leisurely. Boom. Huang Hongyue finally couldn't help but slapped the table with a palm. Quack. The thick mahogany dining table instantly cracked. A deep palm print is sunken on the dining table. Such strength can be described as shocking. This Huang Hong Yui is extremely vulgar. His skill is comparable. Chen. Vertical and horizontal. Huang Hong Yui showed fierceness, gritted his teeth and spit out his name. I promise, your life will not last long. The anger of the second son of the Huang family was beyond containment. The air became suddenly cold, 
and the sword was tense. Young Master Huang, what's the matter for coming to me today? Let's talk about business. At this moment, Ku Yiren who was sitting on the side finally stood up, interrupting the tense and solemn atmosphere on the scene. Huang Hongyui's eyes were ferocious and cold, and then he slowly retracted his gaze. All the killing intent was confined. Today, seeing Miss Kyu's face, for the time being, leave your life. He swept his gaze to Kuyiran, and the corner of his mouth raised a light smile. Can instantly converge the killing so clean, without a trace. The second son of the Huang family is definitely a respectable person. At this time, the banquet hall was quiet again. The violent anger dissipated without a trace. Miss Ku, for a banquet tonight, someone Huang dot 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 is here to give you a way out. Huang Hong Yui said slowly with a faint gaze. Hearing these words, Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes lightly condensed. Young Master Huang, what do you mean? Excuse me for not understanding. Huang Hong Yui smiled and smiled calmly. People Huang don't like to cover up. Open the skylight and speak up. Miss Ku, as long as you hand over the project in your hand, then the grievances between your Ku family and my Huang family can be resolved slowly, even. Resolving is not a problem. Huang Hong Yui's eyes were leisurely, with endless depth. As long as we can cooperate, everything is easy to discuss. Ku Yiren's pretty face was slightly discolored. This Huang Hong Yui, as expected. The person who came was not good. Again, for the project in your hands. Since the advent of project, there has been no peace around her. Murderous opportunities came from all walks of life. All in all. Only because of that project. Complexity flashed in Ku Yiren's eyes. After a while, she solemnly said, I'm sorry, young master Huang dot 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 that project, my Ku group does not intend to make it public. A very simple sentence, but it shows her Kyuyi's determination. There are already enough enemies of the Ku clan, and that's it. And no longer fear one more. The Huang family is indeed very strong. Hundred year giants inherited to the golden glory. However, Shikui is not afraid. The soldiers came to cover the water and earth. She is not a woman who can be threatened and intimidated. Since it is threatening, then face it. This project represents an opportunity for the rise of the Ku group. Whether she can stand on the international stage and become a witness to a period of history. This opportunity lies in the hands of her Kui people. It is impossible for her to give up. Oh, hearing such an answer, Huang Hong Yui's eyes gradually narrowed. He didn't expect that Ku Yi would refuse so quickly. This woman, could it be? Really not afraid of his Huang family? Question mark. Miss Ku, you don't need to remind me of the current situation of your Ku family. You know, because of one of your decisions, the entire Ku family may face. Annihilation. Huang Hong Yui squinted his eyes, tapping his fingers with a calm voice, and said leisurely, Threats, intimidation, deterrence. His words represent the attitude of the entire Huang family. Chapter 58 The Huang family is the law the air in the banquet hall box was strangely cold. Huang Hong Yui just squinted his eyes and waited quietly for Ku Yiren's answer. What he wants to do in the Huang family is unstoppable in the entire Shanghai Sea. This project, including Ku Yiren and Ku family, will be his possession. If this woman doesn't know good or bad, refuse Huang Hong Yui. So, there is only one result waiting for her death. Sorry, Mr. Huang, I know the situation of my Ku family very well. The Ku group is fully capable of independently researching and developing projects. I don't need your help, sorry. Ku Yiren said solemnly with beautiful eyes. From beginning to end, she never wavered her determination. From the moment of the research and development project, she was ready dot 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 prepared to deal with the world. The importance of that project is bound to cause a sensation. When these words fell, the air in the banquet hall suddenly cooled down. Huang Hong Yui still sat there calmly, his fingers lightly tapping the dining table. It's just that every knock leaves a deep depression on the dining table. He was finally dot 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 angry. He can tolerate Chen Zong's provocation, but he can't ignore Ku Yiren's refusal. Because of this project, for the Huang family, it is too important. The Huang family has been rampant for a hundred years, 
and the family has gradually risen and fallen. Nowadays, a project with a shocking explosion is needed to reinvigorate the family. Therefore, the Huang family is bound to win this project. Miss Ku, are you really not afraid of the sky? Are you not afraid of the earth? Huang Hongyui's eyes were faint, with an unprecedented breath. Sorry, I'm just a weak businesswoman, not a gang member, so I'm afraid to say it. Ku Yiren's answer was calm and calm. Since the conflict cannot be avoided, then simply dot 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 face it. The Huang family, after all, is a hurdle that cannot be bypassed. That being the case, then, respond positively. Then you, the Huang family is terrible. Huang Hongyui's eyes were cold, his voice was cold, and he asked slowly. As soon as this statement came out, the air temperature dropped sharply. The Huang family, a century old giant, rampant in the south of the Yangtze River, the name of the Green Gang has survived for a century. Who dare to provoke the Huang family? Huang, one of the four major families in Shanghai and Shanghai, represents a quarter of the sky. I respect your Huang family, and also respect the laws of this city. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were calm, and said slowly. At this moment, she was calm and indifferent without being shaken by threats. She doesn't even know why she can be so indifferent. Is it because Mr. Chen is sitting next to him? This mysterious and unfathomable man can always give her an inexplicable and stable power. Huang Hongyui smiled, weird and inexplicable. Good, very good, excellent. Ku Yiren, I really admire your courage very much. Huang Hongyui stretched out his hands slowly and applauded gently. In this era, in this Shanghai market, there are still people who dare to speak the law in front of his Huang family. The law. Oh, ridiculous. His Huang family is the law. Young Master Huang, if there is nothing wrong, I will leave first, sorry. Ku Yiren stood up, signaled, and wanted to leave. Chen Zonging also put down his knife and fork, took out a square towel, wiped his hands clean, and then stood up with an elegant temperament. Farewell. Ku Yiren bowed and saluted, and then led Chen Zong out of the private room. Miss Ku. The moment Ku Yiren walked out of the private room, Huang Hongyui suddenly spoke up again. He stared at Ku Yiren faintly, and then said slowly, This Jiangnan, my Huang family dot 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 is the law. The air condenses suddenly. Arrogant, domineering and unscrupulous. His Huang family has been rampant for a hundred years, the city law. His Huang family has the final say. Thanks for reminding. Ku Yiren nodded calmly with a pretty face. Chen Zonging stood aside, his faint gaze glanced at Huang Hongyui. He lit a cigarette like no one else. You are a bit more arrogant than your elder brother. Chen Zong spit out a smoke ring in a calm voice, as if in his eyes. The so-called Huang family is nothing more than fearlessness. The smile at the corner of Huang Hongyui's mouth is more ferocious and crazier. He lifted his finger and pointed directly at Chen Zong. And you, whose surname is Chen, you will not live for more than half a month. Huang Hongyui's threat was unscrupulous. In this city, his Huang family is rampant. No one can stop the people he wants to kill in the Huang family, and no one can escape. Oh. Isn't it? Chen Zonging took a deep cigarette, as if he didn't care about Huang Hongyui's threat. At this moment, the Ku Yiren on the side suddenly stepped forward and took Chen Zong's arm. Mr. Chen, let's go. Chen Zonging was a little surprised. He didn't seem to expect dot 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 this woman would come forward and make such an intimate move. Grim Reaper is famous overseas. In this world, who would dare to be close to death? Close to death. But today, a mere weak woman took the arm of death. In Chen Zonging's somewhat stunned expression, she held Chen Zong and walked out of the box. Only Huang Hongyui was left, sitting in the private room with a change of expression. His eyes scanned the leaving figure of Ku Yi coldly. His face was cold and deep. A trace of hostility surged from his pupils. Ku Yiren, since there is a way to heaven, you don't go. Then there is a door to hell. Tonight, I will send you on the road. Huang Hongyui smashed the glass in his hand fiercely, showing his murderous intent. Dot. Ku Yi took Chen Zong's arm, and the two walked all the way out of the hotel. Woman, can you let go of your hand? Chen Zonging said calmly, 
Slowly, Kuyiran's pretty face blushed slightly, and then he released his arm in a hurry. I'm sorry, I'm afraid. Dot dot dot. I'm afraid you are impulsive. So, Kuyiran explained inexplicably complicated. Just now, the atmosphere was dense. She was afraid that Mr. Chen would be impulsive. Things would not end well. So she took Mr. Chen's arm in a hurry and led him out of the hotel. Oh, Chen Zonging spit out a word, his eyes calm and indifferent. He couldn't see any mood swings in his eyes, it seemed that female had no effect on him. Ku Yi has a complicated face and an inexplicable sense of frustration. For the first time in her life, besides her father, she is holding the arm of a strange man. But, why this Mr. Chen? hasn't changed at all, indifferent like an iceberg, is he a robot, he really has no emotions, a big beauty, but being ignored by a man, this feeling made her a little bit aggrieved, Kuyiran stepped on high heels and walked towards the black Mercedes Benz depressed, behind her, a group of bodyguards followed closely, guarding her all around to protect her safety, wait, Chen Zonging suddenly stepped forward and pulled her back, you, get out. Ku Yi had a pretty face and looked at him with some unknown reason. Let you back away. Chen Cheng's expression was very calm, but he was also very serious, and repeated it again. Only then did Ku Yiren realize that something was wrong, and hurriedly took a few steps backwards. At the same time, the private bodyguards behind them also noticed something was wrong, and asked Mr. Chen. What happened? The bodyguard team leader asked. Take your president and retreat a hundred meters away. Chen Zonging's expression was calm, and he ordered. The bodyguard group leader nodded his head, and a group of bodyguards carefully escorted the Kuyiran and hurriedly retreated one hundred meters away. Chen Zonging slowly squeezed out his cigarette, and then he walked straight to the black Mercedes Benz S600. Crouched down, slammed under the chassis of the car, under the chassis of the Mercedes-Benz car dot 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 in the dark and narrow chassis, a tiny red light is constantly flashing dot 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 as if it is a breath of death, Chen Zonging slowly moved in front of the red mang and observed it carefully, this, is a remote controlled time bomb, C4 plastic explosive, explosive power dot 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 sufficient to explode all objects within a radius of tens of meters into pieces, these powerful explosives are international contraband, only the military is eligible to obtain these explosive ingredients, because its power is too terrifying, if acquired by terrorists, it will become a weapon for terrorist attacks. A small explosive can destroy a skyscraper in an instant. At this time, this C4 explosive appeared in the city of China. Chapter 59 Draw a knife, get out of your body under the chassis of the Mercedes Benz. The timed explosive is installed in it. There was a red light with a scarlet signal. A disdainful sneer appeared on Chen Zong's face. It's just a C4 bomb designed in a 12-spoke interval. In front of him, it seemed to be a children's toy. Back then, the United States dispatched a whole 10 dot 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 F-22 Raptor fighters, which couldn't hold him. Now, what is a small C4 bomb in front of me? His eyes were indifferent and he slowly stretched out his hand, like an elegant gentleman, and began to disassemble the explosives. The white hands were disassembled on the explosives, as if they were working on a work of art creation, and every movement was extremely skillful. He took down the time bomb with two or three clicks. Two hundred meters away, Kuyiran's beautiful eyes were staring at the chassis of the car. A complex worry appeared on her pretty face. As time passed, her breathing became a little messy, worry grew, the bodyguards on the scene also looked solemn and nervous, they waited carefully around the lady, watching the situation on the spot, just as Kin Wai was worried and anxious with the bodyguards, a figure slowly emerged from the bottom of the car, it's Chen Zonging, he just stood there calmly, holding a black time bomb in his hand, he looked calm and dusted off his body, at this time, the faces of all the bodyguards present suddenly changed. They saw the thing in Mr. Jin's hand. Is that a bomb? Exclamation mark it's a bomb. This group of bodyguards did not expect dot dot 
dot just a moment of meal dot 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 under the guardianship of their group of bodyguards dot 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 someone unexpectedly dot 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 dare to install a time bomb under the young lady's car exclamation mark how did the other party do it exclamation mark Kuyiran stood not far away her pretty face was also pale she didn't expect that it was just a dinner she would have experienced dot 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 a life or death disaster the other party actually in the crowd installed explosives in his car exclamation mark this is too unscrupulous too much ignoring the laws of this city which car is huang hong yui's chen zong directly grabbed a hotel waiter and asked the waiter looked flustered and hesitated who dot 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 who is Huang Hong Yui? I don't know. Chen Zonging didn't talk nonsense, just grabbed him by the neck and lifted him up. You don't know who is Huang Hong Yui? Huang Hong Yui can send someone to install explosives at the entrance of the hotel, then. He must have bought the waiter at the entrance of the hotel. Therefore, he was too lazy to talk nonsense. The waiter was almost choked off, his face pale. As long as Chen Zong tried harder, his trachea would be cut off. He stretched out his hand tremblingly, and pointed to the Lamborghini sports car not far away. Chen Zong threw the waiter several meters away, and then with the bomb in his hand, he walked directly in front of the black Lamborghini sports car, Lamborghini LP 770, known as a Centennial Super Sports Car is limited to 100 units worldwide, a super sports car worth tens of millions. Chen Zongzing's expression was indifferent, and he directly smashed the Lamborghini window and threw the C4 bomb into the sports car. Doing this, I'm afraid dot 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 or else, should I call the police? Kuyiran stepped forward, her pretty face dignified and complicated. At this moment, the daughter-in-law became a little helpless. In this case, only the alarm was issued. No need, it's unnecessary. The courtesy is the same. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm and he took a deep breath of the cigarette. He turned and walked straight to the Mercedes Benz. Let's go, it's getting late. Chen Zonging stepped into the car calmly, as if nothing had happened. Ku Yi had a complicated face, and after hesitating for a long time, she turned around and got into the car. The Mercedes-Benz fleet drove away slowly. Dot. Not long after, Huang Hong Yui walked out of the Hilton Hotel with a gloomy expression. He stood in the empty seat where the Mercedes-Benz car had just been parked, with a grim smile on his lips. Kuyiran, since you have chosen hell, then I have to send you on the road. Don't blame me. And that surnamed Chen. Even if you are blown into flesh and blood, I will pick up all the meat from your corpse and throw it away to feed the dog. Huang Hong Yui looked calm and cold, muttering to himself, that was endless killing intent. Tonight, if the negotiation fails, then dot 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 nothing will happen. Kill it, then hurry up. After speaking, Huang Hong Yui took out a remote control button device from his pocket, it was dark and cold, as if it was a breath of death. Huang Hong Yui's handsome face flashed hideously, it was the pleasure of revenge. That was the pleasure of destroying a beautiful rose. Since you can't get a woman, then kill her. D. Huang Hong Yui pressed the remote control. Young Master Huang. No. In the distance, a hotel waiter suddenly shouted in horror. Huang Hong Yui's eyes were deep and he turned to look at the waiter suspiciously, at the same time, boom, there was a loud noise, exclamation mark, the black Lamborghini sports car next to it exploded in an instant, a sea of flames soaring to the sky, exclamation mark, Huang Hong Yui had no time to react, he was directly lifted off by a huge wave of air, exclamation mark, the entrance of the entire Hilton Hotel is completely messed up. The guests ran away. Huang Hong Yui fell to the ground, and his whole person was in a miserable mess. Numerous glass shards stabbed his body. Face. Chest. Arms. All blood. He was bombed into a blood man. Huang Hong Yui's body trembled in horror. His pupils looked at the skyrocketing flames in disbelief. Exclamation mark. His Lamborghini, a high-priced limited-edition sports car worth 30 million. At this moment, 
it has turned into a raging sea, exclamation mark. Ah, uh, ah uh, dot 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 ah, uh. Huang Hongyui's eyes are blood red, and he looks up to the sky and howls, exclamation mark. That's monstrous anger, monstrous blood feud, exclamation mark. Huge anger, blood feud, fury. Intertwined, exclamation mark. His body covered in blood was shaking violently, with anger attacking his heart, puff. Huang Hongyui suddenly spouted out another mouthful of blood, immediately afterwards, his whole eyes were dumbfounded dot 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 directly, he fell over and passed out dot. Shanghai and Sea Markets, late at night, the ancient house of the Huang family, an ambulance roared, the lights flickered, and quickly stopped in front of the Huang's house. Huang Hong Yui was covered in blood. He was lying on a stretcher and was carried out of the car by a dozen nurses. At this time, he had passed out. The whole body was stabbed with the of the explosion glass, blood overflowed, and it was extremely miserable. Quickly, to the patriarch, the second young master dot 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 he is in danger. Soon, a few hands looked anxious and hurried into the house dot 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 to report it as soon as possible, the ancient house of the Huang family, in a martial arts hall, patriarch Huang Zengming sat cross-legged, with his hands on his legs, meditating quietly with peace of mind, these days, the pain of losing his son made him suffer too much blood pressure, he must cultivate in this way to calm down his mind, the funeral of the eldest son Xuyang has just passed and the first seven days have not passed, as a father, he must personally guard the spirit for his son, after waiting for the first seven to resurrect, everything dot 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 before you can take any action, this is the facade of the big family, and it is also the last etiquette to observe after the death of his son. This man who has been in the south of the Yangtze River for decades, kills people like Nam, with his corpse on his feet. Today, he has to endure pain of losing his son and suppress his inner murderous hatred forcibly. For him, it is an endless suffering. Xuyang's first seven are resurrected, and there are still three days left. Huang Zengming sat in the martial arts hall, closed his eyes, and said slowly, are all the etiquettes prepared? On the side, the pale old servant, Uncle Zong, stood there, nodding his head. Master, rest assured, the first seven worship matters have been prepared. Everything is done in accordance with the highest custom standards. The young master, he will go very peacefully, and even in reincarnation, he will definitely be a general. Hearing Uncle Zong's words, Huang Zengming nodded slowly, everything is ready when you are ready, what he has endured now is just for his son to bid farewell to the final journey, Xuyang's first seven years have not passed, everything is simple, wait until the first seven worships are over, let go, draw the knife, get out of your body, report, master, something happened, at this moment, suddenly outside the martial arts hall, there was a rapid report from his subordinates, chapter 60 don't share it, report, master, something happened, a rush of news broke the silence of the Huang family's ancient house late at night, in the martial arts hall, patriarch Huang Zengming still meditates cross-legged, his eyes closed tightly, it seems that everything in the outside world has nothing to do with him, all this fuss is extremely noisy, Huang Zengming spit out a word, it seemed that he was very dissatisfied with the flustered appearance of Jiading outside the door, today, the first seven days of the eldest son have not yet passed, everything is quiet and lok, just to appease the undead of Xuyang, in the Manchu. Everyone wears linen and wears filial piety and gives spirits for seven days. But tonight, this family who knows nothing about life and death, is so yelling, afraid that the world will not be chaotic. What else is there in this world that can be more important than the requisiteness of the first seven of the eldest son? On the side, Uncle Zong bowed his body and said, Master, don't be angry, I'll go and train him now. 35. As Uncle Zong said, his old body slowly retreated, and then dot 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 opened the door of the martial arts hall and exited the martial arts hall, just take care of things, tears, something big, at the entrance of the martial arts hall, the voice of the speaker was extremely anxious, what's all the fuss about, 
Don't you know that the master is resting? Kneel down. Uncle Zong's old face was cold, and he shouted sharply, Boom. The famous Ding trembling body, he knelt to the ground abruptly, was trembling with fright, he didn't even dare to say anything. Say, what's the report? If it's a trivial matter, then I'll ask you. Uncle Zong's eyes were cold, staring at Jia Ding who was kneeling on the ground. King Siu in the middle of the night was disturbed by a hurried report from Jia Ding. Dot, 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 not to mention the first seven of the eldest master. No one will have a good face. Jia Ding knelt on the ground, his body trembling, his voice trembling and crying, second dot 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 second young master dot 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 something happened. At the same time, inside the martial arts hall. When Patriarch Huang Zengming heard these words, his eyes closed and rested. Suddenly opened. Wow! He burst into shape and rushed out of the martial arts hall. Say, what happened to Hong Yui's wicked son? Huang Zengming thought for the first time, it was not Huang Hong Yui that had an accident. But Huang Hong Yui's hidden dragons and crouching tigers in Shanghai and Jiangnan. In addition to his Huang family, there are endless huge forces lurking. And his second son, Huang Hong Yui, the character is extremely domineering, and he does countless things in his daily life. Rape, murder, captivity, murder is like hemp. It was this indulgence that caused Huang Hong Yui to grow rapidly and become a wild beast. This is also the clan tradition inherited by the Huang family. Therefore, in the eyes of the patriarch Huang Zengming, that second son of his own evil barrier must have provoked some extraordinary power outside, so. He was approached by the enemy. However, this is just a trivial matter. With his Huang family's power in Jiangnan, what if he provokes the law? To kill someone, find someone to replace it, rape and the woman, threaten the woman's home, and kill them all if she refuses to accept it. Provoke the enemy and kill if you don't accept it. The Huang family, doing things. Never talk about anything. In Jiangnan territory, his Huang family dot 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 is the law. His Huang family is heaven. At this time, the famous Master Ding knelt on the ground, trembling all over, and his voice trembled with horror, Second Young Master. Second Young Master. Was seriously injured by the explosion. Endangered. Boom. Upon hearing this, Huang Zengming's pupils trembled suddenly. He couldn't stand his whole body and almost fell down. Old servant Zong Bo also changed his face. Hong Hu, where is it? Huang Zengming's murderous intent surged at this moment. He grabbed Jia Ding's neck fiercely. His eyes were as hideous as a demon! Exclamation mark. Jia Ding was pinched and almost died, shivering. At dot 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 at the gate of the house, whoosh, Huang Zengming's figure flickered, and his footwork was so fast that his whole body almost became one. He rushed towards the door of the ancient house. Behind him, Uncle Zong's old figure also followed closely. His rickety body, at this moment, exploded with incomparably strong physical strength and speed. He hurried to catch up entrance to the ancient house of the Huang family. A white stretcher bed was placed in front of the door, and the second son Huang Hong Yui's body was lying horizontally on the stretcher, covered in blood. Dot 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 had passed out. Around the stretcher, dozens of private doctors in white coats were guarding him, giving Huang Hong Yui an emergency cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Because of Huang Hong Yui at this time, his heartbeat was almost dying. It was almost a step into the Yin Khan netherworld. The power of C4 explosives is too terrifying. When he arranged explosives for Ku Yiren's car, he would never dream of dot 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 the terrifying explosive would actually act on him. A full 3000 kilograms of explosive power of C4 explosive capacity. Originally dot 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 I wanted to blow up the of Ku Yiren and the of Chen Zong into flesh and blood together. But in the end, it was Huang Hong Yui himself who was blown up. The whole body was filled with glass shards, and it was not far from death. Whoosh! An afterimage rushed out from the door. Patriarch Huang Zengming's expression was condensed, and he rushed to the gate of the house. When his eyes saw the stretcher at the door, the whole person's heart trembled fiercely! Exclamation mark. My son, an extremely miserable cry of anger, exclamation mark. Huang Zengming rushed to the stretcher, 
almost collapsed, exclamation mark. The blood of father and son, ten fingers connected to the heart. Today, the first seven days of the eldest son Huang Zhuiang have not passed. But at this moment, the son of his knee actually suffered such a catastrophe, exclamation mark. How can he not be sad, exclamation mark. How can you not be angry, exclamation mark. Huang Zengming's pupils changed from sorrow to anger, and then to hideous death, exclamation mark. Seeing his son's body was filled with glass shards, his heart was trembling, exclamation mark. Is dot 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 who, is dot 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 who did it? Huang Zengming's voice gritted his teeth, almost with endless murderous intent, exclamation mark. In the entire Shanghai market, who is dare to die, dare to touch his son Huang Zengming, exclamation mark. He will surely slaughter each other with blood. Kill the nine races to relieve the hatred of the heart, exclamation mark. Around the stretcher, a group of family members knelt to the ground, and everyone was trembling. The anger of the patriarch is enough to shake the sky. One of his subordinates trembled, and his voice trembled with horror, tonight. Dot 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 second son dot 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 private banquet dot 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 to invite Ku Yi to attend. That Chen Zong dot 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 also attended the banquet. Second young master installed a bomb in the Ku Yiren's car, trying to blow her and Chen Zong into the air. But the bomb was dropped by Chen Zong's servant. The voice of his men trembled with horror, and he dared not say any more. Huang Zengming stood there, his whole person almost enveloped by a surge of hostility. Exclamation mark. Ah, Chen dot 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 Zengming. Huang Zengming clenched his fists, his joints snapped, his eyes are blood red, and his black hair is flying in the dark, like a terrible killer. My Huang family. Don't share the same spirit with you. Although Huang Zengming had already said, let the second son Hong Yui not act rashly, although it was the second son Huang Hong Yui who had provoked the opponent in advance. However, his Huang family is the law. This Jiang Nan, dare to move his Huang family, dare to hurt his second son Huang Hong Yui here? Exclamation mark. He must slaughter the blood to avenge the hatred of blood. Exclamation mark. Chapter 61 Where is the of war? Late at night, the Shanghai Sea Security Bureau. At this moment, all the staff in the entire criminal investigation hall looked solemn. An hour ago, they received a report from a hotel. A vicious bombing occurred at the entrance of the Hilton Hotel. The identity of the victim of the bombing is a huge taboo. The second son of the Huang family, Huang Hongyui, a C-4 explosive carrying 3,000 kilograms of power blasted young master Huang Hongyui away, and his life was uncertain. The nature of the case is bad, but the case itself was too tricky. Female police officer Yi Muxia stood in the hall, her dark hair curled up, and her pretty face was serious. Everything, one person involved in the case Huang Hongyui, three years ago, the homicide case in the Bund Scenic area. Huang Hong Yui was most suspected. Six years ago, the vicious case in the Queen's Bar, according to the DNA sperm test, was in line with Huang Hong Yui's identity DNA. Last year, the large scale beheading in Mnhang District. Dot, 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 according to the knives left at the scene, the biggest suspect. Dot, 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 Huang Hong Yui. The staff kept collating and reporting the cases accumulated by Huang Hong Yui. These are all headless unjust cases. In all cases involving the second son of the Huang family, nothing progressed. The second son of the Huang family did a lot of evil on weekdays. But the whole city system can't help him at all. Do a lot of evil, but get away with it. But tonight, the situation has changed. It is still a case involving the second son of the Huang family. It's just that the victim became Huang Gong Tsai himself. This case, take care of. Or leave it alone. The second son of the Huang family has done a lot of evil, but now he wants to file a case for a wicked person to make him a victim. This is a humiliation for all the staff present. Slap naked. Having worked in government offices for many years. What's ridiculous is, but by a small family, it monopolized the entire Jiangnan sky. Everyone is unwilling to accept this case, even if it is illegal, 
they don't want to manage it. Protect a person who has done a lot of evil, and help him. Forgive them for not being able to do it. Finally, the leader finally spoke. We dot 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 can't manage this case. As soon as this statement was made, all the staff present were silent. The second son of the Huang family did a lot of evil, and it was really impossible for them to protect a wicked person. This violates their core principle. Isn't the Huang family arrogantly claiming that the Huang family is the heaven of this city? Even so, simply don't care. The Huang family is a tiger in this part of the south of the Yangtze River. One day, his Huang family dot 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 will be punished. Dot. A deep night. Early the next morning, five o'clock. Chen Zonging woke up on time, got up, and exercised. Ten thousand push-ups and ten thousand cores upwards. This level of exercise is the limit that human beings simply cannot reach. Ordinary people can insist on two hundred push-ups that is the limit. But he insisted on a full 10,000 per day. After exercise, take a shower. Then he changed into a clean and tidy suit. Last night, there was a heavy rain dot 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 thunder and lightning. The air this morning is so refreshing. Lifting his wrist, glanced at the Omega watch on his wrist. Chen Zong Gong lit a cigarette and went straight through the lush green lawn to the QG Manor opposite. In the Ku's villa, the chef has prepared a hearty breakfast. The Ku sisters are sitting at the dining table, waiting for dinner. When Chen Zonging walked in, Sister Ku Shuang curled her lips in disdain and turned her head away, too lazy to see this bastard. It seemed that one more glance at this man made her feel annoyed. But Ku Yiren, with a complicated and tired face, sat at the table, a little absent minded. Last night, the news that Huang Hongyui was seriously injured by the bombing dot 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 she had received it the first time. At this moment, she felt more worried. The son of Huang's family was just beheaded and buried soon. Now, the second son of the Huang family was seriously injured again. According to the temperament of the Huang family, how can it be? The Huang family is completely the same as her Ku family. That will be an endless battle. Everyone is here and start a meal. This breakfast was still very quiet. Chen Zong pours a glass of red wine every morning. It seems that he is the only one who enjoys this life. Last night, it rained. In order to break the quiet and solemn atmosphere at the table, Ku Yi asked for a topic. However, her topic is also quite embarrassing. Well. I heard the thunder. Chen Zonging replied faintly, and continued to taste the wine and enjoyed the steak. Today, the weather is pretty good. Ku Yiren hesitated and said again, Well, it's okay. The conversation between the two was completely awkward. Ku Yiren is a strong woman in a shopping mall, with a demeanor between her hands and feet. But by the way, in front of this man, all her aura can't support her. And Chen Zonging was as cold as an iceberg. I didn't respond to this daughter-in-law. Ha, huh, in full. My sister Ku Shuang randomly stuffed a few sandwiches under her, and then waved away coldly. She didn't want to see Chen Zong for a moment. Ku Shuang walked out of the villa carrying a small Hermes satchel. Then a pink Lamborghini roared and drove away. As a wealthy daughter from a noble background, she stretched her hands out of her clothes to open her mouth, and developed such an elusive princess disease. Ku Yiren greeted the bodyguards beside him, and still let the two bodyguard cars follow carefully to protect his sister's safety at all times. The current situation in the Shanghai Sea is turbulent, and crises may emerge at any time. Just in case, it is the best policy. After breakfast. Ku Yiren and Chen Zonging also hurriedly got in the car and headed to the company. Dot. Along the way, the waves were calm. Ku Yiren sat in the Mercedes Benz, as usual, browsing the real time news on his mobile phone. At this time, the news on the internet has almost exploded. The second son of the Huang family was seriously injured by a car bomb at the entrance of the Hilton Hotel last night. Someone suspected it maliciously. Shocking news. The Huang family has encountered the strongest enemy in a century. The second son was attacked last night. Life or death is uncertain! Exclamation mark. All kinds of eye-popping gossips have already spread throughout the entire Shanghai market in an instant. Last night, the news that the second son of the Huang family was injured, although it was urgently blocked. However, because the incident happened suddenly, 
and it was in public. Therefore, all kinds of gossip still spread. Almost overnight, it spread throughout the entire Shanghai and the sea. All night, all the people actually clapped their hands and applauded, secretly, in the streets and alleys. People talked a lot. Dot, dot, dot. Almost everyone was fortunate that the second son of the Huang family was finally paid. The Huang family, a century old giant, rampant Jiangnan. Over the years, no evil has been committed, adultery and captivity. Such a cruel and vicious family has long been grievous. It's a pity that no one dares to speak because of fear of the Huang family. Now, the second son of the Huang family finally got retributed. In an instant, all the voices of the people were ignited. It's not that it is not reported, the time has not come. Although, the key information of this explosion was blocked. No way to know. People don't know. Who is the murderer? Who dared to be so bold and dared to blow up the second son of the Huang family? However, everyone faintly guessed that. This assailant, or the man who disturbed Huang Zhuyang's funeral, is the same person? Exclamation mark. A few days ago, the funeral of the eldest son Huang Zhuyang was disturbed. The funerals have been cancelled. But last night, the second son of the Huang family, was seriously injured again by the bombing exclamation mark these methods are simply too trembling this is to provoke the huang family for a hundred years in public this is in front of the 30 million people in shanghai and shanghai we are going to fight the huang family the huang family was finally met with retribution people are shocked people are shocked people cheer at the same time Everyone was speculating. Dot, 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 who was the one who dared to deal with the Huang family alone? Where is Fang Xiaoqian? Where is the of war? Exclamation mark. Chapter 62 Reach out to the world. The Mercedes Benz fleet slowly stopped in front of the Kiss building. The peace along the way is too depressing. There was no ambush or assault. This is not like the style of the Huang family at all. Kuyiran suppressed his inner worries, stepped on high heels and walked into the building. Chen Zonggong lit a cigarette, put one hand in his trouser pocket, and walked into the building casually. Everything seemed so quiet. Quiet. People feel a little heart palpitations. At the entrance of the KISS building, the members of the security team were still on duty and standing guard as usual. The little security guard Xi Ming was wearing a security uniform, standing under the scorching sun earnestly on duty as the guard. The security team leader, Wang Dali, was sitting in the air-conditioned room of the sentry box, drinking a cold beer and enjoying the cold under the scorching heat. In the security team, Xi Ming, the new security guard, is there coolly. Any hard work is left to him. The other old fritters security guards did their best to be lazy and try their best to be lazy. Although Ding Daman, the security manager, has been fired. The atmosphere of the entire security department has not changed. The sun was scorching, and even the ground was hot. D A D A D A. Apostrophe. At this moment, suddenly at the end of the street in the distance, there was an inexplicable rush of steps. Exclamation mark. The sound is rushing and powerful. Listening to this sound, like dot 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 horse hooves. Exclamation mark. The sound wants to come closer, from far to nearer. At the end of the street, a jealous brown yellow war horse is sweeping through the smoke and rushing. On the back of the brown yellow war horse, riding the figure of an old ancient jinn, the old man is holding a long whip and riding a horse. Pent towards Kiss Mansion, the war horse roared and ran wildly. This scene is too shocking. At the entrance of the Kiss Building, a group of security guards all stared wide eyed looking at the horse running wildly in shock and shock. You, the old man pulled the reins abruptly, stepped down the fierce horse and raised his head violently. His upper body rose into the air and stopped. The whole scene was shocked and inexplicable. Everyone looked at the horse curiously. In today's high-tech era, there are still people riding on war horses? Exclamation mark. This is simply unprecedented. The brown Iello war horse. The horse is strong and powerful, and full of power. The old man's old face was filled with incomparable sharpness. He just rode on his horse like this, looking around with deep eyes. 
an inexplicable breath emerged under the gaze, Ying Lang looked at the entrance of the security pavilion, team leader Wang Dali dangled in his cigarette, and a group of security guards walked out swaggeringly behind him, old man, who are you? Do you know where this is? This is the Kiss Mansion, it's not a place to make trouble. Did you run the wrong set? When Wang Dale saw that the other party was just an old man, he shouted with a cold face. Behind him, several security guards were also smoking cigarettes, and looked at the old man riding a horse with disdain. What age is this? Come here on a fierce horse. Are you kidding me? Do you have a driving license for this thing? This thing can only be seen in TV dramas and circuses. This old man. I'm afraid he didn't come from some costume crew, right? Or the circus staff, run on the wrong field? On the back of the war horse? The old man sat straddling quietly. He raised his eyes slightly and looked straight ahead, without paying attention to the little security guards at all. Hey! old man, talking to you, did you hear me, dumb? When Wang Dale saw that the old man ignored him, his voice suddenly became louder. With the group of brothers behind him, are they afraid that this grey-haired old man will fail? But at this moment, the old man's right hand twisted gently, the whip in his hand suddenly turned into a cold light. Bah! Like an angry dragon, the long whip hit Wang Dale's palm fiercely. Wang Dale's face trembled suddenly, and a mouthful of blood spurted out on the spot. Puff! His body was directly flew out by a huge force, severely planted on the ground a few meters away. He coughed violently and his mouth was full of red blood. The teeth were knocked out in a row. I am, Hu Hai Huang family. Huang Zong is too. The old man's eyes were deep and his voice was as cold as cold. Ha! Huh. When I heard the words of the old man, the hearts of everyone present, abruptly trembled. Wang Dali's whole body was directly trembling with fright, and the body that had just gotten up knelt to the ground again. Behind Wang Dali, the faces of those security guards changed suddenly. Everyone retreats in horror. Dot 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 hide far away. Q Hai, Huang family, Huang Zong, Quan Jiangnan, who does not know, who does not know? Exclamation mark. Hundred year Huang family, Huang Zong is second. The old butler of the Huang family who is over 90 years old, Huang Zong, the rivers and lakes for decades, the name of Huang Zong, resounded through the Bund. This is an old hero who has been famous for a long time. A terrifying existence second only to the Huang family patriarch, although, he is over 90 years old, although, he is still old. However, his spirit is still invincible. In front of the horse, everyone all backed up and evaded. Who dare to stop the Huang family, Huang Zong? Wang Dali knelt down here at this time, already shocked. A stench of heat gushes out between his legs, and he is completely scared to urinate. Xi Ming stood alone at the entrance of Kiss Mansion. He stood there like a wooden stake, blocking the way of the horse. Although his body trembled a little, he did not move away. Senior, this is the Ku group. If you have anything, Please follow the rules. Xi Ming's voice was respectful, trying to make this senior be able to abide by the group rules. However, Huang Zong's face was suddenly cold, and a sneer flashed at the corner of his mouth. Rules, I am Huang Zong here, it is the rules. Suddenly, Huang Zong raised his right hand. The long whip is flying out. Puff. Xi Ming was flew away by the whip. Xi Ming fell to the ground fiercely spitting out a mouthful of blood. Huang family, in front of Huang Zong, no one can stop. He looked like an eagle, looked around, then raised his head, facing the hundreds of meters high skyscraper. With a stern shout, Chen Zonging, come out. Come, vigorous, vigorous voice penetrated through layers of air and echoed in the sky. Everyone at the entrance of the Kiss Mansion was trembling with fright by the sound of the murder. Chen Zonging, Come out dot 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 come. Huang Zong's voice was thunderous, holding a long whip, and roaring again, such as he dong lion roar, struggle against the mountains and the world, the time will never die. Dot. Q's building, a nine tinan floor office. Chen Zonging was sitting in front of the chair, holding a copy of Tao Ching in his hand and slowly flipping through it. But at this moment, 
Suddenly there was a knock on the door. President Ku Yiren stood at the door with a serious face. Mr. Chen, downstairs. Someone blocked the door downstairs, as if looking for you. Kuya's pretty face is worried and complicated. I heard it. Chen Zongzong held a cigarette in his mouth, flipped through it lightly, and browsed the next page of the book. He didn't seem to pay attention to the roar of the man downstairs at all. Still indifferent, reading the contents of the book. I have dispatched the security team and the defense team. The other party may have come prepared. The Ku Yi was a little worried and anxious. Number. Don't worry about it. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, staring at the book from beginning to end. Ren downstairs murdered and swept, and the roar swept through. He stood still and read the book slightly. Ten minutes later, he finally finished reading the Xiu An Minute Skate of the Tao Ching. Taoism pays attention to the integration of heaven and earth. Although he kills infinitely, he is full of spirits and ghosts. But he was single minded. Reaper, believe. Close the book and slowly put it down. Chen Zong took a deep breath, and then slowly got up from the chair. Let's go, go down and see which old friend is here. He held his cigarette, his eyes calm and walked out of the office slowly. Ku Yiren's pretty face is complicated and solemn, stepping on high heels and following him closely. Chapter 63 The person in my yellow family who wants to kill Chen Zonging, get out dot 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 come out. Downstairs in the building, Huang Zong stepped on the horse, screamed like thunder, and roared again. Exclamation mark. Like thunder seers, sound like a lion roar cruel like a tiger roar. Throughout the scene, everyone backed away in horror, everyone was trembling. With the war horse as the center, no one dared to approach it within our radius of 100 meters. Who is calling me? At this moment, a faint and indifferent voice suddenly floated. In an instant, everyone's eyes were cast toward the door of the building. His face was fair and elegant with long black hair combed backwards. He is in a straight suit and his tie is tied with white lining. Coming slowly like a gentleman. Step by step, Chen Zong's figure came towards the brown and yellow war horse. Ku Yiren followed behind, and originally wanted to step forward, but was held back by the secretary. Mr. Ku, you can't go forward. It's dangerous. Secretary Sungs held Ku Yiren's jade arm tightly, her pretty face extremely nervous. The atmosphere at the scene was frozen to the extreme. Step by step, he came to the warhorse and stood still. At this moment, the tall and mighty warhorse trembled a little. It actually trembled with its hoofs and retreated. Chen Zonging just stood there calmly, not moving. However, the warhorse seemed to be frightened. Limbs and horseshoes are a little unsteady. Everyone says that beasts are psychic. At this moment, this awkward war horse seemed to smell a hint of inexplicable panic. It, from the man in the suit, felt a terrible fierceness. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and he glanced at the old man who straddled the horse. It turned out that it was you. We met again at the funeral that day. The corner of his mouth raised a faint arc. Huang Zong's face was condensed, and his whole body exuded a chill. At this time, the horse he drove was no longer shuddering trembling and retreating, naughty animal, waste. Huang Zong stared fiercely at the abdomen of the war horse with both feet. The horse was frightened, and was finally forced to stop, not daring to go backwards. But it was still horrified, and all its limbs and horseshoes were trembling. He didn't dare to look directly at Chen Zonging in front of him. This little animal seems to be very afraid of me, Chen Zonging said lightly with a faint look. The war horse was even more frightened, and the four horses' hooves softened and almost collapsed to the ground. On horseback, Huang Zong's face was grim. At this moment, the aura of his Huang family was actually suppressed by the young man in front of him. For another point, exclamation mark. How can he be suppressed by a young man in a mere mere triumph of Huang Zong's battles for a hundred years and blood slaughter in the battlefield? Presumptuous, Huang Zong shouted angrily. The right hand spun suddenly. Waving the long whip, Tamron comes out. Whhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhhh
and the killing trembled. The hearts of everyone present suddenly mentioned it. Some timid people even closed their eyes in horror, just now, everyone saw the terrifying power of this old man, going down with this whip, ten dead and no life. But Chen Zonging stood there calmly, his eyes indifferent. He slowly raised his right hand. As fast as lightning, the long whip that Huang Zong cleaved was gently clamped by him with two fingers. You have been in the army for decades. I thought you were very powerful. Chen Zonging held the ferocious whip between his two fingers, and shook his head slowly. His eyes were full of disappointment. I thought that the person in front of me would at least not let myself down. But the moment he shot it, he realized that the opponent was so weak and pitiful. Everyone present was shocked by this scene. Mr. Chen, unexpectedly, caught the terrifying and murderous whip with bare hands with two fingers? Exclamation mark. Just now, they saw with their own eyes. Huang Zong's whip sent people away. The power of that whip is undoubtedly terrifying. But why? Why at this moment, Mr. Chen in front of him just dot 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 with gently. He caught the whip. Not far away, Xi Ming's body trembled, and the blood stains on the corners of his mouth were wiped off. Dot, 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 slowly got up from the ground. He looked at Chen Zonging's gaze, with passion, admiration, yearning. I don't know why, at this moment, Chen Zong's figure is standing there, giving people a feeling of rivaling in the world. That seems to be a of war. At this moment, Huang Zong's expression dot 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 changed in anger. He has been in the army for decades and has been rampant. But today, unexpectedly, was suppressed a whole step by a young man in his early twenties in front of him. His whip is invincible in the world. But, that young man raised his hand recklessly and caught a move with just two fingers? I don't know, you are looking for me today, what's the important thing? Chen Zenging looked faintly and lightly flicked his two fingers. The long whip was bounced back. Huang Zong turned his right hand and took back his long whip, but the force of that rebound was so great that it actually shook his right hand with a huge tremor and numbness. He restrained the sharp pain in his right hand forcibly, and the surface dot 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 still remained calm and solemn. I am here today, by the order of the patriarch, to send a blood letter. Ha! Huh. As soon as this remark came out, the audience trembled. The Huang family sent someone to send a blood letter! Exclamation mark. What is blood letter? This is the system of rivers and lakes that has been inherited for a century. In the 100th year of the Republic of China, the Green Gang was rampant. That year, Jin Rong, the Lord of the Green Gang, sent a letter covered with blood if he wanted to kill a person, to show killing intent. Such arrogance rivals, in this world. Only the Huang family dare, before killing, send a blood letter. Tell the whole world, who dares to stop the people in my Huang family who want to kill, who can escape the person in my Huang family who wants to kill! Exclamation mark. Honest and unscrupulous, Huang Zong looked like a wolf killing a hostile, and suddenly pulled out a scarlet covered paper letter from his shirt. Chen Zonging, you! Put it away! Suddenly, the blood letter pierced through the void? like a sharp blade, smashing into Chen Zonging's head quickly. Although it is a paper letter, when strength implies breaking the limit, a piece of paper can also be turned into a killer. Chen Zonging's eyes were faint, and his fingers lifted lightly. Zheng, he caught the blood letter in his fingers. The letter is not bad. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, complementing the shape of the envelope. Then, he slowly opened the envelope. On the blood red envelope, with gold inscriptions, there are six Kang proud characters, within three days, take the head. The font is simple and unpretentious. This is the Huang family patriarch. Pen, ink, paper, ink stone, and his own inscription. These six words exude an unprecedented murderous intent. Looking at the six golden characters in the blood letter, the corners of Chen Zonging's mouth were raised in an arc. I don't know if it's playful dot 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 or mocking dot 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 or, disdain. Chen Zonging, listen up. Huang Zong's face was stern, exuding a murderous intent, and he shouted, The patriarch has an order, within three days. Take the head of your item. Your head is ready. Three days later, it will be your day. 
The curvature of Chen Zong's Hong's mouth became deeper. Memorial Day, he muttered to himself with a faint look, really, I look forward to it. Huang Zong's eyes sharpened sharply, a cold. How dare this young man laugh? Is this a blatant provocation to the Huang family? Is this the one who sent the blood letter to the head of the Huang family and didn't care? Unscrupulous. Huang Zong was angry and murdered, and suddenly raised his right hand. The whip in his hand danced quickly turning into a lightning angry dragon. The long whip wrath dragon spins rapidly, carrying thousands of enemies with killing intent, and rushes towards Chen Zonging. Just now, that blow was easily resisted by the opponent. Huang Zong is not convinced. He has been rampant in the arena for decades. How can he be defeated by a small young man? He wanted to kill all his life, and today dot 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 everything came. This whip is a match for killing intent. Exclamation mark. Chapter 64 I am looking forward the long whip strikes and the killing is rampant. The air was chopped and twisted and trembled, and the huge wind howled. The whip is like an electric dragon, coming surgingly. Chen Zonging's eyes were faint, and his expression was calm and indifferent. Suddenly, he suddenly raised one hand. Whoosh. The ferocious whip that came quickly through the air dot 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 directly, he grabbed it with one hand and froze in the air. Endless killings, disappear in an instant. On the other end of the long whip, Huang Zong's face condensed. That was an incredible shock. A whip that he killed with all his strength. The other side, easy. Caught it. You still disappoint me. Chen Zonging's eyes were silent. Swiftly, he held the whip in one hand and pulled it suddenly. On the back of the horse, Huang Zong, who was on the other end of the long whip, was directly pulled off the horse by a terrifying force. Dot 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 instantly. Boom. Huang Zong's body fell to the ground fiercely, and the smoke was everywhere. A mess. Chen Zonging held a long whip in his hand and flicked it again. Huang Zong's body was directly dragged to him sideways. Ah, presumptuous. Huang Zong's expression was fierce and angry. This old river and lake who was over 90 years old was completely angry. He leapt suddenly, trying to rise from the same place. However, Chen Zong suddenly lifted his leather shoes and kicked his chest fiercely. Boom. With a kick of the leather shoes, Huang Zong's whole body was directly trampled on the ground. A puff of smoke filled the air. Huang Zong was trampled under his feet. The scene was completely silent. This kind of picture is too shocking. The Huang family, under one person, above 10,000 people. Huang Zong, respected as a hero, was stepped under his feet by a young man in his twenties at this moment. So humiliated, so shameless. Chen Zonging's feet stepped on Huang Zong his eyes calm and leisurely. He slowly took out a pack of soft Chinese cigarettes from his pocket, took out one, and lit it. After taking a deep breath, the rich nicotine taste penetrated through the throat and reached the lungs. He was calm and calm, as if stepping on his feet was not a person, but a dog. You dot 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 a mere junior, looking for death. Let go of me. Huang Zong was even more murderous even though he was trampled underfoot, his eyes widened and threatening. Chen Zong Gong's gaze was faint, and the leather shoes that stepped on his chest hardened. Ah, Huang Zong only felt that his chest was about to be crushed, and the pain was severe. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, his eyes faint and indifferent. He lowered his head and looked at Huang Zong at his feet. You have been in the army for decades. Over the years, you probably have lived on a dog. Chen Zonging said slowly in a quiet voice. His voice is full of irony. The dignified soldiers retired, but became the running dogs of the Huang family. Once throwing his head and giving up his life for his homeland, he turned out to be a black force and a wicked one in the end. All the glory of the first half of life was ruined. Wasn't this a dog in the second half of his life? At his feet. Huang Zong's expression became even worse when he heard this, his murderous intent was skyrocketing and trembling. Junior Ant, you dot 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 are looking for death. Huang Zong roared with stern voice. This strong man who was respected as the second person of the Huang family, at this moment, was trampled under his feet, and he could only be furious and fierce. Chen Zonging stepped on Huang Zong's foot and stood calmly on the spot. 
smoking a cigarette quietly. Everyone in the surroundings didn't even dare to breathe. These pictures are too shocking. Daiwu dot 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 Daiwu. Suddenly, there was a rush of police sirens in the distance. An official car with flashing police lights is speeding, sprinting towards the direction of the Kiss Mansion. Squeak. The official car flicked and stopped at the door of the building. The sudden appearance of the official car broke the silence on the scene in an instant. Everyone cast their eyes on the police car in astonishment. The door of the public police car opened, and the female policewoman Yamuxia had a dignified face, wearing a light blue work uniform, and stepped out of the car. Behind her, followed by a small entourage police officer. Ten minutes ago, she received a report. Someone was holding a whip weapon and riding a war horse to make trouble in front of the Kiss building. So Yamuxia hurried over with police officers. However, when we rushed to the scene, the scene of the scene was different from the description on the phone call. A 90 year old old man trampled underfoot by a young man. The whole scene was filled with murderous intent and messy fighting marks. What happened just now? What's going on? Yi Muxia dignified and suddenly walked towards Chen Zonging's direction. When she approached, her pretty face became more solemn, and her beautiful pupils shrank suddenly, because she recognized the old man who was trampled under her feet. In the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets, who does not know Huang Zong, Huang family, Huang Zong. Huang Zong's name is listed as a high risk suspect. After decades of shaky rivers and lakes, he Huang Zong killed countless people. The murder is dripping. However, the official government has nothing to do with him, and there is nothing he can do about it, because behind him is the Huang family. There is no evidence, no clues. The staff can only let Huang Zong. Let the Huang family get away with it. At this moment, the second person in the Huang family, Huang Zong, was actually trampled underfoot? Question mark. This picture is too shocking. Moreover, it was actually a dot 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 so young youth who trampled him under his feet! Exclamation mark. It's nothing, someone is disobedient, he'll just teach it a lesson. Chen Zonging still stood the calmly, Stepping on Huang Zong, calmly said, Yi Muxia's pretty face was dignified, and she took a step forward, her beautiful eyes staring at Chen Zong. It seems that you want to see in the eyes of this young man. What clues? However, she found nothing. Who is this young man? Actually, step on Huang Zong. Could it be? Exclamation mark. In Yi Muxia's mind. An unbelievable idea suddenly appeared. A few days ago, the son of Huang's family was killed. Last night, the second son of the Huang family was injured. According to rumors, everything was done by a young man. Could it be that this one? Is it? Exclamation mark. What's your name? Yi Muxio asked with a solemn voice, staring at Chen Zonging. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm and he turned to glance at her. Me? My name is Chen, he replied indifferently, as if he didn't pay attention to the female arrestor in front of him. Sorry, sir, there may be some misunderstandings. Mr. Chen is the security director of our group, who maintains the order of the group. At this moment, President Ku Yiren suddenly stepped forward and defended Chen Zonging. Just now, someone made trouble with the group. So Mr. Chen came forward and stopped the conflict. Yi Muxia's beautiful eyes were complicated and solemn, staring at Chen Zonging for a long time. Release the people, she said solemnly. At this moment, there is a lot of people. Developments cannot continue. What she needs to do is control the conflict and resolve. Although Huang Zong did a lot of evil, after all, there is no evidence. Can't arrest people. At this time, Huang Zong still maintained his status as a civilian. Therefore, we can only control the situation and resolve conflicts. Ku Yiren came to Chen Zonging and said softly, Mr. Chen, let him. Let go. At this moment, Ku Yi's life is afraid that Chen Zong will lose control of his attack and cause another murder. This time, there was a Sir staff present. If the murder is committed in public, it will probably be very troublesome. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, his eyes faint and indifferent. He lowered his head and glanced at Huang Zong at the corner of his eyes. Go back and tell your master, let her, he'll take it. Also, 
tell him one more sentence. Dot, 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 I am looking forward to it. Chen Zhongying's eyes were faint, then, slowly, lifted up his leather shoes. Huang Zong's eyes were ferocious, and he suddenly jumped up. The palm of his hand turned into eagle claws, and he rushed towards Chen Zhongying. He wanted to kill with a single blow, killing Chen Zong on the spot. Chen Zhongying looked faintly, and slowly spit out a smoke ring, and then, under his feet, a leg slammed. Hey! The leather shoes kicked Huang Zong's chest fiercely. Huang Zong's whole body was directly blasted by a huge force, blasting away tens of meters away. Boom! Huang Zong's body fell to the ground. The ground instantly cracked. Smoke and dust filled. The policewoman Chen Zong Chong shrugged helplessly. Sir, you see, he did it first. I just self-defense. Yi Muxia's pretty face was shocked and sluggish, and she was a little dazed in place. The ultimate soldier front, readership, 310,745,503. Chapter 65 Reply A letter tens of meters away, Huang Zong vomited blood, his body trembling. He got up from the crack in the ground. His old body was trembling all over. At this time, he seemed to be dozens of years old in an instant. The white hair was messy and scattered, and the whole person seemed crazy. He Huang Zong has been rampant in the arena for nearly a hundred years. Never before has he suffered such a big humiliation. At this time today, he was trampled and humiliated by an ant junior in his early twenties. This is simply the biggest humiliation of his life. However, he is not the opponent of this junior at all. You can't beat and beat and you can't kill and kill. At this time, he was full of anger. Puff. He was so angry that he spouted another mouthful of old blood. It seems that your physical condition is not optimistic. If you want to die, please stay away from the trouble. Don't die at the door of the building. It's very horrible. Chen Zonging stood not far away, his eyes faint, and said slowly. His voice was calm, but it seemed to be ironic. If he wanted to kill Huang Zong, he could kill him in the blink of an eye. It's just that he disdains. Is a traitor who rebelled against the soul of the army really deserved to die in his hands? You dot 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 puff. Huang Zong was anxious, and another big mouthful of blood spurted out. Why, even if you can control your emotions, how can you sweep the rivers and lakes? Chen Zonging's eyes were faint, and there was a touch of disdain in his eyes. Oh yes? It seems to have forgotten that you have lived on a dog for half your life. A dog can't control emotions. Puff. Huang Zong's eyes were furious, and his mouth was bloody. Exclamation mark. The whole person almost fell to the ground. He is the second person in the Huang family, and has been invincible all his life. There is less than one person and more than 10,000 people, but at this moment, but being so humiliated by a small ant junior exclamation mark junior ant you dot 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 wait for me huang zong's body trembled enduring the severe pain of internal injury trembling body rushed to the horse and staggered on his horse drive huang zong shouted angrily as he did his best stepping down the war horse shaking in shock turned around dot 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 then rushed and fled away the whole scene was stupefied and silent. The expressions of everyone present were shocked, staring blankly at this scene. Policewoman Yamuxia took a deep breath, suppressing the shock in her heart. She stared at Chen Zonggong for a long time, then dot 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 only then turned around and left. The police car whizzed and drove away. At the entrance of Kiss building, the air at the scene seemed a little quiet and silent. Everyone is obviously still silent in the huge shock just now. It's hard to come back to life. The old butler of the Huang family, Huang Zong, who is known as the king, is today dot 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 was humiliated to this point. This is dot 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 it's going to be chaotic. With a complicated face, Ku Yi sighed and came to Chen Zonging's side. Last night, Huang Hong Yui was seriously injured dying. The Huang family will not give up. Her voice was worried, with unprecedented solemnity. Today, the lord of the Huang family actually sent a blood letter. It is conceivable that the Huang family dot 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 finally is about to do it. Oh, Chen Zonging took a deep breath, 
His eyes narrowed slightly. Second young master Huang is not dead yet. The first thing he cared about was not the Huang family's resignation, nor the blood letter, but Huang Hongyui. This second son is not dead yet. A slight chill flashed in Chen Zong's eyes. How can the person he wants to kill continue to live in the world? Last night, it seemed that the second son of the Huang family had escaped by luck. C4 explosives. Dot 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 hey. The corners of Chen Zonging's mouth raised a curve. From the moment Huang Hong Yui installed the C4 explosives, he was gone and there was no way to survive. In this world, those who want to kill the gods must die first. Anyway, Huang Hong Yui's hatred cannot be resolved. Anyway, he will still kill. Rather than postpone the hidden danger for later, it is better to kill the matter as soon as possible. Mr. Chen, how are we going to respond? Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were complicated, and her voice was more solemn than ever. Today, the head of the Huang family has arrived with a blood letter. Huang's revenge is finally coming. How would she and the entire Ku group respond? Ku Yiren is a powerful woman in the shopping mall, but, in the face of the conflict of this kind of underground forces, she completely lost her own opinion. A weak woman is weak after all. At this moment, all her opinions rested on Chen Zong. It seems that this man dot 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 is the key to supporting her to persevere. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, his eyes calm. An answer. His answer, only four words, is also very simple. Ku Yiren's pretty face was taken aback, a little confused and looked at him puzzled. Bring paper and pen. Chen Zonging looked faintly and looked around. Secretary Sungs hurriedly fetched a blank paper and pen from the front desk of the building and handed it to Chen Zonging. Chen Zonging took the pen and paper, his eyes calm and faint. He has a pen in his right hand, and dragons and phoenixes dance. Dancing a few strokes on the paper, wrote a sentence. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were puzzled and his eyes swept to the words on the paper. However, when she saw the madly cursive line on the paper, her whole body was shocked. On the paper, there is only one sentence. Three days later, take your second son, Huang Hongyui's head. This arrogant, domineering, and rival. This sentence is utterly unbridled. This is to challenge the Huang family in public. Exclamation mark. This, this is. His response? Ku Yiren's whole brain was blank, completely stunned. At a loss, Chen Zonging retracted the pen, then gently folded the paper in his hand and stuffed it into the envelope. He glanced around. Who, take a trip to the Huang family for me, for me, give this letter to the lord of the Huang family. As soon as this statement came out, everyone in the audience dot 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 all took a step back. Everyone, after all, Dare not step forward. Are you kidding me? Send this letter to Huang's house. So, is it possible to come back alive? The Huang family, a century old giant. There are countless murders. Isn't this tantamount to going to die? The security guards of the group of groups at the scene even turned their heads directly, pretending not to hear this sentence. Some even quietly retreated and fled the scene. I am afraid that the mission of sending death falls on myself. Where Chen Zong's gaze passed, everyone regressed. No one is willing to die. Mr. Chen. Dot 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 I, he'll go for you. At this moment, Xi Ming, who was standing not far away, suddenly looked solemn and slowly stepped forward. The whole audience was silent. Everyone's eyes turned to Xi Ming. This new security guard, his brain is rusty, right? Apostrophe. This little security guard, really has no brains. This is going to die. Apostrophe. Xi Ming, that idiot. Still want to be the first bird? Oh, what a silly dick. Apostrophe. At this moment, this is the thought in the hearts of everyone present. Chen Zonging looked indifferently and slowly looked at Xi Ming. Great. Step by step, he walked in front of Xi Ming. The folded envelope was handed to Xi Ming. For me. Send the letter dot 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 to Huang's house. Xi Ming's face was solemn, and he took the letter carefully. Mr. Chen rest assured, I will definitely complete the task. Chen Zonging turned around, with a cigarette in his mouth, his eyes calm and quiet. 
he passed through the crowd and walked into the building. Everyone around him avoided wherever he went. Behind him, Kuyi was sluggish for a long time before stepping on high heels and hurriedly following. Mr. Chen, you ask the security guard to send the letter to the Huang's house. The little security guard, I'm afraid, will be the Huang's family. Kuyi's voice was worried and solemn. How could she not think of the consequences? The Huang family is now incompatible with the Ku group. At this moment, when Chen Zong wrote such a letter, he even asked the security guard of the group to deliver it in person. That little security guard, I'm afraid, even, there is no return. You worry too much. Chen Zonging looked calm, spit out a word, and stepped into the elevator. Chapter 66 Stand out for a hundred years A blood letter from the Huang family was sent to the Ku group. Almost in the blink of an eye, the news spread to all the power classes in the Shanghai and Shanghai markets. The parties shook. The Huang family, one of the four major families in Shanghai, finally, is it going to do it? The sky will be chaotic, and the Ku group will die. Hu Hai, Fei's villa. Fan Jin stood in front of the French windows. In his hand, he shook a glass of mellow red wine. As one of the shareholders of the Ku group, as the executive director, she has no worries at all at this moment. She sipped the red wine lightly, and the edge of her red lips actually raised a curve. The smile seemed to be gloating. Father, the Huang family sent a blood letter. Dot, 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 take Chen Zonging's head three days later. How long do you think the Kui people can support? Fan Jin turned and looked respectfully at the middle-aged man on the sofa in the hall. Father Fchi took a sip of his cigar slowly, inexplicably deep. Then Chen Zonging is just a little capable of fighting, and a mere martial artist. How can it be compared with the power of the Huang family's indulgence? Chen Zonging is dead, Ku Yiren dot 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 presumably can't last three days. Fki's voice was deep, with a strategizing approach. As Fan Jin's father, he was also one of the co-founders of the Ku group. During his entrepreneurship, he was a member of the Ku group's veteran group. Back then, with Ku Hui Hai, he founded the Ku group a super enterprise with a scale of nearly 100 billion. Now, he no longer belongs to Kui Hui Hai. He has his own faction, and his family is not satisfied with the fence. He wants to win more rights and status. Father, then, shall we do it? If the project is earned by the Huang family, the group group will lose more than the gains. Fan Jin gently shook the glass and asked slowly. Her ultimate goal is to obtain that project. Pick up and control the equity of KISS group. Then, she will officially change the name of the KU group to the group. The group changes ownership, change the name and surname. This is her ambition for Fan Jin. Don't worry. Father Fchi looked faintly, and slowly spit out a smoke ring. Wait. The time will appear soon. When Chen Zonging dies, Ku Yiren dot 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 will be frustrated and collapsed. Whenever dot 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 she is desperate, she will obediently share the project. Fki's eyes flashed sharp and scheming. Yes, Fan Jin nodded softly with a pretty face. A factional dispute belonging to the family is gaining momentum. Dot. At the same time, Fuxing Building, Huangpu District. Shanghai and Hei Hai Si, Office of the President and Young Directors. Go Shows, who is respected as the richest young man in Jiangnan, was leaning on the sofa at this time. He folded Erlang's legs, his eyes faintly listening to the report of the private female secretary. After listening to the report of the female secretary, Go Shou slowly picked up a cup of black tea and took a sip, feeling the sweet and bitter aftertaste of black tea. The corners of his mouth. Also raised a deep arc. Huang's blood letter. Oh, it's really interesting. I want to come, the first seven of the Huang family's son, will it be coming soon? That Chen Zong, this time, will not survive the fourth day. Go Shou's his eyes are faint, his eyes calm and deep. In his eyes, that Chen Zong, already, equal to a dead person. The bleeding letter sent by the Huang family represented the attitude of the Huang family. If you don't kill Chen Zonging, the Huang family will not give up everything. Just wait for Huang Zhuyang's first seven want to pass. Dot. However, 
just as the core class in Shanghai and Shanghai markets were chattering about the blood letter from the Huang family. No one would have thought that a reply letter from Chen Zonging was on the way to Huang's house. In early summer, the noon sun was extremely hot. A donkey electric moped is slowly driving on the way to the ancient house of Huang's house. Xi Ming wears a helmet on his head, riding on a moped. With a solemn expression, he carried the letter written by Mr. Chen himself. Today, for him, it is an opportunity, maybe, also a dead end. The other party is the Hu Hai Huang family, a quarter of the sky in this city. And when he went, there were more ills than good luck. Half an hour later, Xi Ming rode a moped and drove slowly to the door of a huge retro house. On the gate of the ancient mahogany house, there are two vigorous and powerful characters. Yellow House. This residence has witnessed the century old history of Shanghai Beach. 100 years ago, the Republic of China was in turmoil. Jin Rong, the hero of the King Gang, swept south of the Yangtze River and unified the underground world of the French concession. It was an era of the rise of heroes and the chaos of the world. It was an age that people remembered so deeply and shocked their hearts. Today, it still stands here. The century old Huang family witnesses the rise and fall. Xi Ming parked the moped aside, and then got off the car carefully. With a solemn gaze, he step by step dot 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 walked towards the mahogany gate of the Huang's house. Bow dot. He knocked on this century old mahogany door. A few minutes later, a Huang's servant slowly opened the mahogany door. Who? Dare to knock on the door of my Huang's house? The servant asked coldly in a cold voice. The Huang family residences stood out for hundreds of years. Who would dare knock on the door of Huang's house? This is tantamount to looking for death. I am the security guard of the Ku group. On the order of Mr. Chen, I hereby dot 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 send a reply letter. Standing at the door, Xi Ming said solemnly, hearing Xi Ming's words. The servant's face at the door condensed, exclamation mark. Huang's servant looked at Xi Ming suspiciously. Ku group, Mr. Chen? Which Mr. Chen? The servant asked subconsciously. Yes, Mr. Chen Zonging. I am the security director of the Ku group. Xi Ming replied seriously. Ha. Huh. The servant's complexion was shocked. Chen. Chen Zonging? Exclamation mark. You. Stand at the door and wait. The servant looked shocked and shouted to Xi Ming. Then, the servant turned abruptly and rushed into the house to report the situation. Huang Family Residence, the Inner Hall Martial Arts Hall. Huang Zengming stood in front of the Wutang with his hands on his back and closed his eyes. In front of him, there was also a red tasseled spear made of gold and bronze inserted. The long spear is thick with ice and cold, and it is sharp and sharp exuding a bit of killing intent. After three days, take the head. The gun has been wiped clean, everything dot 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 when his son Xuyang passes the first seven days, it will be when Huang Zengming shoots. The person surnamed Chen must die, no doubt. Report, urgent report. At this moment, suddenly outside the martial arts hall, there was an anxious sound of information. I saw a servant rushed into the entrance of the martial arts hall with a face. What's the matter of being flustered and inexplicable? The first seven of the first man is not over. Don't you know that it is quiet? What if it disturbs Xu Yang's soul? Huang Zengming stood quietly with his eyes closed, his voice dot 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 but it seemed a bit cold. He was very dissatisfied with the fuss and panic of his subordinates. The entire Huang family and the entire situation are under his control. What is it that needs to be so flustered? The servant knelt on the ground in horror, and his voice trembled. Master dot 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 outside the door dot 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 there is a reply outside the door. A mere letter can scare you like this. Waste. Huang Zengming still closed his eyes, standing with his hands behind his back his voice a little cold. For these servants in the family, they have become more and more timid. What's the use of this kind of waste? That letter is from Chen Zong's servant. The servant knelt on the ground, his body trembling slightly. What? In an instant, Huang Zengming's closed eyes suddenly opened. The servant of Chen Zong sent someone a reply. The servant's voice trembled lightly, and repeated cautiously on his knees. He 
dare to reply, unexpectedly, Huang Zengming sent a blood letter by himself. Then Chen Zong, dare to reply to himself, that guy is really unexpected. Are you really afraid of death? He is very curious and wants to see. What will be the content of your reply from Chen Zonging? Is it surrender? Are you afraid of surrendering? Still, begging for mercy. Huang Zengming's eyes were calm and calm. He turned around suddenly, with his hands on his back, slowly, and walked towards the gate of the house. Chapter 67 Cut over 10,000 people, you will be able to use the knife entrance of the Huang family residence. Ximing looked tense and solemn, just standing at the door so quietly, waiting. This is the first time in his life that he has come to such a noble family. He is just a small security guard, and in this life, it is impossible to overlap with these great clans that stand in the south of the Yangtze River. But today, he was inexplicably standing at the gate of Huang's house because of a chance. Standing at the door, waiting for an unknown amount of time. Every minute and every second is tense for Xi Ming. At this moment, suddenly, a middle-aged man wearing a brown and yellow robe slowly walked out of the house. Following the man in the robe, there was the familiar old man, Huang Zong. You, are you the messenger sent by Chen Zonging? The middle-aged man in the robe looked calm and calm, and looked at Xi Ming lightly with the corner of his eye. Xi Ming glanced carefully at the middle-aged man in the robe, and then looked at Huang Zong behind him. An hour ago, Huang Zong even rode a war horse, drove through the Ku Klan, and smashed a piece under the wild dance of the whip. At this moment, the grey-haired hero has returned to the Huang family house, standing behind the middle-aged man. So, exclamation mark the middle-aged man in front of him dot 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 couldn't be dot 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 is it? Exclamation mark. At this moment, Xi Ming's body trembled because of shock. He, faintly guessed the identity of the middle-aged man in the robe. Yes dot 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 by the order of Mr. Chen, I hereby reply to this letter. Xi Ming didn't dare to be negligent and carefully took out a folded letter from his clothes and handed it to the middle-aged man in the robe. Huang Zengming's eyes were deep and indifferent, he slowly took over the envelope. Behind him, the white-haired Huang Zong had cold eyes and shouted to Xi Ming, Isn't it salute to see the lord of the Huang family? Xi Ming's body trembled, and he was so frightened that he took two steps backwards by the sound. His eyes slightly nervous. The man in front of me is really the head of the Huang family, a hundred-year-old giant that stands out in the south of the Yangtze River, the master of the Huang family, He Xi Ming, a small security guard, the people at the bottom dot 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 at this moment, he can see the master of a generation of giants. This shock left Xi Ming's brain blank and breathless. Huang Zengming didn't care about the performance of the ants in front of him. His only concern at this time was the letter in his hand, from Chen Zong's reply. He was curious and strongly wanted to know what was written in this envelope. Is Chen Zong begging for mercy? Thinking of this, a hint of playfulness flashed in Huang Zengming's calm eyes. He had expected that Chen Zonging would beg for mercy. Unfortunately, begging for mercy is useless. It is impossible for his Huang family to scabbard. Chen Zonging is not dead. This battle will never end. Huang Zengming looked faintly, just standing at the door slowly dot 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 opening the envelope in his hand. When he looked at the contents of the envelope paper faintly, the air solidified in an instant. Huang Zengming held the envelope in his hand, shaking lightly. Vessel veins slowly emerged from his arm. His pupils have changed from deep to cold and cold. Master, what's the matter? What did Chen Zonging write? Behind him, Huang Zong was covered in white hair, slowly stepping forward. Kang's eyes. Towards the letter, ha. Huh? In the next second, Huang Zong's expression trembled fiercely. Everything, just because of the word on the letter paper. Three days later, take your second son, Huang Hongyui's head. Arrogant, arrogant, domineering, unscrupulous. What kind of unscrupulousness is necessary to dare to write such a desperate sentence? In the morning, Huang Zengming just sent a letter, threatened, three days later, take the head, unexpectedly, one hour later, Chen Zongjing sent a reply, the content of the letter is even more domineering and presumptuous, three days later, 
take the head of the second son of the Huang family, this simply arrogant. Huang Zengming's hands trembled lightly, and the blue veins burst. That is a terrible anger. His Huang family has traveled south of the Yangtze River for hundreds of years. Never been so insulted. This is simply naked, an upright provocation against the prestige of the Huang family. Huang Zengming suddenly kneaded the envelope in his hand into a ball. Chen, vertical, horizontal. His expression was extremely cold, and he couldn't see the mood swings at all. But at this moment, the lord of the Huang family is dot 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 the most terrifying in this world, who dare to threaten his Huang family, dare to use his son's life as a threat, exclamation mark. Chen Zonging had already killed his eldest son, now, still want to kill his second son, exclamation mark. A sea of blood and hatred is not shared. Huang Zengming's eyes were extremely deep, like a cold ice cellar in December. He slowly opened his palm, and the envelope paper had already been crushed into a mass of debris. The breeze blew gently. Dot, dot, dot. The confetti dissipated in the air like ashes. After the first seven days of Xuyang, I want to let Chen Zonging die without being buried. Also, the Ku group, Ku Yiren, Ku family. Don't let them go. Huang Zengming's voice is indifferent and calm, but, behind him, the butler Huang Zong also appeared murderous. His fists clenched, and his old eyes were full of endless murderous intent. In the morning, he and Chen Zonging had been frustrated by the beating. Now, the old and new enemies of Chen Zonging have merged together. Master, the old man will kill this messenger. Huang Zong's face was grim his eyes staring at Xi Ming not far away, the old butler of the Huang family has run amok, he wants to kill the messenger, at this moment, all the murderous anger towards Chen Zonging was surging out, if you don't kill the messenger, his anger will be hard to vent, not far away, Xi Ming's face paled instantly, the body took two steps back in horror, at this moment, he dot 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 felt death, the Huang family, want to kill yourself, however, just when Huang Zong clenched his fists tightly, he was fierce and angry, and was about to step forward. Huang Zengming stopped him with one hand. Xu Yang has not passed the first seven days. It is not good to see blood in front of the steps of the house. The voice of the head of the Huang family was very calm, as if he was holding back the killing intent in his heart. Hearing the words of the master, Huang Zong only then pressed the murderous intent and walked back slowly. You, get out. Huang Zengming stared at Xi Ming with cold and deep eyes, and slowly uttered two words. Xi Ming's body trembled. At this moment, he seemed to be locked in by a beast. He backed up in horror, then got on the moped and hurried away. Dot. One hour later, Q's building. When Xi Ming rode a moped and drove back to the group in a panic, all the security colleagues at the door looked surprised. Can't believe it, Xi Ming, this guy, unexpectedly, is still alive. Can he come back alive from Huang's house? Xi Ming stopped the car, looking nervous and complicated, and hurried into the building. Take the elevator all the way to the 99th floor. He came to the door of Chen Zonging's office and knocked on the door. Enter. A faint response came from the office. After getting a response, Xi Ming respectfully moved into the office cautiously. I saw Chen Zongzing lying calmly on the chair, holding the Tao Te Ching in his hands, reading. Report to Mr. Chen. The letter has been delivered. Xi Ming's face was solemn and complicated, and he reported carefully. Oh. Good. Chen Zonging continued to read the book, and replied faintly, It seems that there is not much attention to this news. Xi Ming hesitated to ponder, and suddenly bowed again. Mr. Chen dot 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 I, I want to dot 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 learn Kung Fu from you. This is his long-awaited request. A few days ago, he saw with his own eyes dot 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 Chen Zonging crushed Dong Yuo's head with one foot. Today, he saw him again and Mr. Chen flew to Huang Zong Huang's house with one stroke. This level of rivalry is extremely terrifying. It is the power of his Xi Ming and his desire. Chen Zongying's gaze was faint, and he glanced at him inadvertently. Get down, there are some things you can't learn. Chen Zongying's voice was very cold, 
with a sense of indifference that turned away thousands of miles away. Xi Ming's complexion changed slightly, a little lost and depressed. He hesitated to get up, bowed respectfully, and then slowly exited the office. Chen Zonging took a deep breath of cigarette, his eyes flashed with a sense of helplessness. What he has mastered is not any kung fu dot 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 but, the killing skills that originated from the Blood Sea battlefield. If you kill a thousand people, you will kill. If you cut over ten thousand people, you will be able to use the knife. Every move and every style of him, they were all cultivated from the Azura Hell. His physique is not used to subdue the enemy, instead, used to kill. Chapter 68 Blood Book Pass in the Evening the sunset is twilight, and the sky is dyed red. At this time, the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets have fallen into the beginning of a huge turmoil brewing. The news of a blood letter from the Huang family almost spread throughout the city. Shanghai Bund Evening News, Yangtze River Daily, Economic Evening News. The major media organizations and major online news exploded in an instant. For a time, rumors spread, and the Ku group, that mysterious man with the surname Chen, finally dot 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 for the first time, caught everyone's eyes. People are speculating wildly about the identity of this man surname Chen, who will he be? How could he force the Huang family to send a blood book letter? Exclamation mark. Most of the people are outsiders. The news heard is also limited to this. All they knew was that the Huang family sent a blood letter to a man surname Chen in Q's mansion. As for who is that man? Everyone does not know, because the news was blocked very quickly, it was soon forcibly suppressed by the official agency. At this time, as a party to this great turmoil, Chen Zonging, he was sitting quietly in the Mercedes-Benz car, faintly puffing out smoke rings. The streets of Shanghai and the sea are extremely congested during peak off hours. The Mercedes-Benz fleet is jammed in the crowded traffic, sitting in the Mercedes-Benz, Kuya's whole person looked inexplicably complicated and worried. Today, the Huang family sent a blood letter. This is the ultimatum. There are three days left, three days later. She dared not think about the result three days later. Then, what kind of turmoil will be? Quietly, she turned her head secretly and glanced at the man sitting next to her. Chen Zonging was dressed in a straight suit and his eyes were indifferent, as he slowly dangling his cigarette like an outsider. It seems that in his eyes, the three-day covenant is in vain. This Mr. Chen. Is he really not worried at all? Ku Yiren was surprised and uncertain. It's really hard for her to imagine. Even harder to figure out the result. Mr. Chen, no matter how strong he is dot 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 but, in the end, two fists are hard to beat four hands. A human being, even if it is invincible and the world, can hardly reach an entire army, and the Huang family, the power of the nest, thousands of thousands. Mr. Chen is alone, how can he resist? Your mood is very messy. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, and suddenly said. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes blinked slightly, and shook his head somewhat concealedly, no, no. Your breathing is very fast, your heartbeat is messy, your posture is restless and your high heels move every three seconds, so, you are in a mess at the moment, his eyes were faint, with a cigarette in his mouth, his white face slightly sideways, just looking at Ku Yiren, Ku Yiren was stunned by his meticulous observation, after hesitating for a long time, she sighed lightly, remove the concealment in her heart, her tension, anxiety, worry, are in a glance, Mr. Chen, three days later, the Huang family's appointment, how do you, respond, Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and he slowly spit out a smoke ring, never thought about it, his answer was simple and easy, hearing this answer, Ku Yiren was stunned, this is his answer, Mr. Chen, the Huang family is a century old giant, if you rely on one person, I am afraid, it will be difficult to deal with, do you have foreign aid? Kui asked anxiously. No need. Chen Zhengying's answer is still simple. Three words are his answer. Just the Ant Huang's family, I, one person is enough. Do you need foreign aid to deal with an ant transcendence? To deal with the threat of an ant, he, why bother? At the fingertips, 
that's it. Hearing this man's arrogant and domineering answer, Kuyiran's heart dot 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 only a dullness and or her mood is more complicated. Is this man really confident dot 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 or is he exaggerating? Along the way, there was no crisis in the evening. The Mercedes-Benz fleet drove slowly into the Purple Garden mansion area. The motorcade crossed the boulevard and stopped in front of the Kiss Villa. Kuyiran stepped out of the car, looking a little tired, and walked into the villa with a cigarette in his mouth. Chen Zong turned and walked towards his villa across from the lawn. When he came to the door of his villa, his eyes narrowed slightly, because the lights are on in the floor tersling windows of the villa. Is there someone in his house? Chen Zong took out the password door card, unlocked, and opened the door. Then his eyes were stunned. I saw that the lobby of my villa was filled with various snack packaging bags and empty beverage bottles. The end under Ku Shuang was wearing a mini skirt and hot pants, lying on the sofa indecently, playing mobile games and eating potato chips. The potato chips were scattered all over the floor. At a glance, it was like being ruined by a mouse. Chen Zonging's gaze frowned slightly. He is obsessed with cleanliness and loves cleaning. But at this time, the picture in front of him really made his face a little bit cold. Under autumn frost, Chen Zonging looked indifferent, step by step, walked into the living room. What are you doing? His eyes were cold, just staring at the charming the sofa. At this time, the witch Ku Shuang was showing her big white legs, and the weapons on her chest were squeezed together, and the gully of two pairs of white rabbits could be seen faintly. However, Chen Zheng obviously has no interest in this. His eyes were cold and indifferent, staring directly at Ku Yiren's eyes. Seeing this man coming back, Ku Shuang looked up in surprise, and cast a glance at him with his watery eyes. Hey, back. Ku Shuang continued to play the game, and did not forget to throw a potato chip into his mouth to chew. From today, this villa will belong to me. As for you, Let's run away as soon as possible. No, here, Ku Shuang said, using greasy jade hands, took out a compressed, pleated ticket from the hot pants pocket and handed it to him. The ticket still carries a hint of feminine fragrance, and the travel time on the ticket is 12 o'clock tonight. International flight itinerary from Shanghai to a certain country in Africa. What for? Chen Zong's eyes frowned slightly, and instead of taking the ticket, he glanced at the witch. Hey, don't pretend. You can't protect yourself, and you still pretend to be so cold? Ku Shuang's beautiful eyes paled with disdain. Patriarch Huang, I sent you a blood letter and will take your head three days later. The news has spread throughout Shanghai. What else are you pretending? Anyone, you can run away by plane early tonight. Anyway, you won't live long if you stay in Shanghai. If you don't run. You won't live for three days at most. Ku Shuang chewed potato chips in her mouth, and said lightly with her cute and beautiful face being braced by the flesh. At school today, she had already inquired about the news that shocked the whole city. When she learned that the head of the Huang family had sent a blood letter to the Ku group, her heart was now tense. Began to worry about my sister. However, after digging into the news, I learned. It turned out that the blood letter was addressed to the Ku group, a security director surnamed Chen. Well, isn't it the little white face Chen Zong who comes to his house every night to eat dinner? Thinking of this, Ku Shuang Xiu actually gloated in misfortune. She felt a little itchy thinking about Chen Zong's luxurious villa. So I bought a ticket for Chen Zonging and sent him to escape from the Shanghai Sea and this villa belonged to her. The little witch is planning to illegally occupy the villa. She didn't care about Chen Zong's life or death. The only thing she wanted was this villa. Such a big villa can be converted into a nightclub and bar. Wouldn't it be possible to find sisters to have a party in the future? Thinking of this, a smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. As for whether Chen Zong could escape from the Shanghai Sea, whether it was alive or dead, she didn't care. That little white face ate and drank every day, she had long been displeased. Even if it is really dead, it doesn't matter. Chen Zonging's expression was calm and indifferent, just standing in place. His eyes stared at Ku Shuang, as if looking at an idiot. Is this woman an idiot? Chen Zonging slowly squeezed out the cigarette butt. Then, step by step, he walked towards Ku Shuang, 
What are you doing? Ku Shuang's pretty face was dull, staring at the man nervously. Chen Zheng directly stretched out his hand, hugged one arm, and directly lifted the little girl who weighed more than 90 kilograms. Hey dot 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 what are you doing? You let me go. Ku Shuang's pretty face was furious and panicked, and began to struggle. Chen Zhongying looked indifferently, carrying Ku Shuang's delicate body, and walked directly to the door of the villa. Then, he threw the witch out of the door. Chapter 69 Final Choice Buck Ku Shuang's buttocks were smashed to the ground, crying in pain without tears. You, Chen Zhongying, this is the first time this girl has been thrown out of the house by a man since she came out of the womb. This is simply too much. Too rude. She was arrogant under Ku Shuang, almost walking sideways in the school. No one dared to provoke her. But today, she was so humiliated by this little white face. She just exploded in anger. Although Chen Zong did not have much power, he had no intention of hurting others. However, no matter how light-handed it is, this is a lost action anyway. Ku Shuang Xia is a living person weighing 90 catties anyway. Chen Zong Gong just threw her out of the door so unscrupulously, as if throwing a punch doll casually. No pity for Xiang Xu, no regard for Jiodid's ability to bear. Then he turned calmly and closed the door. Outside the door of the villa, Ku Shuang got up from the ground angrily, her hips were all red and swollen, and the pain made her almost crying. Dam Chen Zong. Ku Shuang rushed to the front door and slapped hard against the closed door. Chen Zonging, come out for me. But the door of the villa was closed tightly, and Chen Zong inside apparently ignored her. Okay, Chen Zonging, you wait for me. You continue to live. Anyway, you won't survive for three days. Ku Shuang's pretty face was full of anger kicked a few times at the gate, and then turned around and left. Dot. In the middle of the night, stars loomed. Dongman Villa, Shanghai City. As the new head, Dong Biao is sitting peacefully on the tiger leather sofa, in his hand. He carried a sharp long knife. At this time, he was slowly wiping the blade with a rag. Ever since, I learned that Chen Zonging was given a blood letter by the Huang family. However, Dong Biao looked extremely calm, so calm that he was a little weird. Because of his mood at the moment, few people can understand. Killing a father and an enemy is about to be killed by others. This feeling is hard to describe. In Dong Biao's heart, Chen Zong's servant dot 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 must be killed by him himself. However, today's development is beyond his control. The Huang family is not the existence he can provoke now. He still needs to grow his power. So how does Chen Zonging deal with it? Perhaps. After three days, Chen Zonging had already separated his body. That kills his father's hatred. How to report it? Dong Biao slowly wiped the blade in his hand, his eyes calm. In the lobby of the villa, a group of members are waiting respectfully. The blade in his hand was rubbed brightly, like a mirror. Under the light, a murderous intent was exuded. Finally, Dong Biao stood up. His eyes slowly scanned the darkened member brothers in the villa. Father was killed by Chen Zhenging. I know that you, like me, want to avenge your father. All the members on the scene clenched their fists, and a murderous blood emerged. Now, the Huang family has a blood letter asking Chen Zhenging to die in three days. Dong Biao's eyes were calm and indifferent, and an unprecedented breath flashed in his eyes. If, Three days later dot 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 Chen Zonging dies, then he is not worthy of being an enemy of my Dongman. If Chen Zonging is alive, then he will be my lifelong enemy of Dongman. If you don't kill Chen Zonging for one day, Dongman will not be the peak one day. Dot. Dong Biao slowly raised his knife and swept through murderously. If you don't kill Chen Zonging for a day, Dongman won't peak for a day. If you don't kill Chen Zonging for a day, Dongman won't peek for a day. In the hall, the crowded members all followed and shouted. Murderous intent is pervasive and turbulent. Zheng. Dong Biao drew his knife abruptly and stuck it vertically under his feet on the ground. All the members at the scene suddenly fell silent. Dong Biao glanced over everyone slowly, his eyes carrying an unconcealed sense of heroism. Huang's action. The world is in turmoil. The troubled times. 
the hero. Now, it is my Dongman's opportunity. At this moment, Dongbio's eyes flashed endlessly fierce. He has grown into a terrifying beast. Tonight, follow me on the expedition, sweeping across the northern and southern regions, in troubled times. I dominate the Dongman. At the scene, the crowds were crowded with black people, and they all pulled their knives out of their way. Taking advantage of the turbulent times when the enemies of the Huang family and Chen Zonging were fighting, Dong Biao dot 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 instead, expanded his sect power even more brutally. A hero in troubled times, he dot 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 to be a hero who surpasses his father Dong Guo. Dongman is on the rise. Dot. When a strand of fish belly is white, it slowly rises from the eastern sky. The entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets have awakened from the endless night. At five o'clock in the morning, Chen Zonging got up on time. The daily biological clock seems to have become a habit of his life. In the room, I did 10,000 push-ups, then 10,000 pull-ups and sit-ups. After the exercise, it is seven o'clock in the morning. He went into the bathroom and washed it before he changed into his clothes. The white shirt was buttoned slowly and the tie was tied. Bring an Omega watch. Then, put on that black suit jacket. At this time, he was like a white and elegant scholar gentleman. His skin is so white that even women are jealous. If you don't look in his eyes, you will be stupefied thinking that he is only 18 or 19 years old, only in his eyes, the faint deepness, let people feel his unique experience, it is impossible for an ordinary person to have such a look, the deepness of the eyes makes people sad and heart palpitating, after putting on everything, Chen Zonging slowly lit a cigarette, then he went out and came to the Ku family manor, which was several tens of meters away, inside the Ku family manor, the atmosphere seemed a little inexplicably quiet. Father Kui Hai sat at the dining table with a morning paper in his hand and was watching, but his eyes were a little loose. He was obviously on his mind and couldn't see the content of the newspaper at all. The eldest daughter, Kui Yiren, was also a little absent minded, sitting at the table, full of worries, and under the witch gush wang, she pouted her small mouth with an unhappy expression on her face. Last night, she was thrown out of the house by Chen Zong's fellow. At this time, her buttocks were still swollen and painful. If this hatred is not reported, her surname is Ku. She is thinking about revenge. At this moment, the moment Chen Zong stepped in with a cigarette in his mouth, the eyes of the three people in the family looked at him at the same time. Obviously, Chen Zonging was also taken aback. All morning, the Ku family looked at him like that. Dot, dot, dot. What did he do? Xiao Chen, you. Come here. Ku Hai put down the newspaper, turned around, and walked towards the tea room next door. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and he walked into the tea room. Ku Hai gently closed the door of the tea room, which isolated the space outside the hall. Then, he sighed. Little Chen. I know about the blood letter sent by the Huang family. Kui Hui Hai's voice was extremely worried. As the real patriarch of the Ku family, how could he not know about this important event? Xiao Chen, listen to Uncle Ki's advice. You, Yiren, and Shuang Xia, go abroad together to avoid the limelight. Just be Uncle Ku, please. Kui Hui Hai's voice was extremely complex and solemn and slowly persuaded, there was a hint of pleading in his tone, a blood letter from the Huang family, only the last three days are left, this Huang family is not only a letter to Chen Zonging, it was also a letter to him from the Ku group, the Huang family coveted his Ku group's project, not a day or two, how can Ku Hui Hai fail to see the purpose of the Huang family now, at this moment, the only two sisters Ku Yiren and Ku Shuang Xia, and Chen Zonging fleeing from the Shanghai Sea, flee to a foreign country to avoid the limelight. As for the domestic affairs, everything. Leave it to Kui Hui Hai to face it alone. Regardless of life or death, he will carry it alone. The Ku family only has these two daughters, Yi Ren Shuang Xia. He can't just watch. His two daughters are in crisis. Why is it so troublesome? When I take the time, I will come to Huang's house and destroy the whole house, that's it. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring, and said lightly. His tone was calm, 
as if the Huang family was in his eyes. Dot, 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 just like ants, that indifferent and domineering tone makes people incredibly unbelievable. Kui Huihai's eyes were unprecedentedly solemn and pleading. Xiao Chen, listen to Uncle Kiss's advice. Stop fighting the Huang family. You are not their opponent. The Huang family has been entrenched for a hundred years, has a long history and has accumulated endless forces. We are not their opponents at all. I have bought into the port communication relationship. You only need to escape from the high seas by boat, and then take a helicopter on the sea to escape abroad. Kui Hui Hai's eyes solemnly pleaded. This was his final choice as the head of the patriarch. The Huang family rivaled and ramped up, and it was simply beyond his Kui family's ability to deal with it. For the present, there is only one to escape. Xiao Chen, even if Uncle Ku asks you, take Yiren and Xia and run away. Chapter 70 Kill him in Chen Zonging's dictionary. There is no escape. He slowly exhaled a puff of smoke, his eyes calm and indifferent. That year, two nuclear powered submarines of the United States met each other, and neither made him back down. Now, how can it be possible for the Reaper to escape from a small Hu Hai and Huang's family? I hope that the Huang family can know it. Chen Zonggong slowly squeezed out the cigarette and turned around. Destroy it. Snap your fingers. This is the last word he left. Arrogant, domineering, rival, aspect. At this moment, Kui Hui Hai's heart trembled uncontrollably. At that moment, he seemed to see an inexplicable illusion in his eyes. That kind of feeling, as if dot 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 behind that young man's back, there is a monstrous dot 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 fierce shadow hidden. Destroy it, in the flick of a finger. Kui Hui Hai murmured in a low voice, repeating the words of Chen Zong Kai just now. In his eyes, there was an unbelievable complexity. In this world, there are really people who can be alone and rival the Huang family. Go back to the living room of the Ku family villa. Chen Zonging sat calmly at the table and began to enjoy breakfast. Red wine, thank you. He moved the wine glass slightly and motioned to the nanny aunt to pour the wine. The nanny aunt poured him a cup of light lafite. As usual, a glass of red wine, a steak and a tomato. He is indifferent like an outsider. As for the so-called blood letter of the Huang family, the so-called three-day agreement, take the head, he actually didn't care. In the past few decades, few people have been able to be so calm under the blood letter sent by the Huang family. But he, Chen Zonging, but it was the first in decades. The witch Ku Shuang angrily sat down at the dining table, her beautiful eyes staring at Chen Zong with almost hatred. This man, Last night's hatred, is unforgettable. Oh, just eat, eat more, you won't survive for three days anyway. When the little witch was eating, she did not forget to ridicule this little white faced man. The three day covenant of the Huang family will soon dot 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 this little white face will be uplifted. Oh, her hatred can finally be reported. Frost, pay attention to your words. At this moment, the sister Kuyiran beside her, Suddenly her beautiful eyes became cold, and she said sharply, on weekdays, Ku Yi people love her sister very much, almost never spoke to each other, but today, she looked very cold and stern, and yelled at her sister. The witch Gush Wang had her beautiful eyes stubborn and unwilling to, she looked at her sister bitterly with grievances. This is the sister, the first time she is so fierce, then, Ku Shuang turned Murmu angrily towards Chen Zonging. It's all this little white faced man. At this time, Chen Zonging was still calm, sipping the red wine lightly, just like an elegant gentleman. The more indifferent he is, the greater the anger under Ku Shuang. Ha! Huh, don't eat! Ku Shuang angrily threw off his chopsticks, turned around, carrying a backpack, and walked out of the hall quickly. Outside the door of the villa, a grumpy engine roared and roared. The pink Lamborghini roared and galloped away. Sister Ku Yi had a complicated face and greeted her subordinates. Send a few more cars to keep up with the second lady to protect her safety at all times. Yes, he took the order. Three Mercedes-Benz bodyguard cars galloped out. Today, the situation is extremely tense. The arrow is on the string. Just in case, the Kui people must fully protect the safety of their relatives around them. The Huang family was murderous and brutal, for profit and revenge. God knows what they will do. Dot. In the morning, 
The Mercedes-Benz fleet slowly stopped in front of the Kiss building. Ku Yiren and Chen Zongying got out of the car slowly. There was no unexpected situation during the morning's itinerary. In the past few days, the Shanghai and Shanghai markets have been exceptionally calm and so calm that it is creepy. That was the last quiet before the storm. Little security guard Xi Ming stood in front of the guard box respectfully, with respectful eyes. When Chen Zong walked into the group, he glanced lightly at him. Your name, what's your name? He asked. Standing in front of the guard box, Xi Ming's spirit was shocked, and he delivered an unfamiliar military salute, saying, Leadership, my name is Xi Ming, the guard on duty at the security division 3 of the group. Have you ever been a soldier? Chen Zeng looked at his unstandard military posture and asked rhetorically. Xi Ming scratched his head awkwardly, no dot 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 at that time, my village was conscripted into the army. I couldn't get in because of my poor physical fitness. I just wanted to. Military posture is not like that. He slowly exhaled a smoke ring. His eyes lightened deep. After three days, wait for me to deal with the matter and teach you military posture and etiquette. Chen Zongpong floated a sentence, then put one hand in his trouser pocket, and walked away lightly. The young man in front of him is a good seed. He seemed to remember his former subordinates. Dare to have the courage to send a letter to Huang's house for oneself, so brave, and give pointers. Although Chen Zong did not accept disciples, but he could teach some simple martial arts and martial arts. Xi Ming stood in front of the guard box, and his whole body was shocked. Mr. Chen, after all, actually intends to guide himself. Thinking of Mr. Chen's horrible skill, Xi Ming's heart was excited. That is the strong power he yearns for. Dot. All morning, the Ku group was quiet. Although, yesterday's Huang's blood letter has spread throughout the Ku family, up and down among thousands of colleagues. The news has already spread, shocking everyone. However, colleagues only dared to talk privately. On the surface, no one dared to mention it. The atmosphere of the entire group seems a bit depressed. It was around 11 o'clock at noon. A convoy of BMW 7 Series sedans approached slowly from a distance. The convoy slowly stopped in front of the KISS building. The security did not stop the convoy because this row of cars is the license plate of Ruan Family Pharmaceutical Company, the Ruan Family and Ku Group are partners, so dot 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 you can enter and leave the group at will. The door of the BMW car opened, and Ruan Van Yao, wrapped in bandages and plastered, slowly got out of the car. Two female assistants stepped forward and carefully supported his arms to prevent him from falling. Ruan Van Yao looked up, still with bruises on his face. He glanced at the Kiss mansion above his head with complicated eyes. Help me in. Two female assistants supported him and walked slowly towards the building. Ruan Wen Yao was followed by dozens of professional bodyguards in black and sunglasses. Since a few days ago, he was beaten to death by Dongman Dongbiao and extorted tens of billions of equity assets. From then on, whenever he goes out, wherever he goes, he will bring dozens of bodyguards with him. It seems that only in this way can his own safety be guaranteed. Ruan Wen Yao took a large group of bodyguards and took the elevator directly to the president's office on the 99th floor. In the office, Ku Yiren is doing official business in the office. As a result, the door was knocked. When I opened the door, I saw Ruan Wen Yao wrapped in bandages. Master Ruan, are you dot 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 this is? Ku Yiren's pretty face was taken aback, a little dazed. A few days ago, when she saw Ruan Wen Yao, wasn't the other party still fine? But how many days have you disappeared? Why is he injured like this? Question mark. It's okay. I fell down the stairs by accident a few days ago. Naturally. Ruan Wen Yao couldn't tell the story of his violent beating. He found an excuse that he thought was appropriate and concealed it. And it doesn't matter if it pretends. It's just that whose stairs can be so cruel? Need to wrap so many bandages after a fall? Question mark. Ku Yi is not stupid, she sees it through, but doesn't say anything wrong. Master Ruan, 
Are you here? Dot, dot, dot. What's the matter? She is still a little annoyed about this Ruan Wen Yao. If it weren't for the cooperation agreement, she wouldn't want to meet Ruan Van Yao at all. In, I heard about the blood letter sent by the Huang family yesterday. Ruan Wen Yao looked worried and worried, and said, Yi Rin, the Huang family is not easy to provoke. I went abroad this afternoon and bought you a flight ticket. You hurriedly followed me to fly away. Go abroad to avoid the wind. Go ahead. Go to Singapore, I have a villa over there, and I will take care of everything for you. Ruan Wen Yao said with solemn concern on his face. His mind has already prepared everything. Ku Yi is now helpless, and he intervenes at this critical time which is a good time to send charcoal in the snow. What do women need most when they are in a panic? That is help. When I went abroad, I bought a ticket for the same flight for Kuyiran. Take the opportunity to take her abroad. In the name of protecting her, go to Singapore together. Went to Singapore... Dot 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 Nan Van Yu didn't have the final say on all that? Exclamation mark. His Ruan family has properties and partners in Singapore. In Singapore? He can do whatever he wants to do. Ku Yi is everywhere, living in the same villa as herself. In the name of helping her avoid the limelight, the two of them have a drink, and then, isn't it just letting it go? Ruan Wen Yao has done a lot of this kind of things on weekdays, and his experience is simply rich. To deal with women, drink wine. If she gets too much water, she will be confused and then she will get involved with hay pushing and hay pushing. As for whether it's or not dot 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 that's not clear. After he has a cream pee, don't women dare to sue herself? After a woman has slept, she is a soft persimmon. Take it whatever you want. These are all empirical methods. Thinking of this, Ruan Wen Yao's eyes flashed with the excitement of possessive desire. In his plan, Kuyiran is about to become his woman, about to become his groaning body. Chapter 71 Don't die until you Jiang thank you for your kindness, Master Ruan. But no need. The Kuyiran bluntly refused Ruan Wen Yao going abroad. If she can go abroad, why should she stay? She is gone. What about the thousands of group employees behind her? What about the family? What about the project? Everything needs her to stand up and carry it up. Therefore, she cannot leave. I n, I am really worried about your safety. The Huang family is cruel. Dot, dot, dot. If you stay, you won't be able to leave after three days. Ruan Wen Yao looked worried and solemnly persuaded him. I n, for the current plan, you have to escape. I will take you away from the Shanghai Sea. Don't worry, I will protect you from Ruan Wen Yao. I will take care of you all my life. Ruan Wen Yao continued to chatter trying to persuade the Ku Yi people to go abroad with him to avoid danger. Ku Yi was finally a little impatient. Sorry, Mr. Ruan, I still have something to talk about, so please. As Ku Yiran spoke, she turned around and went to the security director's office next door. She didn't hesitate. Directly pushed the door in. In the office, Chen Zonging was sitting on a chair, holding a copy of Shan Hai Jing in his hand flipping through it lightly, seeing Ku Yiran enter the door, he didn't respond either, he just raised his head slightly, glanced at her, and then continued to lower his head to read, I borrow your office as a use to avoid personally, Ku Yiran explained magnetically, oh, whatever, Chen Zonging looked down at the book, and three words floated out, at this moment, suddenly the office door was pushed open again, Ruan Wen Yao didn't know what was good or bad, and opened the door and walked in. Seeing this scene, Ku Yiran's beautiful eyes frowned. She wanted to come to Chen Zonging's office to avoid the annoying Ruan Wen Yao. Unexpectedly, Ruan Wen Yao was so uncomfortable, he followed the door and walked in. In, this Chen Zonging is hard to protect himself. You still don't interact with such people. I do it for your own good. Go abroad with me. I will keep you safe. Ruan Wen Yao glanced at Chen Zonggong, not as scared as before, but took the opportunity to continue to persuade Ku Yiran. Because today, he took a full dozen professional personal bodyguards. All of these bodyguards can fight. It's not a problem to hit ten. With a dozen bodyguard thugs behind him, who else is Ruan Wen Yao afraid of? Mr. Ruan. I have something important to discuss. Would you please go out? Kuya's pretty face was a little impatient, 
Anne said slightly coldly. She was obviously a little surprised at Ruan when Yao breaking into the office so unscrupulously. This is Kyus building, her group company, and this Ruan when Yao seems to have put his identity in the wrong position, right? At this time, Chen Zonging, who was sitting in the office, finally raised his head slightly. Hey! Why is young master Ruan here? Sit down and have a sip of tea. The corners of Chen Zonging's mouth raised a slight arc. Ruan when Yao didn't pay attention to Chen Zong at all, and glanced at him coldly, as if looking at a dead man. Indeed, he was personally named by Huang's blood letter. At this time, Chen Zonging was almost a dying person. Master Ruan, why are you hurt like this? Seeing that the other party ignored him, Chen Zonging didn't care. His eyes were indifferent, he looked at Ruan when Yao's injuries, but he was a little curious. Have someone beat me? The other party made a heavy move. In Chen Zonging's impression, it seems that he only slapped Ruan when Yao, right? As for the slap, is the injury so serious? This should be hurt by other people, huh? At this moment, Ruan when Yao's complexion changed. He lied to Ku Yi that the injury was caused by falling down the stairs, but as a result, this Chen Zongjing revealed the truth as soon as he opened his mouth. This made him lose face. It reminded him of the miserable night when life was worse than death a few days ago. This body is all thanks to Chen Zongjing in front of me! Exclamation mark. If it weren't for Chen Zong, then how could young Master Dong Biao treat himself like this? Exclamation mark. In order to redeem his life, he lost a whole tens of billions of assets. Thinking of this, Ruan when Yao's eyes were already hideous. Chen Zonging, you won't be arrogant for long. The Huang family wants to kill you. You won't survive for three days. Chen Zonging looked indifferently, and took a deep breath of the cigarette. Thank you, Master Ruan, for your concern, I should live longer than you. He said leisurely, calm and clear. Ruan when Yao's eyes were even colder, and there was a murderous look. He resisted his murderous intention turned his head to look at Ku Yiren, his tone became gentle and considerate. Ian, so be it. I brought a team of professional bodyguards today. Starting today, they are responsible for guarding you and protecting your safety. How? Ruan when Yao didn't want to miss such an opportunity to be near the water. Now that the Ku Yi is in crisis, he must take the opportunity to enter. Ku Yi's pretty face is impatient. Master Ruan don't need it. I have a bodyguard team in the Ku group. Please come back. For Ruan when Yao's repeated entanglement, she really couldn't bear it. People are in the knowledge of themselves. But why doesn't this Ruan Van you have? Ian, I am doing well for you. I am very worried about your safety. Ruan when Yao is unrelenting. Today, he will not give up unless he achieves his goal. Now is his best opportunity to penetrate Ku Yi people's heart. How can he miss it? Master Ruan, please get out of here. Chen Zongjing sat on the office chair and slowly spit out these six words. Because Ruan Wen Yao's constant chatter has affected his interest in reading. Ha! Huh. Hearing these words from Chen Zongjing, Ruan Wen Yao turned cold. Chen Zongjing, do you think I'm really afraid of you? Ruan Wen Yao has a hideous face. Today, he has more than a dozen professional and powerful bodyguards behind him. How can he be afraid of Chen Zonging in front of him? Kneel down and apologize to Lao Tzu, otherwise, I won't give up on this matter today. Ruan when Yao's face was cold and angrily, before the Huang family kills you, I will teach you the principles of life. Following Ruan when Yao's angry shout, outside the office. A group of bodyguards in black suits rushed in. When a person, there are countless thugs behind him. When you are a person, you have a sense of success. Then, all his arrogance will be revealed. At this time, Ruan Wen Yao exploded all the anger accumulated in the week. This Chen Zonging, today, let him beg to die. Shame before a snowfall. In the office, the atmosphere is solemn and solemn. Ruan Wen Yao, what are you going to do? Kuya's face changed color and shouted coldly. She did not expect that Ruan when Yao was so bold that he dared to do so unscrupulously in her company. Is he really his own home for the Ku family? Can do it arbitrarily? I n, today, I will clean up the door for you. 
so that you can see the ugly face of Chen Zonging. Ruan Wen Yao looked savage and angry at this moment, ignoring Ku Yiren's obstruction. He wants, let Chen Zonging beg to die. He wanted to interrupt this Chen Zonging's legs. Exclamation mark before he died. He was humiliated. He wanted Chen Zonging to completely lose face in front of Ku Yiren. Become a wild dog kneeling and begging. Chen Zonging's eyes were faint. He finally closed the book slowly. You will not die until you Jiang, and you will not cry if you don't see the coffin, he muttered, as if talking to himself. He slowly pulled out a piece of white paper from the drawer. Then, slowly fold it in half and tear it apart. The white paper was torn into neat small pieces of paper by him. Surrounded by dozens of fierce people in front of him, Chen Zonging was still calm at the moment, as if he were an outsider calmly. Ku Ye's pretty face was puzzled, and she couldn't understand at all. What is Mr. Chen? Doing what? Ruan Wen Yao stared at Chen Zonggong with a hideous face, pretending to be a ghost playing mystery. Give it to me. Ruan Wen Yao shouted angrily. The Ku Yi people couldn't stop it. And couldn't stop it at all. Behind Ruan Wen Yao, dozens of bodyguards in black suits surged up. At this moment, Chen Zong suddenly condensed his eyes lightly. A sheet of paper was sandwiched between the of his right hand, and it flew out suddenly. Call out. The friction sound of the paper scratching the air. Puff. The sheet of paper, like a sharp blade, slammed into the chest of the bodyguard who rushed forward. The bodyguard was struck by lightning, and his body was too late to react. He was directly knocked out by this thin piece of paper. Chapter 72 The smell of blood affects reading Chen Zonging just sat in the office calmly, twisting his fingers lightly. Sheets of paper flew out. Wow! A bodyguard rushed up, but there was still time to react and the sharp piece of paper, like a sharp blade, swiftly across his eyebrows in an instant. A bunch of scarlet splashes. The scraps of paper hurt people and are terrifying. The bodyguard trembled suddenly, his body hovering in place, his face covered with cold sweat. He stretched out his hand and touched his eyebrows in horror. Red blood was overflowing. Then the next second, the bodyguard went black and fell to the ground. Pieces of paper are flying in the air, falling like snow white cherry leaves. Wherever he went, blood spattered. One page hurts one person. In a blink, those dozens of fierce bodyguards all fell to the ground. Each page of paper is exactly aimed at the number of bodyguards. There are 15 pages in total on the ground. There happen to be 15 bodyguards lying there. Miserable. Howl. The screams of howling ghosts and wolves echoed in the office. Fifteen bodyguards fell to the ground, blood everywhere. Trembling and convulsing violently. Fifteen sturdy and robust professional bodyguards were dot 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 become defeated by fifteen pages of paper. Ku Yiren stood not far away, her pretty face dull and a little confused. At this time, in the center of the office, only Ruan Wen Yao was standing alone. His eyes were shocked, and he glanced around in amazement. Then, shaking his head up, he stared at Chen Zonging. That is a kind of disbelief. How can it be? Exclamation mark. These fifteen bodyguards, but the top-notch bodyguard team brought from Hong Kong, which cost him millions of sky-high prices. Chen Zonging sat on the chair quietly and indifferently, while the last page of paper was still in his hand. His gaze was faint and he looked at Ruan Wen Yao meaningfully, Master Ruan, the last page is for you. Ruan Wen Yao's body trembled suddenly, and he couldn't stop backwards. This arrogant young man was still arrogant and arrogant in the first second, but at this moment in the next second, he was slumped and turned into a Zong Tsai. Chen, you dot 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 you wait for me. After Ruan Wen Yao let out his harsh words, he suddenly turned around and ran away. Just kidding. Dot 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 more than a dozen professional bodyguards were planted behind him. He stayed at the scene. Is he waiting to be sent to death? Exclamation mark. There is no worries about leaving the green hills without firewood. At this moment, there is only one to escape. Chen Zonging sat quietly on the chair, the corners of his mouth. He didn't seem to plan to let go of this young master Ruan. 
the person that the of death wants to move, even if the king of heaven, Lao Tzu, comes. Can't stop it, he twisted his right hand lightly, shoo, the piece of paper cut through the void and pierced Ruan Wen Yao's left ear with a soft whistle, you, Ruan Wen Yao let out a miserable cry, and his body hurriedly fleeing lost its center of gravity and fell to the ground fiercely. His entire left ear was cut off sharply by a piece of paper, the knife is neat and bloody, just a piece of paper, how can you? Burst out so much, a few meters away, cut people's ears, the Kuyiran's pretty face was shocked and dull, and her beautiful eyes were shocked, at this time today, she had once again, refreshed her awareness of power, also refreshed the understanding of Mr. Chen again, this mysterious man dot 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 what terrifying power is hidden in his body, question mark. I haven't practiced for a long time, the speed is still a little bit worse, Chen Zonging sighed helplessly, the paper knife just now could have been faster, and it could cut through the air in the blink of an eye, however, the speed still seems to be a little bit worse. At the door of the office, Ruan Wen Yao fell to the ground at this moment, covering his left ear with his hands, and howling and convulsing violently. The ear is the most important organ of a human being, and it is spread all over the blood vessels and nerves. The ears were cut. The pain was piercing. This once invincible son Ruan dot 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 at this moment, his left ear was cut and his hearing loss was made, and he became a half-deaf person completely. Outside the office, all the functional colleagues looked shocked and inexplicable. The Huang family's three-day gambling appointment has not yet arrived, but blood has already been seen in the Kus mansion. What is even more shocking is the son of Nguyen's medicines Nguyen. Unexpectedly, in public, had his entire left ear cut off! Exclamation mark. Looking at the ear on the ground, the hearts of all colleagues are chilling, pale, this, this is terrible, everyone was shocked by Chen Zong's resolute and vigorous means, in the director's office, Chen Zong just sat there indifferently, he took out a square towel and slowly wiped his hands, let people come in and clean up the room, the smell of blood will affect my reading, he told the Ku Yi people, according to the position level, Ku Yiren is the president, and no one in the company can order the president, but he is an exception, because he is Chen Zonging. Ku Yiren didn't dare to neglect, nodded with a complicated face, and immediately arranged for internal security to come in. Two minutes later, all fifteen severely disabled bodies in the office were dragged out. Today, Chen Zong did not kill him. After all, just a few ants, not worthy, died in the hands of his Chen Zong. As for Ruan Wen Yao, snatching his ear is just a punishment. Ruan Wen Yao has provoked more than once, although dot 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 just like an ant tickling. But Chen Zonging still felt very annoying. Killed, but I was afraid of dirtying my hands. Just cut off one ear directly. One has to learn a lesson in order to be obedient and grow. Several 120 ambulances parked at the entrance of Kus building. Fifteen seriously injured bodyguards were carried into the ambulance and rushed to the hospital. On the other hand, Ruan Wen Yao was driven by a special emergency vehicle and drove towards the largest special hospital. After all, he is the son of a big conglomerate, and his worth is distinguished. It is a shocking event to be cut off by someone today. The best hospital dispatched an ambulance and drove him to the doctor quickly, trying to keep the old man's left ear. Ten minutes later, Nguyen Van Yu was taken to a special hospital. A large group of nurses hurried forward and pushed him into the VIP operating room. Surgery is important. You must keep this left ear of Mr. Ruan. When a human organ is cut off, the cut off organ can only have two hours of cell survival time in the air. Within these two hours, Ruan Wen Yao's left ear, which was cut off, may still have a chance to be stitched up. Several doctors in charge of the operation urgently stepped forward and began the operation. But, half an hour passed. No progress on the operating table. Ruan Wen Yao was lying on the operating table 
almost fainting in pain. His face paled after he had lost too much blood. A group of attending doctors looked extremely embarrassed. This is the most thorny and difficult operation they have ever dealt with. The patient's ear wound is extremely neat. The cells in the wound were all sealed the moment they were cut. How fast is the knife required? How fast does it need to be? What kind of weapon did the other party use? Exclamation mark. In order to seal the wire and cells completely before the blood is filled, the attending doctors glanced at each other, and finally, their expressions were serious and serious. Master Ruan, your left ear. Dot 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 the cut surface is too neat, and all the cells and tissues are already dead. Dot 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 your left ear. Dot 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 can't keep it. Boom. On the operating table, Ruan Wen Yao trembled violently when he heard the bad news. His spirit suffered multiple blows. He couldn't hold on anymore, and he passed out with a kick on his legs. Dot. At dusk, the sunset gradually slanted. Kiss group, in the director's office. Chen Zonging still sat the faintly, flipping through the Shanghai Jing in his hand. Perhaps, no one has ever been able to dot 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 be so indifferent after receiving a letter from the Huang family. However, he is an exception. Don't run away. Don't hide, don't beg for mercy. He quietly looked at the classical books, turning a blind eye to everything around him. He seemed to be quietly waiting for the arrival of the three day deadline. Boom, boom, boom. The office door was knocked open. Kuyiran stood at the door in a black professional dress. Mr. Chen, it's getting late, let's go back. Well, good. Chen Zonging's eyes were light. And then he slowly closed the book in his hand. Followed Kuyiran out of the office. Downstairs, the Mercedes Benz team has been waiting for a long time. The two calmly stepped into the Mercedes Benz S600 sedan. The bodyguards looked around and confirmed that there was no threat, and then they got into the car one after another. The Mercedes Benz fleet started and slowly drove away along the planned driving route. However, Shortly after the Mercedes-Benz car left, at a distant street corner, a white Audi A4 sedan also started suddenly, and followed it unhurriedly. Chapter 73 If you want to survive the Mercedes-Benz fleet, slowly driving in the street, somewhere around, it seems very quiet. A few hundred meters behind, the white Audi followed unhurriedly. The tracking skills of Audi cars are very professional, always hiding in the blind spot of vision making people unable to detect. Even the bodyguards of the Ku Yi people hadn't noticed anything unusual. Chen Zonging sat faintly in the car, his eyes were non-existent, and he glanced out of the car window. Then, close your eyes and rest. The Mercedes-Benz fleet drove all the way, through the bustling streets, on the elevated dot 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 through the streets in the suburbs. In the end, slowly drove into the Purple Garden Mansion area, and behind. The white Audi car slowly entered from the blind spot. The white Audi parked in front of Ziu An Villa. The villa security stopped the car and then stepped forward to inquire, Hello, who are you looking for? Ziu An is a top luxury and wealthy area with strict security in the area. Naturally, people who are idle and miscellaneous cannot enter at will. The white Audi window slowly lowered halfway, and a woman's white hand stretched out and the woman was holding a police officer's card in her hand. Interpol, investigating the case. Yi Muxia sat in the Audi car, her face calm and serious. The security guard was shocked when he saw the police officer's card. Suddenly became solemn, and quickly yielded. The white Audi car slowly drove into the Ziu Iron Manor area. Yi Muxia continued unhurriedly following the direction of the Mercedes-Benz team, hundreds of meters away. Her car is always hidden in the blind spot, like a ghost. The wealthy area of Ziu An is very large, and the Mercedes-Benz motorcade drove through the Long Mountain Boulevard before stopping in front of the Kiss Villa. Hundreds of meters away, the white Audi was quietly parked under the shade of a shade of trees. Yi Muxia was sitting in the Audi car, a hundred meters away with beautiful eyes. She has a panoramic view of the situation in Kiss Villa. A hundred meters away, under the protection of a group of bodyguards, the Ku Yi people got out of the car and walked into the villa, 
But what about the other person? Where is the man surnamed Chen? Since receiving the report yesterday, Yi Muxia has been very suspicious of Chen Zong's mysterious identity. This mysterious man. Dot 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 what secret is hiding? Why can he let the Lord of the Huang family deliver the blood book himself? Seeing turmoil is approaching. As soon as Huang's blood book was published, a massacre was inevitable. In order to investigate the case, in order to understand the clues to the greatest extent, Yi Muxia went out in person and followed it quietly. A person, no matter how good he hides, he will always show up in his 24 hours a day. A little clue. Yi Muxia sat in the car, her beautiful eyes staring at the Kus villa not far away. Her beautiful eyes condensed. Why didn't you see that Chen Zonging? Ku Yiren got out of the car. But Chen Zong did not appear. Impossible. Policewoman Yimuxia was surprised. Along the way. Dot, 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 she followed closely. Could it be that Chen Zonging got off the bus halfway? It is impossible. But what about him, man? A few minutes ago, she saw Chen Zonging and Ku Yiren in the Mercedes Benz. But at this moment, the one who got out of the car is only Ku Yi alone. Exclamation mark. Can a person disappear out of thin air? Exclamation mark. Are you here? Are you looking for me? At this moment, a faint voice suddenly came from inside the Audi. Yi Muxia's heart beats suddenly. Turn your head quickly. I saw that the familiar figure of Chen Zong was sitting quietly in the back of the Audi car. Just like a ghost. You, how did you get in? Even though Yi Muxia, who had been in the police for many years and had seen countless murder scenes, was shocked by the strange scene in front of him. How did this man get in? Exclamation mark. Quietly, appear out of thin air. Exclamation mark. Is this a ghost? Exclamation mark. Chen Zonging sat in the Audi car and slowly lit a cigarette. As soon as you looked for me, I came. His voice was calm, like a ghost. Yi Muxia's beautiful eyes were wary, staring at the man closely. At the same time, her right hand has been quietly placed on the waist, where a police gun is pinned. The police use a 92 type pistol, a 9x19 mm bullet, and it won't hurt me. Chen Zongjing slowly let out a puff of smoke, and said leisurely. As soon as he said this, Yi Muxia's pretty face changed color again. Although she hadn't drawn her gun, she looked extremely nervous. How does this man know his gun model? Can you accurately report the number of bullets in your gun? Exclamation mark. I hate it. Others follow me. Chen Zonging looked at Yi Muxia calmly. The eyes of the two confronted each other in the air. For some reason, when Yi Muxia met this man, her heart actually trembled in disbelief. She seemed to see an unprecedented breath in the eyes of this man. That breath is blood. Endless blood slaughter. This kind of look, what exactly? Have you experienced? Exclamation mark. She once saw this similar look in the eyes of a serial murderer. However, the breath of that murderous eye was compared with the man in front of him. It's like the difference between dust and the universe. The man in front of him made Yamuxia feel palpitations and didn't dare to look directly. I don't care what your identity is, now this Shanghai Sea is in chaos, I warn you. Don't mess around. Yi Muxia's pretty face was solemn and warned solemnly. The Huang family is not a provocative master. Over the years, they have been aggressive and killing Wuji. I advise you, it is better not to head to head with the Huang family. Otherwise, the consequences are unimaginable. If you want to survive, you can cooperate with the police. Explain you. I will provide you with a safe house asylum. In order to investigate the identity of this mysterious man, in order to resolve the conflict, Yi Muxiu also ignored the disciplinary rules. Chen Zonging took a deep cigarette, and the corner of his mouth raised an arc. Really? The Huang family is so uncomfortable. Then I dot 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 I am looking forward to it. As soon as the voice fell, the door of the Audi car opened. His figure, like a ghost, disappeared in no time. Yi Muxia's beautiful eyes could only see an afterimage passing by. The rear of the Audi car was already empty. When she recovered, her heart was still beating violently. If it weren't for the Audi door that was still open, she would even wonder if she dot 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 had she hallucinated. That person, 
came quietly, disappeared in the blink of an eye. This, how fast is the body speed? Talent, can't be captured by the naked eye. Also, facing the Huang family, he was dot 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 without fear. Instead, look forward to fun. Where does this man, come from? Dot. In the middle of the night, a special hospital in Shanghai and Shanghai. Ruan when Yao was rescued and was pushed out of the operating room. At this time, he was transferred to the VIP intensive care unit. Ruan when Yao was lying on the hospital bed, his left ear had been cut off, and the left ear was covered with a thick white bandage. His eyes were hollow and staring blankly at the wall and ceiling. Own ears. Just gone. From now on, Hearing impaired dot 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 I am the dignified son of Ngu Ainthi, just like this, become a disabled person, question mark. This makes it difficult for him to accept, when Yao, where is when Yao, at the same time, there was a rush of voice outside the ward, father Ruan Tan Long received the notice and hurried over immediately, bar, the door of the ward was pushed open, Ruan Tan Long rushed into the ward in a hurry. When he saw Lushan Waza's son lying on the hospital bed, Ruan Tan Long almost fainted. The child is the flesh of the heart. But at this time, his most precious son actually had a near cut off alive. Exclamation mark. How can Ruan Tan Long accept this? Exclamation mark. Outrageous. Outrageous. Father Ruan Tan Long was fiercely angry. It was an unprecedented murderous intent. In this world, who dares to touch his son? He definitely wants to let the other party die. Ruan when Yao's eyes were dull, and finally recovered from the hospital bed. He stared at his father closely, as if he saw the hope of revenge. Dad, take revenge for me. Kuyiran, Chen Zong dot 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 I must let them die. Chapter 74 Only look ahead 12 o'clock in the middle of the night. A BMW 7 Series sedan swiftly drove towards the Huangjia residence. After dozens of minutes, the BMW sedan stopped in front of the Huang's house. Ruan Dan Long looked grim and cold, got out of the car. His son Ruan Wen Yao got out of the car with the support of his two subordinates. The father and son were so respectful and solemn, and came to the quaint gate of the Huang family house. With a solemn face, Ruan Tan Long slowly stretched out his hand and knocked on the door of this simple and solid Huang family house. Ruan's medicine, Ruan Tan Long, please see the Huang family patriarch. A solemn cry broke the silence of midnight. The lights are lit in the quiet and deep Huang family courtyard. After a long time, the quaint door of the Huang family house finally opened slowly. Who visits late at night? A Huang's servant asked as a probe. I am the chairman of Ruan Thi Medicine, Ruan Tan Long. If you have something important, I beg you to see your patriarch. Ruan Tan Long said with a solemn and respectful face. Wait, he'll inform. The servant left a word and turned and entered the inner courtyard. Ruan Tan Long and his son just stopped and waited outside the Huang's house. Ten minutes later, the servant finally came out of the inner courtyard. The patriarch has an order. Please go in with both of you. Ruan Tan Long looked overjoyed and hurriedly supported his son Ruan Wen Yao. The father and son hurriedly entered the gate of Huang's house in such a hurry. Late at night, the Huang family hall. Huang Zengming wore a long robe and was pale with a few strands of silver threads in his black hair. He was so calm and indifferent. Sitting right above the hall, Ruan Tan Long helped his son and walked into the hall respectfully. My dear Ruan Tan Long, Take his son Ruan Wen Yao, and see Mr. Huang. Ruan Tan Long was very respectful, helped his son and bowed and saluted together. In front of the lord of the Huang family, Ruan Tan Long didn't dare to be vague at all. The man in front of him is the real hero who leads the entire Huang family. Huang Jin Rong swept across the bund that year. His fierce name trembled. How can the century old giants inherited by Huang Jin Rong be simple? Exclamation mark. Huang Zengming just sat right above, his eyes calm and calm, staring lightly at Ruan and his son. The surrounding air became a little quiet and depressed. Huang Zengming did not speak, nor did the Ruan family dare to speak, so they could only bow their bodies respectfully and wait. Ruan's medicine? Huang Zengming was silent for a long time before speaking slowly. Yes, I am the chairman of Ruan's medicine, 
Ruan Tan Long, my company is in a business relationship with Qs Group. Ruan Tan Long replied with great respect and caution. Never heard it. Huang Zengming faintly uttered a word. The reputation of Ngu Ainthi Medicine is too small, and a big figure like Huang Zengming has never heard of this company. If you visit late at night, if you can't give a reasonable explanation, then you too go out sideways, Huang Zengming said with a stern face and indifferent breath, ha, huh. hearing these words, Ruan Tan Long's body trembled uncontrollably, his son Ruan Wen Yao was also trembling and frightened, this, the lord of the Huang family, so Lili is so hot, tonight, if things can't be reached, then his father and son, I'm afraid, will be planted in this Huang's family. The surrounding air is quiet and cold. Ruan Tan Long even felt cold sweat on his forehead, and when dealing with the lord of the Huang family, he would actually be trembling to this point. He resisted the fear in his heart and said solemnly, Mr. Huang, I came here today with my son, because I want to dot 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 cooperate with the Huang family. Cooperation? Huang Zengming stared at Ruan Tan Long with faint and deep eyes. Ruan Tan Long's body trembled suddenly, knowing that it was not good. He hurriedly knelt down, and changed his words. No, it's my clumsy speech. I'm here today, it's. I hope to take refuge in the Huang family. How can the Huang family's century old giants cooperate with others? Ruan Tan Long put down his status and honor tonight and bowed down in front of the Huang family. There was no turning back. What do you take refuge in? Huang Zengming asked slowly despite his aura. I, Ngu Ayan's medicine, have cooperated with Kiss Group for many years. I have been in and out of the Kiss Mansion all the year round. So I have mastered a structural drawing of the Kus mansion. Ruan Tan Long knelt on the ground and said respectfully, Oh, then, what's the use? Huang Zengming still looked calm, unable to see his happiness, anger, sorrow, and joy. Mr. Huang, you don't know anything. Kiwi's bitch. Her secret research institute is located in the Kus building headquarters. I don't know the exact number of floors. But if you have the building structure drawings, you must find the research institute. It's time to catch it. Even if she doesn't reveal the project. Dot 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 the things in the research institute are enough to get you everything you want. Ruan Tan Long solemnly reported. Upon hearing this, Huang Zengming's calm eyes finally condensed. Graduate school? Exclamation mark. Project. The project that his Huang family tried his best to obtain. Now he finally got a clue. For this project, the eldest son Huang Zhuyang died. For this project, Huang's family didn't have a day and was not planning it. And now, finally, there is a chance. Where is the drawing? Huang Zengming looked at Ruan Tan Long slowly. Ruan Tan Long hesitated for a while, and finally gritted his teeth, took out a structural drawing of the Kiss Mansion from his sleeve and handed it to Huang Zengming respectfully. Huang Zengming slowly accepted the drawing, opened it, and scanned it. The entire Kyus building, the 120-story floor structure, shows clearly. Huang Zengming's eyes finally became sharp. With this blueprint, his Huang family will surely be able to find the research institute. Dot 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 that project. Dot 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 at your fingertips. Very good. Huang Zengming looked faintly and slowly closed the drawing. Your Ruan family, from now on, it will be covered by my Huang family. Hearing this, Ruan Tan Long's body trembled with excitement. With the words of Patriarch Huang, from now on, the Ruan family dot 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 will be rampant in the south of the Yangtze River, unscrupulous. My Ruan family, I would like to be Mr. Huang before and after the horse. His son Ruan Wen Yao was also extremely excited, fell to his knees and saluted Huang Zengming. Huang Zengming glanced faintly, glanced lightly at Ruan Wen Yao. His eyes hesitated for a few seconds on his left ear. What's wrong with your ears? Huang Zengming asked lightly. Now that the Ruan family has belonged to his Huang family, then... It is just a matter of raising a hand to give the Ruan family a head and solve the little ants. Ruan Wen Yao knelt on the ground and said with a trembling voice, Mr. Huang, my ears were cut off by the man who Chen Zong Gong. Please, Mr. Huang, call the shots for me. Ha! Huh? When he heard this name, Huang Zengming, 
who was originally calm, suddenly shrank his pupils. Chen. Aspect, originally, he thought. The person who cut off Ruan when Yao's ears was just a mere ants, and they could be wiped out with a finger. But in the end, he heard a name that made him look awkward. Chen. Aspect. It's him again. The eldest son Huang Zhuiang was killed. The second son Huang Hongyui is injured. And the funeral of the eldest son, the enemy of destruction. New hatred and old hatred. Huang Zengming slowly got up, clenched his fists, his complexion dot 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 but he was extremely calm. The breath made people tremble. You, don't worry. Three days later, I will wait for my eldest son, Xuyang to pass the first seven days. It is Chen Zonging's death day. Hearing this, Ruan Wen Yao looked excited and knelt down suddenly. Thank you Mr. Huang. Wen Yao, I would like to see Mr. Huang first and foremost. Chapter 75 Fight Against Buddha In the early morning, a touch of white oriental fish belly slowly emerged from the end of the skyline, and Chen Zonging got up early, exercised his body, and finished the bath. Putting on a straight suit, the diagonally long Bang's hair was combed backwards to form an upside down head. Bring that expensive Omega watch. At the same time, don't forget to light a cigarette. He was so calm and indifferent, and walked out of the villa. When I came to Kiss Manor, I still took a look as usual and enjoyed breakfast quietly. Today is the three day period of the Huang family's blood book. The next day, Ku Yiren sat at the dining table. Although he had no intention of eating, he still fed a few bites of steak. She must hold on to the overall situation. In the entire Kiss Villa, the atmosphere seemed a bit depressing. Chen Zonging was the only one, sipping the red wine and enjoying the steak quietly, everything seemed to be outside. Ku Yiren couldn't eat breakfast, so he gently put down his knife and fork. Sister, What's the matter? No appetite. The younger sister, Ku Shuang, looked at her sister in doubt. Well, you can eat more. Ku Yiren took a glass of milk and took a sip to conceal her emotions. Shuang Xia, didn't you say you wanted to go to Hong Kong Disneyland before? Ku Yiren hesitated for a moment, and then suddenly asked, Huh? Yeah, what's the matter? I bought you a ticket at 12 o'clock today. You can take a few girlfriends and go to Hong Kong for a few days. Ku Yiren's face was calm and said slowly, although she pretended to be calm, but, from her eyes, she could see the faint solemn worry. She is doing funeral arrangements in advance. If so, something happened to Chen Zonging. If so, something happened to myself. Then, she must dot 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 guarantee safety under the autumn frost. The Huang family's revenge was too terrifying. She didn't dare to estimate the terrible consequences. At this time, she only hopes that her sister can stay out of the matter. Ku Xia is innocent. She is only a college student and shouldn't be involved in this innocent chaos. No, it's too hot to go now. I'll wait until October. Ku blinked her eyes but shook her head. Listen to your sister and go to Hong Kong. Father's voice came from the stairs. Kui Hui Hai walked down the stairs slowly with a solemn expression on his gold-framed glasses. Now, the Ku family was about to suffer a catastrophe. The first thing to do is to send the little girl Ku Shuang Xia out and take refuge. But Ku Shuang stubbornly shook his head. No, I will be attending a school concert in a few days. I'm out. What about the concert? I'm going to school. Goodbye. After speaking, the little girl walked out of the villa without looking back, carrying her satchel. The decision made by the little witch was basically impossible for the three cows to come back. She said that if she didn't want to go abroad, it would be impossible to go out, unless forcibly carried her onto the plane. Father Kui Hui Hai sighed. Send more bodyguards to follow behind that girl and keep her safe at all times. Kui Hui Hai turned to look at Ku Yiren, and exhorted. Ku Yiren nodded and immediately sent additional manpower to quietly keep up with Ku Xia to protect her life safety around the clock. Although, the Huang family did not choose to deal with the Ku family. However, Chen Zonging would die. Her Ku family no longer has any support. The entire Ku group may face a huge catastrophe. Therefore, in today's situation, 
We have to make preparations early, 9 in the morning. The Mercedes-Benz team stopped at the gate of Kiss building on time. A group of private bodyguards got out of the car, looked around solemnly, and after confirming that there was no danger, they opened the door of the main car. Ku Yiren stepped on high heels and got out of the car. Chen Zonging followed her with a cigarette in his mouth. The two calmly walked into the building. When the big waves are in the future, you can only face them. At the entrance of the Kiss Mansion, there was silence. In the past two days, the entire group, all colleagues have been in fear. The Huang family's three-day appointment is coming soon. Who can not worry? At the same time, a red Jaguar sports car is speeding all the way, roaring towards the Ku group. Ten minutes later, hum, the Jaguar type sports car roared with the engine noise, flicked and slammed the brakes, and stopped steadily in front of the KISS building. Executive Director Fan Jin stepped on high heels and got out of the car. Morning F. The security guards at the door did not dare to neglect and hurriedly nodded respectfully. Fanjin ignored the security guards. She shook her long hair and stepped into the building indifferently with high heels. And the Jaguar sports car stopped at the gate so arrogantly and didn't care if it blocked the way. This mischief is really a bit cold. It's more than cold, it's a bit arrogant. Hey, who made her a shareholder of the company? Except for her pretty face, her body is full of thorns which is not to be offended, a group of security guards at the door whispered behind their backs, I heard that the conflicts between Mr. F and Mr. Ku have exploded recently, for equity and other things, another security guard said curiously, then the air instantly became a little quieter, stop talking, this is the top thing, the gods fight, ordinary people like us can't afford to provoke them, be careful to anger and suffer. A security captain quickly interrupted the topic and asked everyone to stop discussing it. Today, the situation in the Ku group is extremely turbulent. There are internal troubles from the outside, the emperor and the courtiers, they who are security guards dare not criticize it. For sure some day, he is angry, and with a flick of his fingers, he will bring them all these little fish to a pot. In the Kiss building, the elevator slowly rises to the 99th floor. Fanjin stepped out of the elevator with a beautiful body, with slightly curly wavy hair draped over her shoulders. At this time she dot 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 appears very strong. She walked directly through the corridor and came to the president's office. Just push the door and enter without knocking. In the president's office, Ku Yiren, who was in the office, raised his head in astonishment, President F, what's the matter, there is no major agenda for the company today, right, Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes lightly frowned, with a hint of helplessness in her tone, the external troubles have not been resolved, but the internal troubles have come again, the F faction represented by Fanjin has become more and more unscrupulous, and now it does everything without regard to the shareholders meeting. This is a posture of seeking power to usurp the throne. Fanjin walked straight into the office with a calm face and high heels. She went directly to the desk, pulled out a chair and sat down. The eyes of the two strong women confronted each other for the first time on this occasion. Ian, the covenant of the Huang family has two days left. As one of the shareholders of the company, I have no other ideas but I hope you can share the project so that the company can survive. Fanjin's voice was calm and said slowly, no quarrels, no gunpowder smoke. It seemed that it was just a quiet business company discussion. Ku Yiren didn't speak, and Macy stared at her quietly and meaningfully. Ian, the holidays between us are all private matters. Today, the company and the project are the most important. Projects must be backed up and archived so that they are safe. Fanjin's voice was calm and solemnly said, otherwise, if it happens once if something happens, the project is gone, and the hope of the entire group really collapsed. President F, I appreciate your kindness, but I don't think it's necessary. Ku Yiren's voice was fickle, and he refused, directly, because, I can't have an accident. In the air, the eyes of the two seemed to be slightly stagnant, filled with a hint of gunpowder smoke. Fanjin looked at Ku Yiren with beautiful eyes. Ian, 
Don't be stupid. Do you think that the small security director next door can really resist the Huang family? You are too naive. Do you really think? Who is he Chen Zonging? Is it the Monkey King? Or is he defeating the Buddha? How can he resist the thousands of forces in the Huang family? Fan Jin's voice was cold and stern, Macy said unceremoniously. Indeed. The Huang family is a century old giant, right to the south of the Yangtze River, and that Chen Zonggong is just a mere person. How does the power of one person fight against a sea of thousands of people? Are you here? Are you talking about me? At this moment, suddenly, a calm and indifferent male voice came from behind him. Chapter 76 Huangs, just like this coffee table, Fan Jin turned her head in shock. Behind him, Chen Zong's familiar figure was sitting on the sofa, drinking tea indifferently. You, when did you come in? Fan Jin's pretty face was shocked and inexplicable. Even the Ku Yiren sitting in the president's chair was a little bit astonished. She didn't even notice it. Then how did this man suddenly appear in his office? Isn't he? He is a ghost. Chen Zonging sat quietly on the sofa, holding a cup of tea in his hands, showing his taste. He didn't seem to put Fan Jin in his eyes. Chen Zonging, you won't live for a few days. Fan Jin quickly recovered his indifference and frost, staring at him with beautiful eyes, as if looking at a dying person. The Huang family wants you to die for the third watch, you can't survive the fifth watch. Oh, isn't it? Chen Zongjing sat on the sofa and suddenly smiled. He finished a cup of tea, and then, slowly put the teacup back on the coffee table in front of him. But he did not withdraw his hand. Instead, he gently stretched out a finger, which was meaningful, and tapped on the mahogany coffee table in front of him. Gah, one cry. In the direction of his finger tap, a crack emerged, immediately afterwards, the crack spread instantly. Boom! The thick and hard mahogany coffee table collapsed into a pile of shreds in the blink of an eye. The Huang family, it's like this coffee table. Chen Zong took back his finger and said lightly, at the flick of a finger, the mahogany coffee table vanished in ashes. The air in the office is extremely quiet. Fan Jin stood there sluggishly, her beautiful eyes trembling uncontrollably. The shock in the depths of her pupils made her even struggling to move. The coffee table shattered at the fingertips. This is comparable to science fiction movies. This is terrifying to the extreme. How did he do it? Exclamation mark. Fan Jin took a deep breath, forcibly concealed the shock in his heart and said coldly, small bug carving skills, so mystifying. Chen Zonging, if you provoke the Huang family, you will undoubtedly die. This is not Fan Jin's momentary anger, but a fact. In this Shanghai and the sea, in this Jiangnan, provoked the Huang family, and died. The Huang family is the sky, and the Huang family is the earth. The Huang family represents the laws of the city. The corner of Chen Zonggong's mouth raised an arc, and he lit a cigarette. Thank you for your concern. I think I should live longer than any of you. He was faint and leisurely, puffing out smoke rings. Seeing Huang's appointment, only the last two days remained. However, he is still indifferent, not running away, not forgiving, and calmly like an outsider. You won't be arrogant for long, at most. There are only two days left. Fan Jin stared at him coldly, as if looking at a dead person. Chen Zong wasn't angry, he still looked at her indifferently. If you don't dislike it, sit down and have a sip of tea with me, he said slowly with a faint look. A few days ago, you came to my office and did not prepare tea. Today, I have yaxing, why? Try again, ha. Huh? Fan Jin's pretty face changed color slightly. A few days ago, she entered Chen Zonging's office alone, trying to seduce her. But the man saw through the conspiracy. If this matter is pierced, she will have no face as a shareholder meeting. Today, the man mentioned it again. Chen Zonging, you won't be arrogant for long. Your lifespan will not survive two days. Fan Jin's voice was cold and sullen, and she glanced at Ku Yiren again. Ku Yiren. Do you really plan to put all your hopes and all your wealth on this man? Can you afford to lose? This is more like a questioning. Sorry, Mr. F. I'm still very busy, if I'm fine, I will have to work. Ku Yiren's attitude was calm, 
and one sentence represented her decision. Mr. Ku, you think carefully, if you don't share the project, then the entire company will be destroyed in your hands. After speaking, Fanjin had a cold face, turned around and hurried out of the office. The atmosphere in the office was quiet again. Ku Yiren sighed, Mesa gratefully looked at the man on the sofa. Thank you, mister, to help me out. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and he slowly got up. Raise your hand. He was smoking a cigarette and walked straight out of the president's office. But when he walked to the door of the office, he stopped again. Turning his head, said lightly, What I just said to that woman is not haiku. What he was referring to was the sentence he said to Fan Jin. Huang family, just like this coffee table. At this moment, Ku Yiren's pretty face was complicated and there was an inexplicable luster in her beautiful eyes. It seems that this man can give him a sense of security. Chen Zong turned and left. Only Ku Yiren was left sitting in the office sluggishly, and subconsciously, she swept her beautiful eyes towards the wreckage of the coffee table that was bombed to pieces. In her mind, the words that kept recalling, Huang family, just like this coffee table. Dot family villa. Chi was sitting on the luxury sofa of the villa, holding a glass of red wine in his hand, sipping lightly. He is waiting for news from his daughter. The current situation... The time, the right place, and the harmony of people. The Kiss clique was plagued by foreign troubles, and the Huang family forced it. Such a timing is the perfect moment for him to use his feminist methods to seize control of the group in one fell swoop. Forced the Ku Yiren to hand over the project, and then, let the Ku family step down. This Ku group belongs to his family. Since then, I changed my name to Yi. At this moment, there was a roar of engines outside the villa door. A curve of Ki's face was raised. The daughter is back. A few minutes later, there was a rapid stepping on high heels. Fan Jin pushed the door coldly and walked into the villa. How, did you get Ku Yiren's project? She asked, taking a sip of red wine. In today's game, he is confident. Under the pressure of the overall situation, Ku Yiren had to call out the project. This is the established ending. Sorry dad, I failed. Fan Jin replied with a frustrated expression. In an instant, Fki's deep pupils condensed suddenly. Failed. He stared at his daughter with a sharp scrutiny. Fanjin's pretty face turned pale, and said cautiously, Ku Yiren refuses to hand over the project. Behind her, that man is supporting her. Chen Zonging? She asked with sharp eyes. Fanjin nodded. It's ridiculous. It's just a security director. With his own power. Does he really want to compete with the century old Huang family? It's a mere ant, but it's just a fight. How afraid of it? The woman of Ku Yiren is naive and ridiculous. Fki's face was fierce, and he couldn't think that the equity plan he had arranged step by step would be. Did a security guard obstruct it? Fan Jin has a complicated face, standing aside, bowing his head and daring not to speak. She hesitated for a long time, suddenly raised her head and asked with a complex expression, Dad, someone, can knock a finger and shatter a table? She looked at his daughter in surprise. What do you mean? I'm telling you about the company now. Don't tell me about these tales of fantasy. She said with a frightened expression, Dad dot 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 not a fantasy. Fan Jin had a complicated face, slowly raised her eyes, and said solemnly, I saw with my own eyes dot 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 then Chen Zong, tapped a finger lightly, a mahogany coffee table, and was shocked to crush her. Hearing this, Fki's face suddenly condensed. He fixed his eyes on his daughter. What did you say? I saw it with my own eyes. Dot dot dot. Chen Zonging tapped his finger and shattered a mahogany coffee table. Fan Jin repeated with solemn and complicated eyes. Fki's heart trembled suddenly. His complexion was shocked and he couldn't believe it. He has been rampant in the arena for decades, does not believe in gods and buddhas, and does not believe in Guan Gong. He fake he only believes in theories that the world's science can explain. But, at this time, hearing his daughter's description... Dot 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 he was completely shocked. With the flick of your finger, shake the coffee table. To shreds? Question mark. This, this. In the world, is the really? Such a vivid means, 
the ultimate Bing Thing Reader Group, 310,745,503, will receive a physical book and an autographed poster if you join the group. Chapter 77 Because I am Chen Zonging as the sun sets, it is almost dusk. At the entrance of Kiss Building, five Mercedes Benz cars waited quietly. Ku Yiren and Chen Zonggong walked out of the building and got in the car with the support of a group of bodyguards. As the day passed, it was still calm. However, the entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets are quietly brewing. The three-day bloodletter period of the Huang family is only the last day of tomorrow. Chen Zonging was sitting in the Mercedes Benz, faintly puffing out smoke rings. He was calm like an outsider. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes sat aside with complicated eyes, absent-minded. Only the last day is left, and she, pinning all her hopes on this Chen Zonging. If something happens to Chen Zong, then her Kui people and the entire Ku clan will be completely disintegrated by the Huang family. The Mercedes-Benz fleet drove all the way without any attacks on the road. Half an hour later, the convoy drove into the Purple Garden Mansion area. The Mercedes-Benz stopped slowly at the gate of Kiss Manor. Ku Yiren and Chen Zong got out of the car and walked into the villa. In the hall of the villa, on the dining table, the sumptuous dishes are ready. The family sat down and began to eat. However, in front of the dining table, except for Chen Zonging and Ku Shuang Xia who were calm and indifferent, the rest of the people are all unsure. Chen Zong Zong was tasting the red wine lightly, he didn't care about the ant like Huang family, and under the witch Gush Wang, she didn't care about the trivial matters of these giants' battles. In her eyes, there are no things that her sister can't solve. What's more, the Huang family is targeting Chen Zonging. What does this have to do with her family? The little girl obviously didn't expect this layer, so she was calm. Tomorrow, there will be two bodyguard teams sent from the capital to report and expand your bodyguard team. Father Ku Huihai was silent for a long time and said to the eldest daughter Ku Yiren, N. Ku Yiren hesitated and nodded. In the past few days, be more careful. Mother Liu Xiangnan reminded me worriedly, really uneasy. Mom, don't worry. It's okay. Ku Yiren picked up the dishes, took a bite of rice and concealed his inner anxiety. But how can Liu Xiangnan as a mother feel at ease? Liu Xiangnan turned his head and looked at Chen Zonging. Xiao Chen, these few days, I also hope that you, be sure, ensure the safety of the Iraqi people. Liu Xiangnan's voice was solemn. This is a plea from a mother. Chen Zonging put down the wine glass gently. Your daughter will be fine. His voice was calm, but with an inexplicable breath because I am Chen Zonging. As soon as he said this, the air was silent, arrogant, domineering, vertical and horizontal. Just relying on his words, actually, gives people an aura of invincibility in the world, because he is Chen Zonging. At this moment, Ku Yiren raised her head, her beautiful eyes looked at the man inexplicably dot 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 somehow, there was an inexplicable emotion flashing through her eyes. Father Kui Hui Hai also looked at Chen Zonging in amazement. He had been in Jiangu shopping malls for decades, but he had never seen such a deep breath in a young man. He actually faintly saw the shadow of a fierce beast from this young man. Cut, who do you think you are? You can't live for two days, and you've been blowing around here. Yu Chen Zonggong's name is still the king of heaven and Lozi. The little witch Ku Shuang on the side didn't buy it, her pretty face pursed. Chen Zong glanced sideways as if looking at an idiot. Chen Zonggong's eyes were calm, and he didn't pay attention to Ku Shuang. He slowly raised the goblet and took a sip. Why play the piano to the birds? If Ku Xia's words were heard by those mercenaries on the battlefield overseas, I would be trembling with fright, because the bragging name in her mouth represents a meaning. Hell. Grim Reaper, Chen Zonging. Outside the floor hustling windows of the villa, the night sky is dotted with stars. The entire Shanghai and Shanghai markets are shrouded in tranquility. Tonight, is the appointment from the Huang family, the second night. Tonight, someone is destined to be unable to sleep. Dot. The sun rises. This city wakes up from the dark night. The last day of the letter of the Huang family. Early in the morning, 
Shen Zong put on a suit, tie and watch, and then walked out of the villa calmly. Still, as usual, head to the Ku's villa and have a meal, a glass of red wine, a steak. After the meal was over, Ku Yiren drove with him to the Kiss Mansion. Today, the number of escorted Mercedes-Benz fleets is greater. A full ten Mercedes-Benz cars, back and forth, support from side to side. Take precautions on all sides to protect the main car in the middle. Ku Yiren and Chen Zonggong sat in the middle main car like this, and the air inside the car looked quiet. Outside the car window, there is a constant flow of street people in the morning rush hour. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes scanned the window complicatedly, not knowing what was thinking in her heart. Mr. Chen, are you really sure? After hesitating for a long time, Ku Yi turned her head. Her beautiful eyes were complicated, and she asked with a hint of tension. Huang's appointment. The last day. Ku Yi's heart can't calm down at all, and he is very worried. No. Chen Zonging suddenly returned the word faintly. This. Hearing this, Ku Yiren's pretty face suddenly changed. Not sure. All her bets, the company's prospects dot 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 all weighed on this man. But now, he said dot 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 not sure. When dealing with ants, why do you need to grasp it? Raise your finger and wipe it out. Chen Zonging lay quietly on the luxury massage chair of the car, closed his eyes, and said quietly, in his eyes, it seemed that the Huang family was really like an ant. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were complicated and solemn, and he looked at this man for a long time before sighing lightly. At this moment, she really didn't have any chance. Today, all hopes are pinned on Chen Zonging. If Chen Zonging dies, then the next one to die is her Ku clan. The Mercedes-Benz fleet slowly stopped downstairs in the Kus building. Along the way, there is no danger no attack. But everyone knows that this is the tranquility before the storm. At this time, it was the morning rush hour for work. At the gate of Kiss building, an endless stream of employees were rushing to work. Chen Zonging and Ku Yiren got off the car and slowly walked into the building. All around, when the employees saw Chen Zonging, they all talked in a low voice. Everyone looked at this man with complicated eyes. My God! Director Chen dot 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 he didn't even escape dot 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 today, but the last day of the Huang family's appointment, the Huang family's appointment, tomorrow, he is going to die, eh, hey, what should we do, what about our Ku group, the employees were cautious and whispered with a sigh, a negative panic spread among the thousands of employees in Q's building, yes, the Huang family's appointment deadline. Everyone knew that the Huang family was about to make a move. Security director Chen Zonging is bound to die. As for their Ku clan, they are also. Chapter 78 The sky is full of red flames, and the sky is burned out the 19th floor, the director's office. Outside, there was rumbling. Everyone is panicking and worrying. The deadline for the last day of the Huang family. In the office, Chen Zong was still indifferent like an outsider. He lit a cigarette, then sat quietly on the chair, took out an Old Testament Bible from the drawer, slowly opened the book, and began to read it. He does not believe in Judaism or Christianity. He just killed too much, and wanted to find a little bit of comfort and self-redemption from this holy book of prophecy. Of course, there is a more important reason. Learn about all angels in Christianity. Because, he dot 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 is a lifelong slaughter go all the Bible organization. That organization is named after the Bible. Every killer is revered as an angel in Christianity. The Bible does not slaughter and swears not to exceed birth. He had confronted those terrible angels, blood stained the West, and corpses were everywhere. That was an unprecedented slaughter from the Pacific all the way to the Atlantic, across the entire northern hemisphere. But in the end, the Bible angels could not be slaughtered. The mystery of that organization is profound and terrifying. Thinking of this, in Chen Zonging's pupils, a turbulent killing flashed past. He slowly opened the book, searched the catalog, and found the record in that page, the highest among the messengers of God the head of angels seraphim. I saw the Lord sitting on a high throne. Her clothes hang down, covering the temple. The crimson flame is an emblem. Raising his hand, the sky was filled with red flames, 
burning the sky, apostrophe. This is the record of that terrifying blazing angel in the holy classics. She is the highest priest, she is the lord of angels. She comes from the realm of blazing flames. Shedden Zengzing's eyes narrowed slightly, and he stared straight at the three words blazing angel on the book paper. Unconsciously, the veins in his hands have gradually become prominent. A terrifying murder is surging around the body. At this moment, Suddenly the door of the office was pushed open. Mr. Chen, let's go to lunch together. President Ku Yi stood at the door like a man. But the next second, when her beautiful eyes glanced at Chen Zonging, her pretty face turned pale suddenly, and her heart trembled suddenly. The high-heeled shoes under my feet stepped back in a panic. With just this glance, she was shocked and retreated by the terror of the man in the office. What a terrible murder. The man's eyes looked like a beast. No, it's scarier than a beast. It seemed to be a demon who wanted to slaughter everything. At the same time, Chen Zong's murderous intent suddenly converged and disappeared. He slowly closed the Bible book and carefully put it back into the drawer. Then he lit a cigarette, got up and walked out of the office. Den Deng Deng Kuyi only felt that his heart was beating so terribly. He went back a few steps again and again. She was really frightened by this man's murderous intent. Let's go, eat. Chen Zonging said lightly, his voice calm. At this time, he returned to the appearance of the elegant and fair-skinned youth. It's like a scholar, a scholar, not dot 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 a of death who kills the sky. Ah dot 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 then. Let's go. Kuyiran's mood is complicated and shocked, her pretty face is still in horror, and she follows Chen Zonging. At this moment, her voice trembled slightly. She deliberately kept a certain distance, because she was really shocked by the terrorist killing intent just now. The two of them came to the group's internal restaurant. At eleven o'clock at noon, it is time for meal. In the restaurant, countless employees are dining. But when Chen Zong walked into the restaurant, the atmosphere in the restaurant suddenly became a bit quieter. Colleagues looked at him with complicated eyes. This man, at this time, has become the core of everyone's focus. Today is the last day of the Huang family's appointment. Once today is over, tomorrow will be the time for the Huang family to do it. In other words, this Chen Zong won't survive tomorrow. Discuss in a low voice. Everyone dare not speak loudly, but in everyone's eyes, this Chen Zong is already a dying person. What they were surprised was that this Chen Zong, why didn't he escape? Why does he dare to stay here and still dare to stay in the Shanghai and Shanghai markets? Is he really not afraid of death, or could he say that he knew he had nowhere to escape and was ready to die? Let's go. Let's go to the inner box, Ku Yiren said softly. She seemed to feel the atmosphere of the staff in the restaurant, so she said to Chen Zongying, No, just sit outside. Chen Zongying slowly let out a puff of smoke, and said calmly. So the two chose an empty seat in the restaurant on the side and sat down. The aunt of the restaurant respectfully served the dishes. Bring me a bottle of red wine. Lafite with a vintage of not less than five years. Chen Zong Zong said slowly with a cigarette in his mouth. No wine is not happy. Before every meal, red wine is indispensable. Soon, the waiter in the restaurant brought a bottle of rare Lafite. Chen Zonging just sat in the company restaurant, sipped red wine, and enjoyed lunch. His indifferent appearance is simply unimaginable. The death of the enemy is approaching. Today is the deadline. But he still sips the red wine and enjoys lunch quietly. He, where's the courage? Why is he calm? In the restaurant, all the employees who are dining, their faces are extremely complicated. Obviously, everyone has no intention of dining. The eyes of hundreds of people focused on Chen Zonging. A dying person enjoys lunch quietly sipping red wine. Such a picture is indeed too weird. Too unreasonable. Ku Yiren sat beside him, looking at Chen Zong with complicated beautiful eyes. At this time, Chen Zonging was so quiet and so indifferent. Elegant drinking and dining. With that appearance, Ku Yiren even had an illusion. As if the blood letter from the Huang family hadn't been sent. And the father of the Huang family was not dead either. All the contradictions did not happen. However, 
In a blink of an eye she dispelled this brief illusion. Everything is tense. Huang's father-in-law was killed. Today is the deadline for the Huang's blood letter. Mr. Chen, is he really sure? Why don't you eat it? Chen Zonging handed a piece of steak into his mouth with a fork, and then turned to look at Ku Yiren. Ku Yiren shook his head lightly. I have no appetite. You have to eat. You can watch the show only if you are full. Chen Zonging calmly raised his goblet and took a sip of red wine. Ku Yiren was a little surprised, puzzled. What he meant to watch the show. What does it mean? At the same time, the crowd in the restaurant. An employee was secretly picking up his mobile phone and pointed the camera at the direction Chen Zong was eating. Quietly, he took a live video and sent it to a mysterious number. Suddenly, Chen Zong twisted his left hand gently. Wow! A silver fork flew out of his hand, pierced through the void, and hurriedly flew towards the employee. Puff! The silver fork pierced through the employee's neck trachea in an instant. A huge hole of blood appeared on the employee's neck. The silver fork was carried by a huge force and nailed to the wall of the restaurant behind. Ha! Huh. The eyes of everyone present turned to the employee. In the restaurant, surrounding the employee, everyone trembled and retreated. The employee was puzzled. At that moment, he didn't even see what was going on. He just felt that a silver light pierced through his eyes. Then his neck became a little cold. Why? Back. The employee was about to speak, only to find that. His own voice was stuck in his throat. From the neck. There was a warm liquid gushing out. He subconsciously reached out and touched. The whole neck was full of blood. A huge blood hole was pierced through his neck. The blood can't stop overflowing. A dot 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 help dot 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 help dot 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 I. The employee's voice was horrified and shocked. Bloody hands stretched out to everyone. All the employees in the surrounding area retreated in panic. Bar. With a sound. His body fell to the ground and the cell phone that had just sent the message also fell in a pool of blood. Chapter 79 Snipe and Clam fight at the same time. The Huang family old house. Patriarch Huang Zengming was sitting cross-legged in the martial arts hall. He closed his eyes tightly and was sitting and resting. Drop, with a sound. The mobile phone text message in front of him rang. Huang Zengming slowly opened his eyes. His gaze was faint. He reached out his hand took the phone, and opened it. On the screen of the mobile phone, a live video was playing. In the restaurant, Chen Zonging, dressed in a straight suit, was sitting not far away, drinking and eating quietly. When seeing the live video on the mobile phone, Huang Zengming's eyes narrowed slightly. Tonight will be the first seven nights of the eldest son Huang Xuyang. But at this moment, the murderer Chen Zong, is still sitting in the restaurant so indifferently, enjoying a red wine steak. This, how can Huang Zengming not be angry? He took a deep breath. The breath in his eyes was profound and uncertain. At this moment, Huang Zengming's mobile phone was broadcast live, and the picture suddenly reversed. I saw Chen Zonggong lightly waved his left hand in the restaurant. Dot dot dot. The next second, a bunch of scarlet splashes on the camera. Dot 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 and also the whole live broadcast. The picture was dyed red. Dot. The Ku group, inside the restaurant. Chen Zong sipped a sip of red wine, then gently put down the glass goblet. His eyes were calm. Step by step dot 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 walking towards the corpse on the ground. All employees and colleagues around dot 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 regressed in panic. Chen Zonging's eyes were faint, and his leather shoes stepped on the red blood on the ground. He slowly leaned down, stretched out his hand, and picked up the mobile phone that was broadcasting. He pointed the live camera at himself, and dot 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 the corner of his mouth raised a faint arc. Good noon. He actually greeted the live camera of the mobile phone. Dot. Huang family, Bdokin. Huang Zengming's pupils condensed, staring directly at the live broadcast on the phone. In the live video, the fair-skinned and elegant young man is smiling at himself. And, he said hello, good noon. Apostrophe. Huang Zengming's expression was abnormally cold, and his breathing gradually became deep. His pupils are shrinking. Kaka. Huang Zengming squeezed the phone in his palm to smash. Chen. 
aspect, the voice of the Lord of the Huang family is cold and brutal, carrying endless terrifying anger. He clenched his fists, and endless veins and veins emerged crazily. Tonight, once Xuyang's first seven ceremonies are over, he wants to dot 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 blood everywhere. Dot. At this time, the Ku group, inside the restaurant, Chen Zonging was standing there calmly, holding the blood-stained mobile phone in his hand. Hundreds of people trembled in horror throughout the restaurant. This, but killing in public. Just now, hundreds of people present saw it with their own eyes. With a flick of the silver fork in Chen Zong's hand, it directly penetrated an employee's throat. These pictures are too shocking and terrifying. Everyone saw the killing with their own eyes. Moreover, the murder weapon is a silver fork. This shock made everyone's hearts tremble violently. They are just ordinary employees of the KUS building, and they are all ordinary people. Have you ever seen such a scene? Killing. This is only a scene that can only appear on the movie screen. At this moment, it was and appeared in front of my eyes. Several cowardly female colleagues have even fallen to the ground with fright. The rest of the people are not better than to go the dot dot dot. The panic is petrified in place, unable to move even their feet. Kuyiran's pretty face was pale, and she stepped forward in shock. Mr. Chen. What are you? Her voice was shocked and she couldn't believe it. She didn't react at all. What happened? Why did Mr. Chen suddenly attack and kill an employee in the restaurant? Exclamation mark. Chen Zonging looked faintly, and handed the blood-stained mobile phone to Ku Yiren. It's nothing, just a little spy. He should, isn't it an employee of your group? Chen Zonging said slowly. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were complicated and horrified. He glanced at the mobile phone in front of him, and then, cast his eyes on the corpse on the ground. The appearance of the corpse, she really, has never seen it before. This restaurant is the upper level restaurant of the group. Those who can come to the restaurant to dine are all the middle and upper level core personnel of the group. Almost everyone in Kiwi knew him. But she did not recognize the corpse on the ground. In other words, this person, sneaked in from outside, exclamation mark sent someone to take the corpse away. Stay here and affect my meal. Chen Zong dropped the phone on the ground, then stepped over the corpse and continued back to the dining table. He wiped his hands clean, took a silver fork again, and continued to eat. Sip the red wine and enjoy the steak. A light and breezy appearance, as if nothing happened just now. Everyone present was shocked by petrochemical. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes. They couldn't believe it. In this world, there is such an indifferent person! Exclamation mark. A second, he was still cruel and slaughtered a life on the spot. In the next second, he has recovered indifferently, and started to eat in a leisurely and contented manner. How can he eat? You know, the corpse is still lying on the ground at this time. The blood stains on the ground have not yet condensed. There was still a strong smell of blood floating in the air. But he is still drinking red wine, enjoying five mature filet steak. Is he a human? A few young girls only felt nauseous for a while, and their faces turned pale. Seeing the blood all over the place, they almost vomited. There are hundreds of people in the restaurant all of whom have no appetite. Kuyiran's face was pale, and his breathing was chaotic. Everyone stared like that, staring blankly at the center of the restaurant, watching the man in elegant suit dine. This scene can be described as shocking. Dot. Huangpu District, Fuxing Group Building. Group President, Go Shows was standing calmly in front of the French windows at this time, holding a glass of red wine in his hand. He sipped slightly, and his eyes were calmly looking at the Huangpu River outside the window. On the opposite bank of the Huangpu River, which is 100 meters away, is the Lujizui Financial District with many skyscrapers. And the building of the Ku Group stands on the right side of Lujizui District. Go Shows looked faintly, staring deeply at the Kiss Mansion across the river bank. Tonight is the death day of the eldest son of the Huang family. Right? Go Shou sipped a sip of red wine and said slowly, Yes, son. Behind him, a female secretary in black clothes leaned slightly and responded, My son, do you want to send some white chrysanthemums to the Huang family as a symbol? 
the female secretary asked softly. After all, the other party is the Huang family of the century old giant. Sending a bunch of chrysanthemums to the first seven of the son of Huang's parents is also regarded as a greeting. No need, one more move. Go shows replied lightly. How could his Go family befriend the Huang family? No need, the son. The first seven days of the night, Chen Zonging must die. Then the Ku group won't fall into the hands of the Huang family? The female secretary hesitated, still speaking out her inner doubts. Go Shows took a sip and sipped the red wine in his glass. His eyes faint. Two dogs fight, play off. His voice was calm, and he said slowly, Chen Zonging's death is a good thing. Originally, Ku Yi was stubborn and self-reliant. Now, the knife of the Huang family is a good time for the proud woman to understand and wake up. This Jiangnan, her Ku group is nothing. Only oneself, only the Go family, can save her. Chapter 80 Insomnia Tonight as the sun sets, the skies died red at dusk. Ten Mercedes-Benz cars formed a defensive formation and drove slowly on the streets at dusk. Inside the Mercedes-Benz, Ku Yiren sat there with complicated eyes. She opened her notebook and continued to deal with official documents, using her busyness to offset the worries that were constantly rising in her heart. However, Chen Zonging sat aside calmly, lit a cigarette, and vomited slowly. Tonight is the last night. The Huang family blood book, the three-day agreement. The end is approaching. Ku Yiren raised her head from the busy schedule glanced at the man next to her with her beautiful eyes, and then looked out the window complicatedly. Scenes of scenery passed quickly on the streets at dusk. This city, because of the project in her hands, is becoming turbulent. The big wave is about to rise. How should she choose? Half an hour later, the Mercedes-Benz fleet slowly drove into the Purple Garden Mansion area. The motorcade stopped at the gate of Kiss Manor, Ku Yiren and Chen Zong got off the car and slowly walked into the villa. In the lobby of the villa, diamond chandelier lights up. At the table, the dishes are ready. A table full of hearty dishes, with a tangy fragrance. However, dinner tonight seemed very quiet. The dishes are plentiful, but the Ku family has no appetite. Ku Yiren, Father Ku Hui Hai, Mother Liu Xiangnan. Their eyes are complicated and they have concerns. After all, Tonight is the last limit. At the entire table, only two people were dining, and they enjoyed it very much. One is Chen Zong. He is holding a goblet in his hand and swaying the red wine in the glass. The light and breezy temperament makes people even have hallucinations, thinking that he is a bystander. And the other one is the heartless little witch Kush Wangxia. She didn't care about Chen Zong's life and death at all, taking care of herself eating the dishes. Hey. The Huang family must come to you tomorrow? Are you not afraid of it? Ku Shuang chewed on a chicken leg, blinking her beautiful eyes, looking at Chen Zonging. Chen Zonging looked calm, took a sip of red wine, and ignored her. Why don't you speak? Do you have any last words? What about waiting for you? After you pass away, leave your villa to me. When you pass away, I will move in. Ku Shuang blinked in her beautiful eyes. No said heartlessly. Shut up. What kind of style? Suddenly, his father Ku Hui Hai finally couldn't bear it and shouted angrily. Ku Shuang pouted her lips and continued to lower her head to eat. Chen Zonging shook the wine glass lightly, and finally replied slowly, Then you dot 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 you have to wait until you are seventy old and eighty. Ku Shuang looked up, gave him a slight glare, and continued to bow his head to pick up rice. Inside the villa, Lights are dotted and the atmosphere is quiet. Outside the floor tussling windows, the dark night starry sky is deep, and at the end of the endless night sky, a ray of waning moon hangs high in the sky. In the dark night, the wind is high, and the waning moon appears. Tonight, doomed to sleepless. Dot. Late at night, the ancient house of the Huang family. At this time, the Huang's house was hung up and down with oil lamps made of yellow paper talisman. Every door and corner of the house is covered with paper talisman. In the lobby of the inner courtyard, on a huge and luxurious platform, there is a portrait of Huang Zhuiang before his death. In the photo, he has a handsome face and an elegant smile. However, 
the black and white background color photos represent dot 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 in this world, Huang Zhuiang no longer exists. Patriarch Huang Zengming stood in front of the portrait photo of the eldest son in a brown robe with his hands behind his back. His face was calm, his eyes fixed on the black and white photos of his son. It is a rich and noble body before death. But it is also a blessing after death. The superstitious customs in Jiangnan area, the 17th day after the death of the deceased, is the first seven. On this day, the souls of the dead will go home, say goodbye to loved ones. Although it is superstition, it is futile. However, He Huang Zengming must also do it, and it's beautiful. An old Taoist priest held a rune and chanted the scriptures righteously. Taoist priests are the best Taoist priests invited from Zongnan Mountain. Everything is just to give the deceased a blessed treatment, even if it exceeds birth, it must be above 10,000. Mr. Huang, the time has come and you can call the spirit. The old Taoist priest slowly bowed forward, holding the peach wood sword in his hand. Huang Zengming's eyes were calm and deep and he nodded slowly, a ladder, a long ladder of 10 meters high was erected in front of the courtyard of the Huang family house, Huang Zengming stepped on the ladder step by step, according to custom and superstition, in the middle of the night, the parents or relatives of the deceased must climb the stairs and shout the name of the deceased at the door of the house to show the way for the deceased on Huang Kun Road, Xuyang, Huang Zengming stood on the 10 meter high ladder, spoke deeply and solemnly, and shouted at the night sky, Xuyang, go home, the second voice, Xuyang, go home, for my father, I will avenge you, third, at this moment, the entire Huang family house, from the inside to the outside, was crowded with black people who had come to participate in the first seven etiquettes of young master Xuyang, a sea of people, with solemn faces, bowed their heads, salute to Huang Zhuiang's undead, the hour has come, burn the clothes, the old Taoist priest held the peachwood sword and pointed at the void, ten boxes of the deceased's clothes were carried out of the yard, these are Huang Zhuiang's clothes during his lifetime, each piece is a top luxury brand, dozens of boxes of clothing are worth tens of millions, but, at this time tonight, all will be lit and burned. Huang Zengming personally sprinkled gasoline, and then ignited the flame. The raging flames burned the clothes, emitting bursts of pungent and unpleasant stench in the air. But everyone present did not support, everyone stood quietly, looking at the burning flame. Huang Zengming stood there, his eyes calm. In his eyes, there was a shadow of flames. The second son, Huang Hongyui, stood behind him staring at the flame with dazzling eyes, this is the clothes of the eldest brother before his death, after everything burns up, the eldest brother's name will also completely, disappear from the world without a trace, only on the genealogy can the testimony of his name be left, and his Huang Hongyui, will be the next generation of the Huang family, the true heir, Huang Hongyui stepped forward and came to his father's side, father, tomorrow, I will go with you to kill Chen Zongying. Father Huang Zengming carried his hands on his back, and there seemed to be fireworks flashing in his faint gaze. You, stay, peel. His words are calm and simple. However, with a command, but Huang Hongyui seemed to want to say something more. No need to say any more, tomorrow you, stay at home. Father Huang Zengming didn't give him a chance to speak again vetoed it in a single word, Huang Hongyui didn't dare to speak much, so he could only bow his body and step back, the flame is still burning, Huang Zengming suddenly turned around and shouted to the old housekeeper, Uncle Zong, come with me, the old housekeeper Huang Zong moved his old body and slowly followed behind the lord, Huang Zengming took the old housekeeper to a corner not far away, Uncle Zong, tomorrow dot 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 you stay in the house, Huang Zengming said slowly with deep eyes, Huang Zong's expression was a little surprised, master, are you afraid, tomorrow, you are optimistic about Hong Yui for me, Huang Zengming's face was dignified with a trace of dignity, he, faintly dot 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 still worried, Chen Zong Gong's brother, a reply three days ago, actually made the head of the Huang family feel very uneasy, the content of the reply was, 
Three days later, take your second son, the head of Huang Hongyui. This sentence, like a sword, hangs in Huang Zengming's heart and becomes a heart barrier. Although he did not believe that Chen Zong had that ability. However, everything must be prevented. After all, he has died a son. Now Huang Hongyui is his last bloodline and will inherit the position of patriarch in the future. No, there will be more mistakes. The old housekeeper Huang Zongning nodded, Master, don't worry, tomorrow, I will take care of the second son and let him stay in the house, yeah? Huang Zengming relieved his mind and nodded slowly, as long as the son stays in the Huang's house, then, it can be safe. After all, the ancient house of the Huang family dot 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 who would dare to break into it? The first seven rituals are still going on. The flames burned into the sky, and the clothing of the deceased was reduced to ashes in the raging fire. The entire Huang family's ancient house is shrouded in flames and night. Tonight, sleepless. Chapter 81 At your fingertips when the oriental fish more appeared in the eastern sky. The whole sleeping city has gradually awakened from the mist. The magical city of Shanghai is rising today. The ancient house of the Huang family stayed up all night. At five o'clock in the morning, the sky was still foggy. Inside the ancient house, there is already a dazzling figure, and the darkness is overwhelming. It is impossible to count how many people there are. From inside the huge house comma dot 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 spread beyond the courtyard wall. Even beyond the courtyard wall, there is already a sea of people, and you can't even see it at a glance. Every member of the Huang family wore brown clan uniforms. Looking from a distance, almost a brown yellow sea of people formed a long dragon. The owner of the house, Huang Zengming with his back in his hands, stood slowly in front of the hall. Behind him, there was a crowd of people. His eyes were calm, and he stared at the portrait of his son before his death on the table in the hall for a long time. Then, he slowly picked up a bowl of spirits, gulped, and drank it. Kang Dang, Huang Zengming violently smashed the empty bowl to the ground. Then, with his hands on his back, he slowly turned around. The two men slowly stepped forward, holding a thick and heavy long knife. Zheng, Huang Zengming held the handle of the knife with one hand and slammed the knife up. This knife is named, Sun Ayu. It weighs 180 catties. A knife is comparable to the weight of two adults. But Huang Zengming held the handle of the knife with one hand. His face remained unchanged. He sprayed the strong wine on the blade of the knife. Only when spirits are open can kill people. Then, he raised the long knife. Behind him, there was a crowd of black people, all raising knives. The momentum is shocking. The sword is like a sea, and under the rain and sun in the early morning, there is a terrifying and endless murderous intent. Kill. Huang Zengming only uttered one word. Kill. Thousands of people shouted behind him. The killing intent is shaking the sky, sweeping the sky. Huang Hongyui, the second son of the Huang family, stood not far away, staring at this scene with brilliant eyes. His heart is beating. This is the strength of the Huang family for a century. The name of the Huang family is enough to rival the world. Father boy dot 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 wait for you to cut off Chen Zong's head and return in triumph. Huang Hongyui stepped forward solemnly, bowing and saluting. N. Huang Zengming nodded slowly. He just carried the long knife weighing 180 jin. Step by step dot 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 slowly walked towards the crowd. Uniform. The sea of people split into two halves instantly, and took the initiative to give him a path. He, holding the knife, step by step, walked out of the gate of the house. Outside of the Huang family's courtyard at this time, there was already a thunderous wind. One after another, huge trucks were parked horizontally outside the door of the house. A whole number of ten large trucks formed a convoy. These trucks are not for transporting goods. Instead, manned. Because there are too many members of the Huang family, from Jiangnan to Jiangbai, the clan of the Huang family is scattered all over the world. Nowadays, Members are convened and there is a huge crowd. Such a crowded crowd is so exaggerated that it can only be transported by large trucks. In fact, 
the line up in the battle with the army is comparable. Huang Zengming carried a long knife and slowly came to an extended Lincoln sedan. The subordinates respectfully opened the car door. Huang Zengming's eyes were calm, and he slowly got into the car. Behind him, a crowd of people followed closely behind. A group of members stepped onto a large truck neatly. A whole number of ten large trucks were full of people. The crowded convoy is like a majestic sea. Go, Qs group. Huang Zengming sat in the car, his eyes calm and indifferent. Quietly enduring dozens of days of murder, finally dot 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 today it will completely emerge. The Lincoln sedan started slowly and took the lead to drive away. Behind, one after another, trucks full of people followed closely, formed a majestic and imposing motorcade. The long dragon attacked and shattered the sky. Dot. At the same time, Hu Hai Zuan Mansion District. After Chen Zonging finished his morning exercises, he took a cold shower. He changed into a white shirt and tie, then brought that precious Omega watch. Put on a black suit jacket and gently comb your hair back. Refined and fair skinned, green and handsome. When he doesn't kill, he always looks so gentleman, like a scholar. Raising his wrist, he glanced at the hour hand on the Omega watch. Then he lit a cigarette. He was so indifferent and graceful, and slowly came to the Ku family manor opposite. At this time, the front door of Kiss Manor was more solemn than ever. Dozens of professional bodyguards in black suits guarded the surroundings, and each bodyguard's gaze was extremely solemn. Chen Zong went straight into the Kiss Hall. At the dinner table, the Ku family were all sitting around. Breakfast is still hearty. However, the atmosphere is extremely quiet. Xiao Chen. Kui Hui Hai wanted to say something, but he didn't know what to say. Today, there will be blood. The lifeblood of the Ku family will also be dot 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 completely changed today. Is it life or death? A glass of red wine. Thank you. Chen Zonging sat calmly at the table and snapped his fingers to the nanny and waiter. He was as usual a glass of red wine and a fillet steak, indifferent, refined. Enjoy breakfast quietly. Ku Yiren sat next to her with a complicated face, and there was a steak in front of her, but she didn't want to eat at all. At this moment, her mind was entirely on Mr. Chen. She hopes to get a point from Mr. Chen. Today's difficulties? How should we face it? But Chen Zonging seemed to be an outsider. Cut off a steak and put it in your mouth to chew. Then, Take a sip of red wine. Q's family, including the little witch Kush Wang Xia, looked at him with incomparably complicated eyes. Why is this man so indifferent? At the moment of life and death, he actually still wants to eat. Xia Bei Ailian, do you know that the Huang family is looking for you today? Kush Wang reminded with her beautiful eyes blinking. Today, her freedom of life is also restricted. My father forced her to ask for leave today and not go to school, because the situation is surging outside, and the crisis is everywhere. Kui Hui Hai really didn't want to have another accident. Yeah, remember. Chen Zong took a sip of the red wine, and then faintly returned the words. Are you really not afraid of death? Ku Wang Xia couldn't hide it and asked cautiously. The air in the villa calmed down instantly. This answer is also the answer that Kiss family of four want to know. Chen Zonging, what methods does he have to handle? How would he deal with the killing of the Huang family? Fear? After all, he replied a word. I'm afraid that I will start with too heavy a hand and cause too many casualties. I accidentally destroyed the Huang family. Chen Zong picked up a napkin, gently wiped the corners of his mouth and said slowly, the air became stunned, surprised, dot 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 unbelievable. This man, at this moment, can he say such things? This is, really confident, or is it a fantasy, even, is he dot 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 too ignorant and naive? Xiao Chen, how confident are you? Kui Hui Hai couldn't help it anymore. He didn't want to hear such unscrupulous bragging about what he wanted. A reasonable and accurate answer. How many percent? Chen Zonging's gaze was slightly taken aback. Then he stood up gently. Flick your fingers. His fingers tapped lightly in front of the marble dining table. Then, turned around and walked outside the hall door. After breakfast, 
he should also go out, just as the leather shoes under Chen Zong's feet had just stepped out of the door. Behind him came Kuei, one cry, that marble dining table cracked instantly and turned into a piece of stone slag, Kuei stared at the shattered marble dining table in front of him in the sky full of stone chips and dust. His complexion was dull, Kuyiran also had a pretty face dumbfounded and shocked, Kushwangxia was completely frightened by this scene, the marble dining table is extremely hard and shattered at the fingertips, chapter 82 coming like a dragon at this time, Chen Zonging's expression was calm, and he had already stepped out of the villa's door, with a cigarette in his mouth, he slowly came to the garage to the side. The garage of the Ku's manor is very large, dozens of sky-high luxury cars are parked in the huge garage. He glanced leisurely across the garage, then, his gaze stopped on a slender white sports car, Aston Martin, model, DBS, supercar. A trace of satisfaction flashed in Chen Zong's eyes. He was smoking a cigarette and walked straight to the white Aston Martin sports car. Then he pulled the car door directly and got into the sports car, boom, with a grumpy engine start. The British super sports car slowly drove out of the garage. Hey, stop, this is my car. An angry shadow rushed out of the villa. The little witch Kushwang rushed over, her pretty face very angry. This, but the car she just bought. The landing price of 4 million yuan. I am not willing to open it yet, Chen Zonging was too lazy to pay attention to her, sitting in the cab with a calm and indifferent expression, Father Kui Hui Hai screamed and stared back at Ku Shuang, he slowly stepped forward, his eyes deep and solemn, and asked, Xiao Chen, do you have any plans? No plan, Chen Zonging replied slowly with a calm gaze, this is also the truth, dealing with ants is just a matter of fingertips, why do we need to plan, I'll go with you, Ku Yiren stepped on high heels with a serious face, the situation today is difficult to control, regardless, as the president, she must appear in person, no, you, Stay at home with your father. Chen Zong refused her in one fell swoop. I'll go alone. That's enough. Yes, the group sighed. Needs me to come forward, Ku Yiren said solemnly. I'm not going to the kiss group. Chen Zonging slowly let out a puff of smoke, his eyes calm. Then, where are you going? Ku Yiren looked at him with some doubts. Ku Huihai was puzzled and stared at Xiao Chen closely. Chen Zonging sat in the car and fastened his seatbelt. Then he turned his head, and the corners of his mouth curled up, Huang dot 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 home dot. At nine o'clock in the morning, Q's building, during the morning rush hour, colleagues are coming to report one after another. At the entrance of Xiamen, the security guards stood guard on duty, and the atmosphere was quiet. At this moment, suddenly in the distance, there was a sound of black crushing wheels. Then, at the end of the line of sight, one after another large trucks came slowly from the end. The convoy was like a dragon, and the roar of buzzing trucks dot 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 the ground was shaking. Every big truck is full of people. Dozens of trucks came like a long dragon. Wherever he went, everyone, all forced to retreat. At the entrance of the Kiss building, the colleagues looked shocked and astonished. Looking at this scene in disbelief, the dozens of security guards at the door dot 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 have been trembling with fright, their faces pale. At this moment, only the little security guard Xi Ming, barely able to support his body, he clenched his fists and stared at the convoy that swept like a dragon. A whole number of ten rows of large trucks have blocked the entire Kiss mansion from being encircled and suppressed. Feng, the conductor shouted sharply, Wow! On dozens of trucks, a crowd of people rushed out of the car in an instant. The crowd is like a tide, and the murderous intent is shaking the sky. The scene before him can hardly be described as shock. Looking around, there is a huge black wall of people. Countless crowds slowly form a huge blockade. The entire Kiss mansion was completely surrounded by a sea of people, blockade, embarrassed on all sides. The entire building, including all the employees and colleagues in the building, are all sealed in it, killing the sky. An extended Lincoln sedan with Shanghai A66666 drew in slowly from the rear, 
The car stopped and his men opened the door respectfully. Huang Zengming held a long knife and got out of the car slowly, in the hand, the sun and the moon of the long sword, in the early morning sun, exudes a ferocious cold light. The sun and the moon are the first names, and the killing is the last name. This knife slayed countless heroes in the south of the Yangtze River, drank all the blood, and had a powerful edge. Huang Zengming held a long knife, step by step walked towards the kiss mansion, the sea of people before him gave way, clank, the blade of the sun moon knife in his hand was gently dragged to the ground, and the sharp tip of the blade rubbed a deep groove on the ground, the sound of metal rubbing against the ground seemed to shock the hearts and souls of everyone present, step by step, he slowly walked to the front of Kiss Mansion. Glang. The long knife pierced the ground. The ground under my feet instantly cracked. The killing intent is pervasive. Huang Zengming's eyes were calm, still unchanged. He slowly scanned the Ku family mansion, and then calmly said, Let Chen Zong Hang come out. The whole scene was quiet. The colleagues of the Ku group were trembling. Dot, 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 everyone felt unprecedentedly horrified. Coming. The Huang family, here comes, for the three-day appointment. The Huang family patriarch, come here in person. Let, Chen Zonging come out. Huang Zengming's eyes were calm and he spoke again. There was dead silence at the scene, and no one dared to step forward to answer. Everyone was trembling, and their hearts trembled. Huang Zengming's complexion couldn't see the joy, anger, sorrow and joy. He held his hands behind his back and his eyes were calm. The third time he said, let, Chen Zonging come out. The air at the scene cools down instantly. Along Huang Zengming's body, there seemed to be an invisible killer dragon, circling and winding. Murderous intent spread, and the air was cold. At the entrance of Daxiaman, those colleagues shivered and frightened. A few female colleagues couldn't even bear such a terrifying murderous intent, and their legs were unsteady in panic, and their bodies were limp. Today, it is simply dot 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 the great calamity of the Ku group. The black crowded a sea of people to form a blockade, enclosing the Kiss mansion in the center, like a trapped dragon. At this moment, the little security guard Xi Ming clenched his fists, suppressing the panic in his heart and bit the bullet and stepped forward. Mr. Chen, he didn't come to the company today. If you have anything, you can leave a message and I will convey it for you. Xi Ming's voice is solemn and respectful, with respect to the head of the Huang family. However, Huang Zengming's eyes narrowed slightly. An ant security guard, when will he be qualified to talk to him? He lifted his leg sharply and kicked. Puff. Xi Ming was kicked and flew out like a lightning strike. He spit out a mouthful of blood in the air and was directly blasted out dozens of meters away. Huang Zengming still stood there calmly. His eyes could not see happiness and anger, as calm as water. He slowly raised his hand. Suddenly, a team of people respectfully stepped forward. Huang Zengming flipped it gently with one hand, and a structural drawing of the Kiss Mansion appeared in his hand. Go, find the research room, get what I want, Huang Zengming said slowly with a faint gaze. The leader of the pair nodded respectfully, and then carefully took over the building drawings. Go, the leader shouted, holding the drawing of the building, and walking straight into the building. Behind him, Dozens of sword-wielding members looked solemn and followed them. At the entrance of Daxiaman, all the colleagues present were horrified and gave way. Dot, 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 no one dared to stop it. Huang Zengming stood in front of the building with his hands behind his back and his eyes faintly. He just waited quietly for news. Behind him, crowded with black people, surrounded like a tide. Today, the Ku group is bound to die. Dot. At the same time, it was tens of kilometers away. The ancient house of the Huang family, a violent engine roar came from a distance. A slender white sports car is coming like a tram. Crunch. The sports car drifted rapidly and stopped gorgeously in front of the Huang's courtyard. The door of the Aston Martin sports car opened, and a shiny black leather shoe slowly stepped out. Chen Zonging was dressed in a straight suit. So he stepped out of the car. He looked calm and indifferent, took out a cigarette, 
and lit it. He raised his head and glanced at the ancient house of the Huang family in front of him. There was a flash of arc in his eyes, with a cigarette in his mouth. He walked slowly towards the door of Huang's house with his shiny leather shoes. Chapter 83 Do you want to stop me? Chen Zong, dressed in a straight suit, and walking on leather shoes, slowly came to the door of the ancient house of the Huang family. He slowly stretched out his hand and knocked on the century old mahogany door of the Huang family. Boom, boom, boom. Three knocks echoed in the air. A few minutes later, the door of Huang's house was still closed. No one paid any attention to the knock on the door, and no one came to open the door. No response? Chen Zonging slowly let out a puff of smoke, and he took a step backwards. Then, slowly raised his left shoe. Boom! There was a loud noise. The entire wooden door of the ancient house of the Huang family was directly blown away violently. Chen Zonging's left leg was standing straight in the air like a stone sculpture, kick off the door of Huang's house with one kick. In the endless dust, Chen Zong slowly retracted his long legs. Then, with a cigarette in his mouth, calmly stepped into the door of Huang's house. Inside the ancient house, all the Huang family's children looked shocked and stunned, and they all rushed out after hearing the sound. However, when I saw the scene at the gate... Dot dot dot, all the members of the Huang family were shocked, and then furious. The ancient mansion of his Huang family, this huge mahogany gate with a history of 100 years, was dot 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 was blown away! Exclamation mark. Looking at the Shanghai and the sea, the whole Jiangnan, who, dare to be bold, dare to dot 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 kick the door of his Huang family, this is simply the crime of 10,000 deaths. At this time, all the members of the Huang family were furious staring at the young man in a straight suit, exclamation mark. Presumptuous, who? Dare to destroy the door of my Huang family? Report your name. The members of the Huang family were furious, this was provoking his Huang family's century sold power. This is simply looking for death. Chen Zonging was dressed in a straight suit and reached out to wipe the dust off his clothes. Then, slowly raised his head, me? Chen Zonging, boom. As soon as this remark came out, it was like a thunderbolt. The shock caused all the members of the Huang family present to tremble suddenly. Chen, Chen, aspect, exclamation mark. At this moment, in the courtyard of the ancient house, all members of the Yellow Clan, one of them counted as one, and everyone's heart. All trembled severely. Everyone's expressions were shocked and they looked at the young man in a neat suit at the door. As if there was a feeling of dizziness. How can they know the name Chen Zonging? Patriarch's blood letter, a three-day appointment. Today, it is Chen Zong's death limit. The owner of the family gathered countless people and went to the Ku Clan group today, vowing to remove the head of Chen Zonging. But, but, no one thought of it. At this moment, this Chen Zong dot 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 he, he actually, broke into the ancient house of the Huang family, exclamation mark. So bold, so unscrupulous. The ancient house of the Huang family has been inherited for a hundred years. In the past hundred years, who dare to be so ignorant and run into the Huang family? This Chen Zong is simply dot 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 the first person in a hundred years. Chen Zonging just stood there, slowly exhaling a puff of smoke. The three-day appointment has come. I will dot 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 take the head of your second son, Huang Hongyui. His eyes are calm and his voice is faint. He has a neat suit and a stalwart figure from his back. It seems that there is endless aura, soaring up into the sky. Everyone in the Huang family was present. Their complexions were shocked, and Petrochemical was shocked. This person is so bold. This person simply doesn't take his Huang family's century old clan in his eyes. Looking forward to a hundred years, has the Huang family ever been so humiliated? You wanna die. The Huang family members are furious. A group of tribesmen looked savage, and instantly surrounded Chen Zonging. There is a sea of people, and there is no flow of water. Today, Chen Zonging must die. In the center of countless people, Chen Zonging still stood the calmly, he took a deep breath of cigarette. His eyes faint. Let Huang Hongyui come out by himself. I will. Leave him a whole body. Otherwise, 
behead his head. His voice was calm, but every word seemed like a sharp sword out of its sheath. From that day, the moment Huang Hongyui installed C4 explosives under the Mercedes-Benz car, he was already a dying person. It's just that Huang Hongyui's fate was big that day, and he didn't die. But today, the of death came to the door in person and came to kill him. There is no one in this world who wants to kill. Chen Zonging, you are looking for your own death. The anger of the Huang family was violent. For the first time in a hundred years, someone dared to be alone and broke into the Huang's house. Not only did he blast off the ancient gate of the Huang family, but even dared to threaten publicly that he would kill the second son of the Huang family in the Huang family gate. This kind of unscrupulous. Really, don't you put his Huang family in his eyes? Really, when his Huang family's knife rusted? Exclamation mark. Swish. Around, groups of members of the Huang family kept surging out. The family of the Huang family has been famous for a hundred years. How could it be that the ants in Rongyai district insulted him? One after another, the sea of people gathers into a turbulent wall of people along Chen Zonging's body. It continued to spread and surrounded. As far as he could see his eyes, there was a black sea of people. The crowd was like a tide, and wherever it swept, at all focal points, Chen Zonging was the only one. Hundreds and thousands, just for siege. Chen Zonging, you guys, do you want to stop me? Chen Zonging's gaze was faint, and the corners of his mouth raised a radian. One person, alone facing the infinite sea of people. He actually laughed. Zheng Zheng Zing. The black squeezed a sea of people, and drew his swords out of their sheaths together. The sword is as light as the sea, and murderous inclination surges. Chen Zong took a deep breath of the cigarette ring, then raised his left hand and glanced at the Omega watch on his wrist. Time, exactly nine o'clock in the morning. He slowly raised his head and squeezed out the cigarette but let's get started. He was calm and indifferent, glanced at the crowd, and only uttered these three words. Wow! There was a crowd of people all around, swarming up. Call out. Chen Zonging's cigarette flicked. The cigarette burst out, fiercely shot into the mouth of a member of the Huang family. That member of the Huang family was struck by lightning and his body flew out suddenly. A row of people flew into the air one after another. Whoosh! Chen Zong stepped forward, his body flashed and turned into a remnant shadow. How fast is this speed? Even the pupils of human eyes cannot capture their movements. Boom! A palm blasted out. In front of him, countless people howled miserably, collapsed and disintegrated instantly like a flood bursting a bank. Countless figures were blasted out. Inside that huge ancient house of the Huang family, figures flew across and blood spattered. Chen Zonging walked leisurely in the crowd. Wherever he went, there was a miserable cry. In front of him, a crowd of people waved long knives and surged up. His body flashed, and a single palm suddenly pierced out of the void. Boom! Countless long knives broke. The sea of people in front of him was like bursting a bank and instantly blasted away. There was a piece of blood under his feet. The torso is on the ground. He walks quietly, like of death. The figure in front of him is like a sea, swept like a wave. However, when I met him, it was like a mountain collapsed and collapsed in all directions. In the endless howls, he step by step, walked towards the ancient house of the Huang family, the inner hall. He is of death, whoever wants to kill, no one dot 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 can stop him dot. At the same time, the depths of the ancient house of the Huang family, the second son, Huang Hongyui, was lying on the bed of sandalwood incense, with an opium cigar hanging in his mouth, faintly vomiting fog. He is injured and inconvenient to get out of bed. So he stayed in bed and waited for the news that his father would return home in triumph with Chen Zong's head. At this time, the son of Huang Hongyui, obviously. Didn't know what happened outside the Huang family, because of the Huang family's ancient house. 
the area, is too large. The distance between the door of the house and the bedroom of the inner house is hundreds of meters apart. With such a large and splendid house area, the transmission of news is very slow. It wasn't until the miserable howls of turmoil gradually spread into the inner courtyard that Huang Hong Yui was faintly aware of it. He got up from the bed in surprise, and shouted to the door, Come here, what happened outside? Why is it so noisy? Soon, a subordinate rushed into the room. Second young master dot 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 outside the door, outside the door, kneeled down with his hands on the ground, his voice was stuttering and he didn't know how to speak. What's wrong outside the door? Talk. Huang Hong Yui violently threw the cigar on the face of his hands and said angrily, outside the door, then Chen Zong dot 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 killed the door, his men were horrified, and finally spit out these words in amazement, boom, at this moment, Huang Hong Yui who heard the news was first sluggish and petrified, and then dot 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 the whole person was struck by lightning, his body was shocked, his steps were a little unsteady, and he stepped back several steps in succession, Chen, Chen dot 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 Chen Zong dot 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 the boyfriend, actually, killed his Huang family's ancient house, question mark. At this moment, Huang Hong Yui's mind dot 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 suddenly came out of Chen Zong's reply three days later, take the second son, Huang Hong Yui's head, apostrophe. Today, the period of three days, Chen Zong's servant, Really dot 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 coming. Chapter 84 As one person the ancient house of the Huang family, deep in the inner courtyard. The crowd is like a tide, the black crowd swept across, and the huge ancient house of thousands of square meters was blocked by the enclosed water. However, in the endless crowd of people, Chen Zonging is dressed in a suit and straight. His eyes are elegant and indifferent, like a gentleman dancer step by step dot 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 walking towards the inner courtyard, a member of the Huang family was fierce and frantic, holding a machete surging forward, but before he got close, he was blown out by Chen Zong, and his body hit a large group of people one after another, there was a miserable cry at the scene, Chen Zong took back his leather shoes slowly, his leather shoes were still shiny and brand new without any blood stains on them, but the ground under his leather shoes was already covered with dot 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 red blood. He has a neat suit and neat tie. He is elegant and indifferent. His eyes are faint. As one person, facing a sea of hundreds of thousands of people, the sea of people in front of him is swept like a tide, and the swords and lights behind him are intertwined like a sea. Under his pupils, there is an endless sea of people, like ants. Hundreds of thousands of people could not stop him the leather shoes under his feet, step by step, stepped forward, howling miserably everywhere, stumped body everywhere, Chen. Aspect. At this moment, a vigorous and angry shout came from the crowd ahead. I saw an old man wearing a brown martial arts uniform and holding a long knife, standing in front of him like a stone sculpture. The blade light is like cold, showing murderous intent. The old butler of the Huang family, Huang Zong. Huang Zong was in front of him, and a sea of people gathered beside him. Forcibly, it blocked Chen Zonging's path forward. The long knife was hanging in the air. His eyes looked like a tiger. Huang Zong, this beast entrenched in the Huang family, today. Completely out of its body. Chen Zonging paused in his leather shoes and stopped. He raised his head, looking faintly at Huang Zong on the opposite side. The two were separated by no more than tens of meters. I haven't seen you in three days, how good is your complexion? Chen Zonging asked faintly and slowly. He pointed out that it was the foot that was stepped on by himself three days ago. That day, he pulled Huang Zong off his horse and stepped on him. Now that three days have passed, I wonder if Huang Zong's internal injuries can be cured. Hearing this, Huang Zong's expression suddenly condensed. Killing appeared. Dead. He shouted violently. The sound just came out. The body has arrived. Huang Zong's body swept across like lightning. The long knife pierced the void, passed a cold light, tearing the air to come. Glang. The long knife trembled, and then, hovering in front of Chen Zong's eyebrows, the blade is no more than a millimeter from the center of his eyebrows. Chen Zong's were like pliers 
and he clamped the sharp long knife in his hands. His eyes were indifferent, and there was no waves in his body. Scratch it. He slowly raised his head, looking at Huang Zong with a faint gaze. Kang Dang. Chen Zong inflict is lightly. Huang Zong's long knife is broken every bit. Huang Zong's complexion changed suddenly. He slammed the knife back, and the broken knife surged wildly and it struck again. Murderous tremor. I don't know how to live or die. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm. His right hand was suddenly raised, and his fists were condensed in the palm of his hand. A punch, blasted out. That is an after image. His fist turned into a vacant shadow in the air. That speed is too fast so fast that the naked eye of the human body can't catch it, so fast that even the speed of sound was surpassed, hit with a punch, the air solidified in an instant, shaking and fluctuating, puff, Huang Zong vomited blood, the whole person was directly blown out by a huge force, boom, Huang Zong's body slammed against a wall behind him, and the whole wall instantly cracked and collapsed, Huang Zong fell down in the ruins, vomiting blood, and he was miserable. He trembled and tried to struggle to stand up, but before he could stand still, he spit out violently, mixed with internal organ fragments. Huang Zong, the hero of the rivers and lakes that has been rampant for a century, his body fell severely in a pool of blood. His chest collapsed. A huge fist mark appeared on the chest. Blood was permeated, endlessly hideous. With a punch, he collapsed his chest and shattered the internal organs. Once upon a time, he also traveled across the rivers and lakes, north and south. Today, he was hit hard by a fiasco. Chen Zonging looked faintly, and slowly brushed off the dust from his suit and uniform, and then continued to move forward. One person walked forward, and dozens of hundreds of people flew across, facing the Senshirai old Huang family. Facing the turbulent Huang family ancient house, he is like entering the land of no one. Dot. At the same time, the inner courtyard of the yellow house, Huang Hongyui in the bedroom was fidgeting. Outside the door, the enemy, Chen Zong, was rushing into the inner courtyard step by step. How can Huang Hongyui be stable? At this time, he was sitting on pins and needles. The enemy sought the door and the father dot 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 but went out again with a large group of people. This, it's, it's a sword hanging in the head. Huang Hong Yui couldn't imagine. Then Chen Zonging would be bold enough to do so. How dare, alone, trespass into his Huang family's century old mansion. But at this time, the reality is naked. That guy, step by step, broke into the inner courtyard, outside the door. You can hear the surging killing shouts and the sound of silhouettes flying not far downstairs. Close at hand, the century old majesty of the Huang family seemed to be shattered in front of that person. A century old mansion, alone, swept across. The so called tough, the so called invincible, the majesty of the giant is all broken. Huang Hong Yui's brain was blank. In shock and fear, he rushed to the safe, unlocked it anxiously and opened the safe, a long, dark and cold barrel was lying quietly in the safe, Thompson M1928, submachine gun, standard old American dress system, ruthless goods, China is a country where guns are banned, strictly control firearms and weapons, on weekdays, even a small pistol can be sentenced to 10 years in prison, however, the handle in Huang Hong Yui's safe was, a submachine gun. This kind of terrifying ruthless goods is simply a murder weapon in China. One firearm can slaughter hundreds of thousands of blood. Although it is an old model that was eliminated by the United States decades ago, it is still a submachine gun. The moment you press the trigger, you can fire dozens of hundreds of bullets and gunpowder in an instant. This power is enough to slaughter everything. A submachine gun is enough to be sentenced by China judicial crime of illegally possessing heavy dangerous arms. According to the degree of weapon lethality, the crime, at least indefinitely, even, the death penalty. However, Huang Hong Yui has no fear at all. His Huang family is in this Jiangnan surpassing all laws. He yanked the gun out of the safe, loaded it, and loaded it. Under his haste, 
he is still adept. It can be seen that he has used this terrible heat weapon many times in his daily life. And, on a certain occasion, a large scale, unscrupulous massacre was carried out. In just two minutes, he assembled the submachine gun ammunition. Huang Hong Yui looked grim and cold, he was holding a submachine gun in both hands, and his pupils suddenly appeared, and he rushed out of the room. Since then, Chen Zong personally came to the door to find death. Then today, let that servant be completely a pool of mud and blood. No matter how strong the Kung Fu is, so what? Single-handedly, can he really sweep everything? In the face of powerful and terrifying hot weapons and weapons, human beings, after all, are just a targeted gun. Those who dare to offend him Huang Hong Yui will never die. Chapter 85 I came from Hell Huang's house the inner courtyard of the house. Chen Zonging has a leisurely look and a straight suit. Wherever the leather shoes stepped on, the figure flew like a mountain torrent bursting a bank. Strings of blood intertwined in midair, forming an unusually weird and gorgeous movement. Chen Zonging's figure shuttled among the black and overwhelming sea of people. The posture of a single person, swept the entire sea of people like a ruin. Behind him, wherever he went, only the howls and the remains were left everywhere. This kind of momentum is too majestic. It was too shocking. He is like a dancer, raising his hand, killing, blood flying. However, no blood stains were left around his body. The suit is still pretty clean, and the leather shoes under his feet are still as bright as ever. It was just the sole of the shoe, but it was stained with many blood stains. He is an artist, an artist who is obsessed with the art of murder. Every action is like art, gentleman and refined. Raising his hand and flicking his fingers, the figure flew across, blood running through, step by step, like entering the land of no one. In the end, his leather shoes slowly stepped into the step gate of the back house of Huang's house, and ahead, the endless sea of people has collapsed in horror, although a large crowd of people is still blocking, everyone is dot 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 horrified and trembling, many people even bite the bullet and stand there because of fear, some people have even had a nervous breakdown, their bodies trembling, and they fall back, this man is really terrible, the posture of one person swept hundreds of thousands of people. This is not human at all. It is simply a devil. Standing in front of the steps of the deep house, Chen Zonging looked elegant, took a cigarette from his pocket, and slowly lit it. Here, it is the bottom of the Huang family residence. It is also the last place of Huang's line of defense. One step further, the entire Huang family's coastal defense line collapsed. He glanced around leisurely and he seemed dot 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 with a hint of appreciation for the luxurious decoration of the Huang family's inner courtyard. The pavilions are carved with dragons and wind. The entire house is like a harem in the forbidden city of the Qing dynasty. Indeed, it is a good place, worthy of being a century old giant. Chen Zonging took a deep breath, raised his head, and continued to walk. Ahead, the crowd of people almost collapsed. Everyone has scalp numb, and there is a feeling of courage being hollowed out. The person in front of him is going forward. They can't stop it at all. The ground was already full of bodies, one body after another, howling miserably. The deaths and injuries were hard to distinguish. In front of him, there was a huge crowd of people, and his legs were soft, and it turned out to be dot 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 regressive. How can we stop this? Basically, it's the praying man's arm to block the car. With a cigarette in his mouth, Chen Zong stepped forward step by step. Chen Zong. At this moment, a violent roar suddenly came from the attic ahead. A black submachine gun was slammed on the guardrail of the attic. Huang Hong Yui's face was savage. He was carrying a submachine gun in both hands, and his eyes were bloodred staring at the figure in the suit below. Oh, you finally showed up. Chen Zonging below slowly raised his head. However, I came in, and you didn't take the initiative to show up, so I'm sorry. I can't keep your whole body. His voice was calm. His eyes were calm, and there was no mood swing in his eyes. At this time, above the attic, Huang Hong Yui's fierce submachine gun barrel was already locked and aimed at Chen Zong. A dot 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 you still want to kill me? Today, 
I will let you see who killed whom, Huang Hongyui's face is hideous. His whole person is like a crazy beast. He slammed the trigger of the submachine gun. D A D A D A D A. Countless bullets burst out of the dark gun chamber instantly, piercing the air. And shooting frantically towards Chen Zong below, Huang Hong Yui was savagely crazy, with a terrible grin at the corner of his mouth. At this time, he was completely mad. He even, regardless of the lives of countless members of the Huang family below, fired frantically at the area below. Dot, 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 no difference. Below, Chen Zongying's gaze was faint, and a silver ferocious dagger appeared in his right hand. Weapon, Devil May Cry, now. In the blink of an eye, the bullets of the submachine gun swept through like a torrential rain. Indiscriminate attack. Puff puff. The bullet, like a rain of meteors, instantly penetrated the body of a crowd of people around him crazily. Blood spattered and howled miserably. Indiscriminate attack. Wherever the bullet passes, blood is slaughtered. Submachine guns, this kind of large scale terrorist munitions, do not have any aiming points at all. Aiming at a target area and shooting frantically is its purpose. This is a weapon of mass killing. At this moment, Huang Hong Yui completely slammed his eyes. In order to kill Chen Zonging, he did not hesitate to massacre all the members of the Huang family who were protecting him. As long as Chen Zong can die, what about killing some members of the Huang family? Those members of the Huang family who died were deemed to have contributed to the family. After the endless bullet rain swept through, a cloud of smoke and dust filled the bottom. Bloody, miserable howling, bones everywhere. But, when the dust is gone, among the corpses over there, a figure was standing there peacefully. He stands tall and majestic. He has a vertical and horizontal figure. Stand alone, holding devil may cry. Behind him, there seemed to be endless evil spirits surging, just about to get out of the cage. Chen Zong stretched out his hand slowly and wiped the dust off the black suit. Then, he slowly raised his head, looking through the endless dust and smoke looking at Huang Hong Yui on the second floor of the attic. It's a pity, your gun can't hurt me. His voice was faint, and his eyes were calm. Boom. Above the attic, Huang Hong Yui's body trembled suddenly. His pupils widened, and he stared at the figure below. How can that be? One person, under the terrible heavy submachine gun shooting, can still be intact, not to mention the casualties, even his suits and shirts did not have the slightest scratches or scratches, is he a demon, you dot 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 who are you, where did you come from, exclamation mark, Huang Hong Yui was completely shocked at this time, his pupils widened, staring at the voice of the black suit below, and roared, me, my last name is Chen and my name is Zonging, Chen Zonging looked faintly, raised his leather shoes, step by step, slowly stepping forward, I, come from hell, boom, as soon as he said this, Huang Hong Yui's heart trembled violently again, his pupils trembled with horror, it was, as if it was a depression and panic that originated from the depths of the soul, pretend to be a ghost, a dot 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 give me to die, Huang Hong Yui looked completely violent and furious, carrying a submachine gun, carrying a submachine gun, and the hot and smoking gun bore sharply at Chen Zonging, and once again raged and struck. D -A -D -A -D -A -D -A -D -A. The violent bullet pierced through the gun and shook and shook in the air. The rain of bullets and fire all over the sky, intertwined into an endless killing intent, headed towards Chen Zonging overwhelmingly, killing violently. Below, Chen Zonging's figure still stood calmly, and the corners of his mouth raised an arc, Zheng, in his right hand, the silver dagger whirled lightly in an instant, devil may cry, out, devil may cry quickly passed by, turning into a silver after image, the speed is too fast, and the air is torn apart, in front of him, the tracks of countless flaming bullets seemed to have been caught in advance by him, dang dang, devil may cry swiftly waved like a lonely slaughter dancer, countless bullets in front of him were all smashed to the ground, in the smoke of gunpowder, his figure stood tall, like a slaying messenger from hell, he lifted his leather shoes and lightly stepped on his feet, whoosh, Chen Zonging's figure soared into the sky like lightning, 
passing a vacant shadow in midair, in the next instant, he appeared in front of Huang Hong Yui. Chapter 86 People, you have self-knowledge Huang Hong Yui was panicked and retreated with a submachine gun. D-A-D-A-D-A-D-A. The tongue of terror swept through and shot Chen Zonging in front of him at close range. But Chen Zonging's speed was faster. Before the bullet was close, he had disappeared before his eyes. In the blink of an eye, his figure appeared behind Huang Hong Yui. The white and elegant hand slowly touched Huang Hong Yui's neck. He just grabbed Huang Hong Yui's neck and lifted his whole person up. Huang Hong Yui's pupils widened, trembling in panic. At this moment, his neck seemed to be choked off. With horror and trembling, he aimed the submachine gun in his hand at Chen Zong. Puff. But before he could shoot, his entire arm was cut off by a silver light. The broken arm holding the submachine gun fell heavily to the ground, and blood splashed out of the broken arm arm. Ah. Huang Hong Yui howled savagely, it was a heartbreaking pain. Young Master Huang, why do you have to resist if you know you are going to die? It's a man who knows himself. Chen Zong held Huang Hong Yui in his hand, and stood on the second floor of the attic, his eyes faint, like death descending. Under the attic, there were countless black people, all the members of the Huang family looked up in shock. They looked at the scene on the second floor. Second son, that's it. Was caught, was that man. Cut off an arm. They surrounded and blocked the sea of hundreds of thousands of people. They were all unable to stop him. Looking at the second floor of the attic, the figure with a straight suit. The hearts of everyone present were shaking. This figure, like a demon trembled everyone. In the ruins of the collapsed wall dozens of meters away, Huang Zong's body trembled, and he got up from the pool of blood tremblingly. He held back his last breath and trembled. Quick! Informed the Lord quickly. Dot. At the same time, dozens of kilometers away, Q's building. The entire building was surrounded by a crowd of black and depressed people, depressed and shaking the sky. Today, the Kus mansion is a catastrophe. All colleagues who worked in the building were blocked and sealed in the building, and they were not allowed to enter or leave at all. Everyone feels desperate. Today, everyone has to finish. Countless people try to make a call, dialing 110 for the police. However, everyone found that the signal of the entire building was blocked. No communication equipment can be dialed out. And, even if you dial out, what can you do? Outside the building, an endless crowd of people surrounded. With such a situation, I am afraid. Even the Shanghai High and Public Bureau can't face it directly. There is a sea of people, and the killing is monstrous. I am afraid that the garrison troops will have to be mobilized to deal with these battles. The situation has risen to an extremely serious level. The colleagues in the building were trembling with horror and many timid girls even sobbed out of fear. In the face of the power of absolute terror, their lives are so small. The Huang family can wipe it out with a flick of his fingers. The Huang family's move will surely slaughter the blood. At this moment, outside the door of the mansion, in front of a crowd of black people, Huang Zengming stood calmly on the spot with his hands on his back. In his eyes, there was no aura fluctuation like a quiet ancient well. Gijing Wubo is the most terrifying. He was quietly waiting for the people to come out. It has been half an hour since his subordinates broke into the building with the drawings of the Kus mansion. I believe that the research room should have also been found. And what I want, today, I will get it. Thinking of this, a hint of depth flashed in Huang Zengming's eyes. Get the item? Blood in the stool. When he killed the entire Ku clan mansion, he didn't believe that Ku Yiren and Chen Zonging would not show up. Huang Zengming's eyes narrowed slightly, and a sharp murderous intent flashed in his eyes. Chen Zonging, Ku Yi, will undoubtedly die. Jingle bell. At this moment, in the quiet air, a rapid cell phone ringing rang. Dingling bell, dingling bell. One of his subordinates walked solemnly in front of the owner, Huang Zengming, holding his mobile phone. Master call. Huang Zengming held his back with his hands behind his back, staring at the building in front of him, not putting the phone in his eyes at all. Dingling bell, jingling bell. The bell continued to ring, 
Very quickly, he was holding a mobile phone and didn't know what to do. Who is calling? Huang Zengming, who was quiet for a long time, suddenly asked slowly, It's the call from the loyal steward. The subordinate said solemnly, Okay. Huang Zong called. At this moment, in Huang Zengming's eyes, there was a faint thought flashing through. Although it was only a flash, he still had his eyelids twitched. Huang Zengming turned around suddenly took the phone, and answered the call, Master. Then Chen Zong broke into my Huang family's ancient house. The second young master was held hostage. Huang Zong's voice trembling and frightened came from the phone. Boom. At this moment, Huang Zengming trembled suddenly as if struck by lightning. You said dot 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 what? His expression was sullen in an instant, all the previous wind was clear and the clouds were pale. All the calmness was deep dot 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 in an instant disappeared and turned into a terrible hostility. At this moment, Huang Zengming's entire brain is a blank shock. He would never think of it. Then Chen Zong, how dear, single-handedly broke into his Huang family's century old mansion! Exclamation mark. The Huang family has been arrogant for a century rivaling the world. His Huang family's ancient mansion guarded countless elites from the Huang family. Then Chen Zong, how dare to break into it! Exclamation mark. What made him tremble even more was that not only did he break in, but he even hijacked Hong Yui! Exclamation mark. Are the thousands of members stationed in the Huang family eating shit? Exclamation mark. How can one person break through the blockade of hundreds of thousands of members? How is this possible? Exclamation mark. Prepare a car, prepare a car for me. Huang Zengming was in a frenzy at this moment. Everyone, withdraw, get back to the family. Huang Zengming roared furiously. His body flashed, and he rushed into the extended Lincoln sedan. Throughout the scene, there was a crowd of black people, countless members of the Huang family. All looked at each other, everyone. All of them could not react. This is, what happened? What's going on? Didn't you mean dot 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 today you want to slaughter Chen Zonging? Master, what is this? Why did he withdraw again? Could it be that something went wrong at the ancient house? SHHH dot 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 don't say anything dot 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 it seems like dot 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 someone broke into our ancient house in the Huang family. What? Who is bold enough to break into my Huang family's ancient house? In the crowded crowd, all the members of the Huang family are shocked by inexplicable guesses. At the same time, the Lincoln stretch sedan was already carrying Huang Zengming and hurried away. Everyone get in the car, speed up the Hui people. A high level leader of the Huang family shouted. In the crowded crowd, everyone quickly climbed onto the truck. Although, I don't know what happened. However, all the members of the Huang family felt a little serious. Inside the clan, something must have happened. A whole number of ten trucks, carrying groups of people, evacuated quickly. Such scenes are shocking, and even more confusing. Inside the KISS building, all the colleagues were in shock and looked at the evacuating trucks in disbelief. A moment ago, the crowded crowd was still murderous. But the next moment, the crowded crowd all retreated urgently. As if something major had happened? What's going on here? Chapter 87 3 Incense for you at the same time, Huang Zengming hurriedly evacuated Kiss Mansion, carrying a crowd of black people. A blood-stained member of the Huang family ran out of the building in horror and trembling. He was the leader of the member who had previously held the drawing and was sent to investigate the Kiss Building Research Institute. At this time, he was stained with blood and stumbled out of the building. Behind him, the members who had just followed up were all gone. He glanced around in horror, then tremblingly dialed the owner's phone. Dot. On the streets of Hu Hai, the extended Lincoln sedan is speeding on the streets. Huang Zengming's face was dignified and hideous, sitting in the car, both fists were tightly clenched, tingling. At the same time, the phone's incoming call ringing rang again. Huang Zengming's pupils condensed, and he answered the phone abruptly. Master. The laboratory. The laboratory is a trap. It is full of poisonous gas, and the brothers sent in. Are all dead. On the other side of the phone, 
there was a panic and trembling voice from his subordinates, ha, huh. hearing this, Huang Zengming, who was sitting in the car, looked even more ugly, not only was his son kidnapped, it was a matter of life and death. Even the project he cared about most had problems. The project was not obtained, and Chen Zong did not kill. His son was also kidnapped. This is, I lost my wife and broke down. Kaka. Huang Zengming smashed the iPhone in his hand. Chen Zonging. Huang Zengming really went away completely savagely at this moment. He slammed his fist on the Lincoln car window, and the entire car window was shattered. Speed up. Get me home quickly. He looked grim and anxious, and shouted angrily at the driver. The driver trembles in panic, and slams on the accelerator. The Lincoln car speeds up frantically again, galloping, towards the direction of the ancient house of the Huang family. Dot. At this time, the ancient house of the Huang family, it is bloody. The backyard of the ancient house is on the second floor of the attic. Chen Zonging was dressed in a straight suit and his white palms pinched the second son Huang Hongyui's neck, as if dot 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 the of death was about to lay down the criminal law. Huang Hongyui was lifted and hung in the air, his legs struggling violently. His face rose to purple liver, and his throat and trachea were almost cut off. Ah, Chen Zong, do you dare to move me? My Huang family will surely kill you all. Huang Hongyui's eyes were bloodred and ferocious, struggling violently. He dot 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 still trying to threaten. Oh, is that right? Chen Zonging pinched his neck with one hand, while holding a cigarette in his other hand, slowly puffing out the smoke ring. And behind, under the attic, it has long been surrounded by a crowded crowd. From the stairs, it spreads to the outside of the courtyard. It's endless, and the sea of people is boundless. Chen Zong. Immediately put down my second son. Otherwise, you will not be buried. There was a sea of people below, and they all shouted. The blackness crushed a sea of people, and the light of the sword flashed, looking at it like a sea of endless silver. Murderous Ling Li, Dao Meng Sen Han. But on the second floor of the attic, the figure in the straight suit was still indifferent, puffing out smoke rings. He pinched Huang Hong Yui with one hand, his eyes faint and calm. At your elder brother's funeral. I didn't have time to light the incense. This time, at your funeral, I will come to light the incense for you. Chen Zonging said in a faint voice, slowly. As soon as he said this, Huang Hong Yui trembled more violently, and his blooded eyes were full of panic. Chen Zong dot 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 I can guarantee that today, if you dare to kill me dot 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 you will definitely not. Walk out of the gate of my Huang family alive. Absolutely not. Huang Hongyui's voice trembled with horror, threatening the last struggle before his death, and said savagely, exclamation mark. Here, it is the residence of the Hu Hai Huang family. All around, there is a sea of black and black families. At this time, Chen Zonging was already surrounded by a sea of people. He, dare to act on Huang Hongyui in the endless crowd? He dare. Oh. Yes. The corner of Chen Zong's mouth raised an arc. I have long heard that it is easy to get in and difficult to get out of your Huang family's ancient house. I, Chen Zong, I really want to try it. His gaze was faint, and in his right hand, a silver dagger had quietly emerged. The devil may cry silver blade exudes murderous coldness in the air. Ha! Huh. When he saw this hideous and weird weapon, Huang Hong Yui's pupils trembled suddenly and his body struggled violently. Chen Zong dot 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 you dare to move me dot 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 my father will definitely not let it go. Huang Hong Yui's voice was stuck in his throat before he finished speaking, because he couldn't speak. On his neck trachea, there was a light trace of blood. The blood stains are spreading and getting thicker. Then, his head slowly slid down along the direction of the blood stain. Boom. The sound of people falling to their heads. Huang Hong Yui's first level head, just like that. Without warning, it fell to the ground. His headless corpse fell to the ground immediately, with a neat cut left on his neck. Wow. The black crowd below trembled. Chi Chi back dozens of steps. The sudden scene, the shocking picture made them fully react. Everyone was completely shocked by this scene. Master, 
the second young master of the dignified Huang family. That's it. Dead. Everyone in the darkness, their eyes widened, staring at the top of the attic in disbelief. The brains of all people are blank. In the attic corridor, Chen Zonggong slowly retracted the Devil May Cry dagger. With a faint look, he took a deep breath of smoke, then leaned over and picked up the head on the ground. Huang Hongyui's head still stared at Chen Zong with his eyes wide open. That was the last unwillingness before death, hideous, unbelievable. But there was no expression in his pupils. The last heir to the next generation of the Huang family was cut off and died in anger. However, at the last moment before he died, he couldn't look at him. He couldn't believe it. At the last second before he died, he couldn't believe. Dot, 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 he would have died in the attic of his Huang family. Surrounded by countless people around him, he was still. Dot, 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 cut off his head. Before his death, he ran wildly against each other, killing boundlessly. But who knows, such a quaint and handsome beast. However, it died at this time today. Died at the age of 25. In today's scene, all the disciples of the Huang family members who were shocked were struck by lightning. The dignified second son of the Huang family was actually killed. In the Huang family's courtyard on the spot. This is not just as simple as humiliation. Rather, it's a shame. The one who was killed, but the Huang family. The last remaining heir. The century old majesty of the Huang family collapsed and disintegrated at this instant. All the members of the Huang family stared blankly at the figure in the suit on the second floor of the attic. Everyone's eyes are a little dizzy. That person is like a world famous demon. The posture of one person makes hundreds of thousands of people panic and inexplicable. Chen Zong was standing on the top of the attic, holding Huang Hongyui's head in his hands. His eyes were faint, and he slowly exhaled a smoke ring. Relax, three days later, at your funeral, I will personally come and light three incenses for you. Then, he placed Huang Hongyui's head on the guardrail of the attic. A line of hideous blood and tears flowed from Huang Hongyui's first level pair of eyes. That was the last breath of perception before he died. This line of blood and tears is unwilling, hideous and hatred. Chen Zhengzong pinched out the cigarette but, dressed in a straight suit, turned and left. Black leather shoes underfoot stepped on the mahogany floor of the attic, leaving behind a string of neat blood footprints. That is Huang Hongyui's blood. He just walked down the stairs step by step. At the top of the stairs, the endless crowd. All retreated in horror. Everyone seemed to avoid the plague god. At this moment, no one dared to step forward to stop them. Even the second son was killed. This man was unscrupulous and unscrupulous. At this time, whoever blocks it is who is looking for death. Chen Zong went down the stairs, his figure calm and calm, and walked forward. In front of him, there was an endless crowd of black people. All back, panicked. Hundreds of thousands of people were shocked by him alone. Finally. As he continued to step forward, in the black crowd, finally unable to bear it, a group of people evaded a path in horror. Everyone, in the endless crowd, escaped a long road. No one dares to stop. Well, I am very self-aware. Chen Zonging looked faintly, scanned a sea of people, and then walked away like this. From the inner courtyard, all the way out of the gate of the Huang family house unobstructed. The slender white Aston Martin sports car still stopped quietly at the door. Chen Zonggong walked out the door leisurely and came to the white sports car, raised his wrist and glanced at the time. Well, no more, no less, exactly twenty minutes. Pull the car door and step into the sports car. At this time, he has restored that elegant and indifferent temperament. Boom! The Aston Martin sports car started. Roaring away with a grumpy engine roar. Chapter 88 Cut off children and grandchildren at the same time. The extended Lincoln sedan was speeding across the street, sprinting towards the direction of the ancient house of the Huang family. At the rear, a long row of large trucks full of people followed. The lineup is monstrous, and the killing is pervasive. Huang Zengming sat in the Lincoln car with a grim face, his long knife was tightly held in his hand and his muscles were bulging. It was a murderous brew. 
The Aston Sports Car and the Lincoln Sedan quickly passed by in the street. At that moment, Huang Zengming's heart trembled uncontrollably. Because the speed of the sports car was too fast, he could not clearly see the figure in the car. It's just a faint, a bad premonition spreading around the body. Although he did not see the people in the sports car clearly, there was always anxiety pervading him. Speed up. Huang Zengming's eyes were solemn, and he shouted sharply. The Lincoln sedan speeded up frantically again, and the driver stepped on the accelerator completely. The entire car soared to a speed of nearly 300 yards and flew towards the ancient house of the Huang family. Ten minutes later, squeak, a violent sudden brake sound echoed outside the ancient house of Huang's house. The Lincoln car suddenly stopped at the door of the old house. Bar. Huang Zengming blasted the car door directly, carrying a knife, almost rushing out. At the same time, behind, dozens of large trucks full of people came to a halt with violent brakes. There was a cloud of smoke and dust in front of the entire Huang's ancient house. Close the door. Huang Zengming shouted angrily, and then dot 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 with a long knife, sun and moon, step by step stepped into the ancient house of the Huang family, behind me, wow, a crowd of people got out of the car raging, countless crowds of black and crushed people, like waves, surge up in an instant, encircle the entire ancient house of the Huang family, the water is impenetrable and the sea of people is like a tide, the black crowd, intertwined into a black wall, spread across the ancient house, completely blocking all the entrances and exits of the Huang family. Question mark. The light of a handle of Senhai's sword flashed in the air, and at a glance, it looked like a silver mountain and sea, trembling in terror. Huang Zengming carried the sun moon long knife and walked quickly towards the inner courtyard of the ancient house. Zheng, the tip of the long knife dragged a long string of dents on the ground. This is to warm up the knife. The heat from the blade rubbing against the ground can make the blade sharper. Today, the sun and the moon in his hands dot 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 need to slaughter blood. Chen Zong dot 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 where is it? Huang Zengming stepped up step by step and the long sword dragged the sun and the moon on the ground, killing and killing. Behind him, a cloud of smoke rose. Huang Zengming at this time, like a beast, it was a terrifying murderous intent that had been rampant in the arena for decades. But when he stepped into the Huang family's house, his eyes, but suddenly condensed, just because of that one glance. The blood everywhere, in the entire Huang family's courtyard, there were stumps all over the floor. The ground was howling miserably, and the whole ground was stained red with blood. Question mark, even the walls of the house were stained with splashes of blood. Countless members of the Huang family, all fell to the ground, and howled miserably. Chen Zong, Huang Zengming looked sulky and angry, and hurried up under his feet, his body almost rushing into the backyard. However, when he rushed into the backyard, only to find that the entire backyard was standing with a crowd of black people. Hundreds of thousands of members of the Huang family gathered here. All members shrugged their heads, and the scene was silent. The black crowd gathered in the backyard. No one spoke. Thousands of people, his face was silent, with a hint of sadness. This is? Exclamation mark. Where is Chen Zonging? Huang Zengming looked savage, suddenly raised the sun moon long knife in his hand and shouted violently. Dao Mang trembled, and the roar shook the sky. Everyone present, but no one dared to speak. The scene was extremely silent. A crowd of people bowed their heads in darkness, and the scene was solemn and silent. Someone faintly turned his eyes to the direction of the second floor of the attic. Huang Zengming's eyes were sharp and ferocious, he slammed through the sea of people, raised his head towards the second street attic, boom, at that moment, 
his whole person. Dot, 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 like being struck by lightning. The head of the second son, Huang Hongyui, is dot, 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 bloodly placed on the guardrail on the second floor. His head was dripping with blood, and on his pupils. Dot, 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 two lines of blood and tears fell. Do not look down. Ah, Huang Zengming made a sudden leap leaping into the air into the tostriatic a few meters high in the sky. You His eyes were splitting and he stared at the head on the guardrail in disbelief the second son dot 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 Huang Hong Yui just so dot 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 dead, on the floor of the corridor on the second floor, the headless corpse was still lying, on the corpse, he was wearing Huang Hong Yui's clothes, the long knife in Huang Zengming's hand fell to the ground, and he tremblingly stretched out his hands, slowly holding up the head, his lips were trembling, and his eyes were fierce, to split, ah, this hero who has been rampant in the Shanghai Sea for decades, looks up to the sky and howls, exclamation mark. Fame for decades, invincible, killed countless souls under the knife, but today, the two sons under the knee. But, all died. This is to cut off children and grandchildren. Huang family, there is no future. There are three major sorrows in life. The bereavement of a young father, a middle-aged spouse, and an elderly child. He Huang Zengming traveled across the rivers and lakes for the first time, and he never thought dot 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 one day, the twins under his knees would die together. The eldest son Huang Zhuiang was killed dot 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 in half a month. Now, the head of the second son, Huang Hongyui, was also beheaded. You hey ch 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 if this hatred is not reported, it will not be shared. Chen Zong, I am going to kill your whole family. Annihilate your nine races. Kill everyone who is related to you. Huang Zengming at this moment is like an angry and out of control beast. The vengeance of killing his son made him dash. The Huang family has been a hundred years old. Why has it suffered such a huge trauma? The two heirs of Dan Jiao were both beheaded. These methods are too shocking. Under the second striatic, the crowded crowds all bow their heads in silence. The scene was deadly silent, and no one dared to look up and speak. Huang Zengming tremblingly put his son's head down, and then the hands suddenly lifted the long knife. His eyes were fierce and fierce and Moriji glanced at the crowded crowd below. This group of useless waste, hundreds of people, can't even stop Chen Zong! Exclamation mark. Suddenly, Huang Zengming's body leapt violently, swiping his long knife, and slashed towards the sea of people below. Dot 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 heavy puff. Knife light falls to the ground. Dot 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 blood splashes. Ah, a bunch of trash. Since you can't protect the young master, then accompany the young master on Huang Kun Road. Huang Zengming was furious, holding a long knife, 
and slashing frantically at the crowd of members of the Huang family, blood splattered, flesh and blood flew everywhere. Facing the pain of losing his son, the head of the Huang family broke out completely. If you can't protect the young master, what's the use of this group of waste? Exclamation mark. Cut without mercy. Huang Zengming at this time was completely replaced by endless killings. The vengeance of killing children needs to be vented. Kill kill kill. After the knife mang passed, a piece of slaughter. In the entire courtyard, blood was flying and howling miserably. Pieces of Huang family members fell to the ground. Dot dot dot. Countless broken corpses fell to the ground. Today in the Huang family, blood is slaughtered. Chapter 89 Fulfill your promise at the same time, the Fuxin group building in Huangpu district. Go Shows was lying on the chair, smoking a cigar lightly in his mouth. His eyes were slightly closed, and there was a cigar each smoke ring in front of him. He is waiting for a news that is about to be finalized. After the storm swept, it was when the dust settled. The lord of the Huang family, Today he took a knife and went out in person. Gosho seemed to feel the scene that his father had told him back then. The Huang family made a move, and the blood slaughtered the sea. The power of this century old giant should not be underestimated. Now, the Chen Zong will undoubtedly die. This is an irreversible fact. The power of one person, no matter how strong it is. But when facing the giants of the nest, it is nothing more than the man's arm is a car. Go shows closed his eyes, slowly spit out a smoke ring, and muttered. Next to him, a delicate female secretary flickered her beautiful eyes and spoke softly, My son, in Xiaoan's opinion, then Chen Zong. Should not last for an hour. One hour, you are too dot 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 looking at him too highly. Go shows closed his eyes and took a deep sip of his cigar. It's just a martial artist. In this world, the brave Guan Yu Ai was defeated by Lu Meng in the end, he was besieged outside the city. Upon hearing the son's words, the female secretary Ning Wan nodded thoughtfully. The son thinks that Chen Zong dot 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 how long can it last? Ning Wan asked. I won't live for half an hour. Go shows his voice was faint. His expression still calm. Wait, Chen Zong's funeral report should be coming soon. Not long after Go shows his voice fell. There was a rapid knock on the door outside the office. My son, report urgently, outside the door. The voice of his men hurriedly said. The corner of Go Shows's mouth raised an arc, and as expected, the news of the funeral came in. He faintly raised his voice. Soon, he opened the door and hurried into the office. The color under his hand was extremely dignified, and he stepped forward quickly, bowed and reported, My son, Chen Zong's servant, broke into Huang's house alone and cut off Huang Hongyui's head. Ha! Huh. Go shows his eyes opened suddenly. His whole body jumped up from the chair. He was completely shocked by the news dot 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 in front of him. Aside, Ning Wan, the pretty female secretary, was shocked and sluggish dot 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 even Yasu trembled slightly. Chen, Chen Zong. Not dead? Not only did he not die dot 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 he also broke into Huang's house and cut off the head of the second son Huang question mark. This, this is simply, like a thunderstorm dot. At the same time, Fei's villa, Fan Jin and his father Chi, father and daughter are sitting on the sofa in the lobby, quietly waiting for news. The father and daughter of the family are waiting for news that Chen Zonging was killed. As long as Chen Zong was killed, it would mean that the entire Ku clan dot 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 will fall. All the time, his Ku family's opportunity will finally come. A battle for power around surnames is about to begin. At this moment, a rapid cell phone ringing rang. Fan Jin hurriedly picked up her mobile phone to see that it was an incoming call from a subordinate. She and her father looked at each other. Let's take it, Father Chi said slowly, and a deep meaning flashed in his eyes. If it is correct, then Chen Zong is already in a different place at this time. Fan Jin dignifiedly picked up the phone, put the phone in her ear to answer. After a few seconds, her jade hand trembled slightly and the phone in her hand was not firmly grasped, click, fall to the ground with the sound, Fanjin's pretty face was dull, and her eyes, 
was shocked in disbelief. What's the matter? What's the matter? Father Fchi asked hurriedly with his eyes fixed. Fanjin's pretty face was dull and shocked, her red lips trembled, and she uttered a few words, Chen dot 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 Chen Zong. Broke into the Huang's house and decapitated Huang Hongyui's head. Boom. As soon as he said this, his father Fki's expression suddenly changed. This. How can it be? Then Chen Zong. Is not dead? Question mark. Break into Huang's house alone? Question mark. He actually cut down. The head of the second son of the Huang family? Exclamation mark. This news completely dot 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 shattered Fki's decades of experience in the arena. He has been rampant in the arena for decades. He has never seen such a terrifying, such an unbelievable event. Dot. Hu Hai, Ziyu An Mansion District. There was a roar of engines in the distance. A white Aston Martin sports car is galloping from the end of the street. The sleek, streamlined body reveals the temperament of British aristocracy. Chen Zonging, dressed in a straight suit, was sitting in the cab with a cigar in his mouth. His temperament was extremely indifferent. At the gate of the Ziyu An mansion area, two security guards raised their hands to salute him, and then let them go. Chen Zong's eyes were calm, driving a sports car, slowly drove into the mansion area. Dot. At this time, inside the Kiss Manor, the entire Ku family was anxious and inexplicable. It has been an hour since Chen Zonging went out. But outside, there is still no news. Ku Yiren held the phone and made several calls to Chen Zong, but they were all missed. And her eyeliner all over the outside, there is still no news to respond. Everything seemed to fall into a dead silence. She had no idea what was happening outside. Father Kui Hui Hai was sitting on the sofa. Although he seemed to be drinking tea peacefully, his eyes were deeply worried, but he couldn't hide it at all. After all, this is a matter involving the lifeline of the Ku family. If something happened to Xiao Chen, then the next thing happened is probably their Ku family. His wife Liu Xiangnan sat with him, her delicate and elegant face also filled with deep concern. Only the little daughter, Ku Shuang, who looks harmless to humans and animals, is lying on the massage chair, gnawing on potato chips while beating on the glory of the king. The little girl didn't seem to care about these family affairs at all. She was still young after all, not yet in that state of mind. Do not know the seriousness of the matter. The whole villa was quiet, and everyone was waiting for news. Um. At this moment, suddenly outside the villa, there was a roar of the engine. An elegant white Aston Martin sports car, slowly parked in front of the Ku family manor. At that moment, the eyes of everyone in the villa dot 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 kiss family all looked through the door for the first time. At the door, the door of the Aston Martin sports car slowly opened. Chen Zong was in a straight suit, and the gentleman stepped out of the sports car gracefully. He has a straight body. His eyes are like dragons. Standing at the door, slowly lit a cigarette. Then, step by step, he walked into the Kiss Villa. Throughout the villa, the eyes of the Ku family's four people focused on him. At that moment, the eyes of the Ku family were dot 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 complex, stunned, shocked, unbelievable. Chen Zong Jing, really? Is back. The clothes are neat, intact. Return safely. Ku Yiren got up for the first time and walked quickly in front of Chen Zong. Her beautiful eyes couldn't believe it, and she looked at Chen Zonging in a complicated manner. Mr. Chen, are you okay? Her voice was a little lost, because the scene in front of her made it difficult for her to react. Today, the Huang family is moving. Shake the Shanghai and the sea. And at this moment, this man dot 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 really dot 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 returned intact? This is incredible. Why should something happen? Chen Zonggong lighted a cigarette and asked faintly. You dot 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 you went to the Huang family. Did you go to negotiate with the Huang family? Ku Yi asked hesitantly with a complicated mind. The man in front of her, time and time again dot 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 exceeded her heart's ability to bear it. Negotiating? He is not worthy of the Huang family. Chen Zonging took a deep breath. His eyes faint. I am going to fulfill my promise. Fulfill your promise? Ku Yiren couldn't react for a while, and asked in surprise, 
What promise? Cut the head of the second son of Huang, Chen Zongying said slowly, boom, as soon as these words came out. The Ku family of four. All shocked, petrochemical, chapter 90 is Jin Lin a thing in the pool Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were dull and shocked, and she looked at Chen Zongying in disbelief. At this moment, in her mind, she vaguely recalled the letter from Mr. Chen three days ago. She remembered that the content of the letter was, three days later, the head of Huang Hongyui, the second son of the Huang family, was taken. But three days ago, she thought dot 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 that was just a threat from Mr. Chen. She did not take this statement seriously. But, at this moment dot 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 when she heard Chen Zong dot 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 speak again in person, she dot 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 was completely shocked. Well, isn't it a joke? Jingle bell. At the same time, the mobile phone that Kui Hui Hai put on the coffee table finally rang quickly. That was the call from the Ku family informant. Great changes occurred outside, and the Ku family informant finally called to report the news. Kui Hai has a complicated face, so he answered the phone immediately and activated the hands free button. Chairman Huang's family, something happened to the Huang's family. During the call, the subordinate's voice solemnly and anxiously reported. What's the matter? Say. Kui Hui Hai asked solemnly. The second son of the Huang family dot 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 Huang Hong Yui's head dot 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 was cut off. Boom. Great earthquake, dead silence. In the entire villa, all four of Kiss family were dead. If one second before, Kui Hui Hai still had doubts about what Chen Zong said. But at this moment, the personal report of the subordinates dot 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 but completely finalized this shocking fact. On the corner massage chair, the little witch Kush Wang finally put down her phone in shock. She rushed forward in disbelief, staring at Chen Zong with her beautiful eyes. You dot 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 you killed Huang Hong Yui. She couldn't believe it. How could the elegant little white face in front of her have the ability to kill the second son of the Huang family? Exclamation mark. Is it weird? I killed his elder brother. Chen Zong let out a smoke ring slowly, his voice calm and indifferent. Ha! Huh. At this moment, the little witch Kush Wang was completely sluggish and petrified. The Huang family. The eldest son. Actually, he was killed by the man in front of him? Question mark. These days, the rival and mysterious assassin hero she was thinking of. The hero who dared to kill Huang's father-in-law unexpectedly, stood in front of her, the fair and elegant little white face in front of me dot 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 how could it be possible, under Kush Wang, this girl was completely shocked, in the entire villa hall, the air was silent and dignified, patriarch Kui Hui Hai looked solemn and felt unprecedented chaos, this disaster in the south of the Yangtze river has been completely provoked, Ben, beheading Huang's father-in-law has already caused a major disaster, but now, even the second son of the Huang family has been beheaded, successively, cut off the two princes of the Huang family. This is a disaster that cannot be undone. The Huang family will never stop dying. Kui Hui Hai's hands were trembling. He tried his best to support his body and let himself sit down. Now the situation is full of wind and waves. If it is difficult for the Ku family to resist, I am afraid. His Ku family will be finished. Kuya's face is also dignified and complicated. She urgently dialed the company's security department and asked about the company's situation. She learned from the phone that when the company was safe and sound, her heart dot 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 only calmed down a little bit. In today's game, wind and waves abruptly. If it is Ku Yi or his father Ku Hui Hai, I already understand in my heart that in the days to come. Kiss Road. Is getting more and more thorny. The Huang family will never stop dying. Either the Huang family died, or the Ku family died. Dot. The sunset is gradually falling, and the endless evening night. Chengning District, North Town, Chengning District, Shanghai. A figure holding a long knife, single handedly, slowly stepped out of the corpses everywhere. His whole body was stained with scarlet redness and his face, corners of his mouth. Scarlet blood stains set off him, like a killer. The long knife in Dongbio's hand was still dripping blood. This is the 17th street he won by slaughter. 
the Dongman forces are still dot 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 continuously expanding. Step by step, he slowly walked out of the long street. Outside the streets at dusk, the darkened members bowed respectfully and saluted. At this moment, one of his hands hurriedly stepped forward with solemn expression. The head of the Huang family, Huang Hongyui, the second son of the Huang family, was beheaded by Chen Zonging. The voice of his subordinates was hurriedly and solemnly, and Huey reported. Ha! Huh. Hearing this, Dong Biao's complexion suddenly condensed, it was shock. The long knife in his hand was gripped tighter. Dong Biao slowly raised his head, his eyes were deep, staring at the evening sky. Chen dot 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 vertical dot 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 horizontal. His eyes were sharp, and there seemed to be endless killing intent. Unexpectedly, even the Huang family can't deal with him. Killing his father's hatred, Dong Men's blood debt. In this life, Dong Biao will surely repay him. In this life. Dot 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 I, Dong Biao, will definitely, personally. Dot 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 cut off your head. Dong Biao's voice was calm and indifferent, with endless terrifying murderous intent. He has regarded Chen Zonging as a lifelong enemy. Dot. In the dark night, among the endless stars, a small western style retro villa is located on the street in the downtown section of Shanghai and Heihai. In front of the villa, there is a historical mottled plaque with three large characters engraved on it, Jiang Mansion. Although the plaque is very ordinary, it seems a bit inconspicuous. However, no one dared to approach within a hundred meters around the entire small western style building, all because of the owner of this villa, whose surname is Jiang. Shanghai City, one of the four major families, the Jiang family, and this Jiang mansion, located at number one Jalen Road, was once one of the most powerful buildings at that time. Once upon a time, Jiang Mansion. Jiang Xilin rival Jiangnan. The power of the Green Gang trembles north and south. Now, although a hundred years have passed, however, Jiang family, Jiang Mansion, still stood on the street, still supporting a quarter of the sky in the south of the Yangtze River. Inside Zhang's mansion, there is a study room. An exquisite and beautiful woman, wearing a Chong Sam, leaned over the desk holding a writing brush in her hand, dancing dragons and phoenixes on the rice paper. Six years ago, Time magazine published a report in Shanghai and Shanghai. The report pointed out that there was a beautiful girl in Jiangnan, young and green, pointing to Jiangnan, and setting up a brand new splendor in Jiangnan and Shanghai. Store record. That year, she was only 18 years old. Today, she is 24 years old. He wears a Chong Sam with long hair lightly pulled. She is the youngest second lady in the Jiang family, Jiang Ryu Ochu. The blood of the hero Jiang Xilin was flowing on his body. Jiang Ryu Ochu lightly danced in his hand, and after a few seconds, he finally wrote down and retracted. On the rice paper, there are two words of domineering and wild dance, wind and cloud. Miss, why do you? Write these two words. The maid on the side looked at the rice paper in confusion and asked. In the past, Miss practicing calligraphy, she could only write some crosstalk characters, but today, Miss suddenly wrote such two characters, which is puzzling. Is Jin Lin a thing in the pool? Whenever you encounter wind and cloud, dot dot dot, it turns into a dragon. Jiang Ryu Chu opened his beautiful eyes, glanced at the writing on the rice paper and said slowly, tonight, the Huang family dot 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 I'm afraid I won't sleep anymore. The maid stood aside, seemingly understanding, thinking about it for a long time, and then curiously asked, Miss, this phrase you wrote, means, that Chen Zonging who killed the two sons of the Huang family, Zhang Ryu Ochus red lips slowly raised an arc in an alluring posture. Chen Zonging is a strange species. His appearance has made this river and lake a bit more interesting. Dot. At the same time, late at night, the ancient house of the Huang family, in the entire Huang family's courtyard, corpses were everywhere. The corpses were stacked on top of each other, and the whole ground and walls were stained red with blood. Patriarch Huang Zengming's long knife, sun and moon, was lying abruptly on the ground, 
and the blade was stained dark red with blood. The corpses all over the place were slaughtered by Patriarch Huang Zengming himself. Tonight, the two sons were beheaded. Under Huang Zengming's rage, he beheaded countless men and let them be no buried with their children. Since the is inadequate, then. Go to Huang Kuan. Anyway, there are people in his Huang family. Killing hundreds of them is no more than killing chickens and cursing monkeys. The Huang family was in turmoil, and the family gate was shaken. Huang Zengming at this moment, the endless murderous intent was completely revealed. After all, it is a family of heroes. No one can compare his cruelty. Although the two sons were beheaded, Huang Zengming used to slaughter hundreds of clan members to consolidate his position in the arena. Kill a hundred people, sacrifice to heaven and bury the two sons. The corpses in the courtyard of Huang's house were transported by trucks to the crematorium. There are too many dead bodies. Chen Zonging killed only a few during the day, and more people were slaughtered by the owner Huang Zengming himself. This massacre was tragic. Huang Zengming stood in the house, his face looked like cold and ferocious, and his whole body was stained with scarlet and sticky blood. He slowly came to the body of his second son Huang Hongyui, carefully lifted his son's body, and put it on the dining table in the hall. Then, he also held up the head of his son, and put the head together on the corpse. Born to be a hero, Huang Zengming, who rivaled the first generation horizontally and horizontally, had to face dot 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 the sad news of losing his son in old age and cutting off the incense of the Huang family. How can he bear this? Have you found the female companion I want? Huang Zengming slowly got up after putting together his son's corpse, his eyes cold. For the patriarch, the female companion has been found. According to your instructions dot 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 18 years old, a female high school student with a nice face. A subordinate bowed respectfully and solemnly. Bring here. Huang Zengming's voice was calm and indifferent. Soon, a pitiful 18-year-old girl was pushed up. The girl is still struggling, but her whole body is tightly tied, and she can't move at all. Her pretty face was full of horror and tears. Huang Zengming's eyes were deep, scanning the girl, and then he nodded in satisfaction. He stepped forward hugged the girl sideways, and walked directly towards his bedroom. How can he cut off the incense of his Huang family? Tonight, he will plant seeds and renew the incense. The door was closed. In the room, there was a girl's heart breaking begging for mercy and miserable howling. A brutal is going on. Chapter 91 One Person like a general five o'clock in the morning. The sky is changing between night and day. In the villa, Chen Zonging had already got up and began to exercise in the early morning. Ten thousand push-ups, ten thousand sit-ups and cores upwards. These high-intensity training every day, thunderous. His physical fitness is a secret that ordinary people cannot predict. Sometimes, even he himself doesn't know, where is his body slimmit? because there were too many people killed, so many that he could hardly distinguish his own strength. Chen Zonging quietly carried out morning exercises in the villa. At this time, the city that had just awakened in the early morning had already exploded. Jiangnan Morning Post, Shanghai Morning News, The Bund Daily. A series of heavyweight media organizations have released heavy headlines. The second son of the Huang family has died due to an accident. The second son of the Huang family, died unexpectedly. It is rumored that the heads were cut off. The blockbuster headlines in the newspapers have completely shaken the people of the whole city. The Huang family dot 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 second young master dot 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 dead question mark. It just happened yesterday. But early this morning, news was flying all over the sky. It can be seen the seriousness of the incident yesterday. The news spread too quickly and too quickly, and there are even hostile forces behind the Huang family who are helping to fuel the flames. Now, even the Huang family's methods cannot completely block the news. The fact that the second son of the Huang family had fallen, instantly spread throughout the Shanghai Sea. In this city, all the people were shocked. Newspapers and news have spread all over the streets. In front of the breakfast stall, the old men were talking. On the bus, young people held their mobile phones and browsed the news in disbelief. In the morning tea restaurant, 
Starbucks dot 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 between the buildings dot 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 all white color workers in suits and people from all walks of life were shocked and disgusted. Some people speculate, some conspiracy theories, some gloat. Some people applaud. After all, the two princes of the Huang family were rampant in the south of the Yangtze River and committed many evils. Now that he is dead, he deserved it. Almost countless people cheered, accusing the Huang family. Dot 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 the crime deserves it. However, all of this is only secretly speaking. No one dared to come out to find Death Fasto Face. After all, the Huang family is a giant. No one dared to mess with it. In addition, there are speculations about the cause of the death of the second son of the Huang family. Although, according to the standard in the news, the second son of the Huang family dot 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 was accidentally killed. However, people are not stupid. What accident can cause the heads to be cut off? This is clearly murdered. Moreover, he was murdered in the Huang's house. People have speculated wildly that the second son of the Huang family died by whom? But this answer is difficult to guess, but it is also very simple. So, people thought of the blood book from the Huang family three days ago. At that moment dot 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 a shocking name appeared in everyone's mind. Chen, Zong, Heng. Three days ago, from the moment when a blood book from the Huang family was delivered, Chen Zonging's name dot 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 was almost already known by the Hu Haijiangnan. At this moment, his name. Once again, let everyone speculate wildly. Dot. At nine o'clock in the morning, Ku Yiren's Mercedes Benz convoy came slowly from a distance and stopped in front of the Kus building. Ku Yiren looked tired and stepped out of the car on high heels. There is a faint dark circle on her beautiful eyes. Last night, she stayed up all night. But this morning, he hurried to the company. Chen Zong Zong was smoking a cigarette, and then slowly got out of the car. The security guards standing at the door of the building were instantly in awe. At this moment, everyone's eyes looked at him, completely different. This man almost shocked the whole Jiangnan. Xi Ming stood in front of the guard box with a solemn and respectful face. Chen Zong Zong was smoking a cigarette, but when he walked past the sentry box, his figure stopped. He turned and looked at Xi Ming quietly. Want to learn military posture? Chen Zonging's voice was calm, and he vomited slowly. Hearing this, Xi Ming's posture was startled suddenly. Yes. Three days ago, Mr. Chen once said that after three days, he would teach himself military posture. Xi Ming always remembered this sentence. He wants to learn dreams of wanting to learn a military posture. He has never been a soldier in this life, which is a regret in his life. Chen Zonging slowly squeezed out the cigarette butt, then his eyes condensed sharply. His body seemed to burst out of vigorous breath in an instant. The military posture stands at attention, the figure is stalwart. At that moment he dot 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 like a majestic general. Stand up, hold your breath, straighten your back and freeze your body under your feet with luck. Chen Zonging's voice was calm, but every word burst out with infinite strength. At this moment, everyone present was shocked by his aggressive military posture. The appearance of a single person is equal to this. It's just a military posture, but, as if from him, he saw an endless number of knives, guns and bullets, and saw an neatly lined legion of iron and blood. One person, like a general, Behind him, there seemed to be thousands of troops, roaring and roaring. Xi Ming's expression was excited, and he stood in military posture abruptly, following Mr. Chin's appearance, with a straight military posture. Chen Zonging retracted his posture, turned around slowly, and left. Only the door of the building was left, and the group of security guards looked dull dot 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 horrified. At this moment, Everyone staring at his figure looked completely different. It is a kind of awe from the depths of the soul. With awe and excitement in his eyes, Xi Ming slowly gave an on-standard military salute to Mr. Jun's figure. Dot. At the same time, the Kus building has seven ties even floors. Secret research room. Ku Yiren put on a white gas mask and robe, led by a group of bodyguards, slowly walked into the research room. At this time, the entire research room was enveloped by highly toxic gases. Yesterday, 
The spies sent by the Huang family died under the poisonous gas in this research room. In this research room, she had done a good job of defending against any possibility of occurrence early. Once someone invades, it will turn on highly poisonous. Those who entered the research room will eventually die here. Looking at the poisoned corpses on the ground, Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were extremely dignified and complicated. If she had to, how could she set up the research room here? But even so, there are still people desperately trying to break in, try to steal everything related to the research project. Clean up the scene, be careful, don't touch the core of the project. Ku Yiren solemnly ordered his opponent. Then she turned around and left the research room. Back on the 9th floor of the building, Ku Yiren returned to the office and sent a text message to Chen Zonging, inviting him to come. Soon, an elegant figure in a suit walked into the president's office. Chen Zhongzong sat on the office sofa calmly with a cigarette in his mouth. What's the matter with me? His voice was calm. In his eyes, Ku Yiren's identity as the president had no deterrent effect at all. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes are complicated and he hesitated for a long time. Before he said, I set up a secret research room on the 77th floor of the group. But, yesterday, the Huang family sent someone to found the research room. Ku Yi had a dignified and complicated face. I don't know how they found the research room. My security has been doing very well. They impossible to know. Ku Yiren looked at Chen Zonging with beautiful eyes with a hint of request and consultation. Now, at this critical moment, she can only turn to Mr. Chen for help. Secret research room? Chen Zonging took a deep breath and looked at Ku Yiren quietly. His gaze was like a sharp sword, as if to see through Ku Yiren's heart. So, this is the reason why the Huang family forcing you? Chapter 92 All Exposed So, this is the reason why the Huang family is forcing you? Chen Zonging looked at Ku Yiren calmly with a faint look. At this moment, Ku Yi's heart was beating uncontrollably and disorderly. Under the eyes of this man, she actually felt that everything had to be seen through. Ku Yiren's mood was complicated, and she nodded slowly. I'm studying a medical project. This project has greatly changed the business situation. For the benefit of that, the Huang family tried to cooperate with me to obtain the project, Ku Yi said with a solemn voice and slowly explained. However, when she was explaining, her right hand gently grasped the corner of her uniform, which was dot 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 a performance of a guilty conscience. She is covering up. Chen Zonging's eyes were deep, and he slowly spit out a smoke ring. Oh, isn't it? His tone was calm and he couldn't see any emotions. It seems that for Ku Yiren's remarks, he seems to dot 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 believe it. Mr. Chen, do you think? The Huang family. Why do you know? The location of my secret research room? Ku Yiren looked at Chen Zonggong with beautiful eyes. Regarding safety issues in this area, she really didn't know what to do, so she could only ask Mr. Chen. After all, he is the director of the security department, and the campaigner's security issues, currently, are all management handed over to him. Internal traitor. Chen Zonging looked faintly, and slowly spit out two words. With these two words, Ku Yiren's complexion changed slightly. Insider. This is exactly what she worries about most. The Ku group is huge, with tens of thousands of staff involved. Under such a huge scale. If I was planted, then it would be difficult to find out. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Boom boom boom. At this moment, suddenly there was a knock on the door outside the office. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes condensed, and he replied, Please come in. Pushing the office door open, Ruan Wenyao, dressed in a straight suit, slowly walked into the company. Behind him, there were also special hired bodyguards who crushed two rows. At this time, Ruan Wen Yao's injury had healed a lot, but his right ear had been completely cut off. Today, only one fake ear can be installed to conceal his disability. Ian, I heard dot 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 yesterday dot 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 the Huang family came to the group to make trouble for you. Are you okay? Ruan Wen Yao at this time, with a worried look on his face, stepped forward and asked. His pretending appearance is indeed very convincing. However, 
the coldness in the depths of his eyes betrayed him. He came to the Ku group this time just to inquire about the Kiwi people. He wanted to see, how long can this Kiwi people hold on? By the way, he also wanted to find out some information about the research office from the Kuyi population. After all, this research project is something that everyone is determined to get. The reason for the turmoil in the Shanghai Sea today is also because of this project. But when Ruan Wen Yao walked into the president's office, he suddenly discovered dot 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 on the office sofa. There was a figure that made him nightmare. Dot 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 Chen Zonging. Ruan Wen Yao's complexion instantly became embarrassed. A few days ago, it was Chen Zong. Dot 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 cut off his right ear causing his entire right ear to lose hearing ability, completely becoming a half handicapped. How can he forget this kind of hatred? Exclamation mark. Ruan when Yo Qiang endured the panic in his heart and continued to pretend to be calm. At this moment, two rows of bodyguards he brought were standing outside the office, I believe dot 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 even if you start your hands, you should not suffer. Im fine, Master Ruan. Are you here? What's the matter? Kuyiran asked slowly with her beautiful eyes, complicated and impatient. Regarding this Ruan Wen Yao, she was very annoyed by coming to inquire again and again. Moreover, these days, Ruan Wen Yao is even more unscrupulous, almost treating the Ku clan as his Ruan family, arbitrarily leading a large group of bodyguards in and out, without any scruples. If it wasn't for the partnership, she really wanted to personally drive this Ruan Van Yao out of the office. Yirin, my father heard that your group was in trouble, so he was very worried. He specially ordered me to come and see if I have any instructions, I can help. Ruan Wen Yao pretended to be calm and said sincerely, Thank you, I don't need help. Please come back, Master Ruan. Ku Yirin spit out a word indifferently trying to get rid of the mortals flies. Yirin, your Ku family and my Ruan family are all in the same family. Why do you need help? Just talk about it. Ruan Wen Yao didn't intend to leave, but continued to inquire, that's right. Dot. There is nothing wrong with your project, right? When he came this time, he paid the most attention. Dot dot dot. It was naturally the project. He wants to know whether the Huang family has successfully obtained that project. Has Ku Yiren's research room been stolen? Sorry, Mr. Ruan, I'm very busy, so please go out. Ku Yiren's face turned slightly and said calmly, She has already started to drive people. Ian, I am worried about the project. After all, the Huang family is not easy to provoke. Ruan Wen Yao continued to pretend to care. But at this moment, Chen Zonging, who was sitting on the sofa, slowly stood up. With a flick of his right hand, the cigarette flew out and hit the door frame of the office in an instant. Bar. The door of the president's office closed instantly. Chen Zonging looked calm, step by step dot 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 walking towards Ruan Wen Yao. Ha. At this moment, Ruan Wen Yao's complexion changed drastically. He retreated in horror, Chen Zonging dot 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 what are you going to do? Chen Zonging looked faintly, stepped forward, and suddenly grabbed his collar with one hand, and lifted his whole person dot 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 to the air. Chen Zong dot 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 let me go. Are you looking for death? Ruan Wen Yao's expression suddenly changed, struggling in the air. His eyes were extremely ferocious. Chen Zonging looked faintly, staring at Ruan Wen Yao meaningfully. Master Ruan, I'm very curious. How much benefit did the Huang family give you? Make you willing dot 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 being his running dog of the Huang family? Ha! Huh. As soon as this remark came out, Ruan Wen Yao's complexion changed, and then changed. You dot 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 what are you talking nonsense? Ruan Wen Yao was struggling violently his voice concealing his anger. At this moment, even Ku Yiren's eyes were condensed, and she suddenly stood up from the chair, her pretty face with disbelief. Sophistry. The corner of Chen Zong's mouth faintly flashed a radian. Lao Zonging Chen warns you, let me down immediately. Otherwise, my Ruan family will make you begging for death. Ruan Wen Yao was struggling violently. At this time, he was completely furious. It seems that even yesterday, the incident of the beheading of the Huang family by Chen Zong has been forgotten. At this time, he looked furious and threatened fiercely. Oh, 
isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. Chen Zong slammed Ruan Wen Yao away with a single hand. Bah. Ruan Wen Yao's body hit the wall severely, and even the wall was cracked. Ruan Wen Yao fell to the ground severely, vomiting blood in his mouth. At the same time, on his clothes, several small metal devices were dropped out. When I saw these metal parts, Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes suddenly condensed. This is, listener, exclamation mark. Ruan Wen Yao is actually, equipped with a monitor, exclamation mark. At this moment, Ku Yiren remembered again. A few days ago, Chen Zonging had warned her. On that day, Chen Zonging warned that the monitor in his office was installed by Ruan Wen Yao, only that day. She still didn't believe it. But at this moment, I saw this monitor with my own eyes. Ku Yiren's complexion was extremely complicated and shocked. The long-term partner of the Ku group, Ruan family, actually, is the betrayal behind the scenes? Exclamation mark. Thinking of these kinds of things, Ku Yiren suddenly woke up. Yesterday, why could the Huang family break into the building unscrupulously and find his secret research room? Others may not know the structural drawings of the entire building, but his Ruan family has been in the company for a long time to negotiate, and no one is more familiar with the internal structure of the company than his Ruan family. Ruan when Yao's body trembled with horror, he got up from the ground with a trembling face dashing towards the office door with a stern face. At this moment, all the secrets are revealed, and he only has one escape. Chapter 93 More than a second, collect the body for you but, just as Ruan when Yao tried to seize the door and flee, in front of him, a figure suddenly appeared. Are you in such a hurry? Chen Zonging looked faintly, and he did not know when, he had appeared in front of him like a ghost. Ha! Huh. Ruan Wen Yao's face changed drastically. He took two steps backwards suddenly, staring at Chen Zong as if looking at a demon. Flying Eagle Team! Ruan Wen Yao with a grim face, suddenly shouted to the outside of the office. Outside the president's office, there is also a team of special bodyguards that he has spent a lot of money to prepare. Flying Eagle! At this time, upon hearing the master's drink, all the more than fifty bodyguards outside the door condensed. Then, boo, the door of the president's office was directly kicked open. Haha, <laughs> a group of overwhelming bodyguards surged forward. There was a sea of people crushed by the black, more than fifty people, with fierce electric batons in their hands, killing and raging. The black and violent crowd spread from inside the office to the corridor outside the office. Give me kill him. I will be responsible for the death. Seeing the bodyguards rushing in, Ruan Wen Yao was embarrassed and exclaimed with a sullen expression. In his cognition, he thinks that if there are many people, it is king. I thought that more than fifty people would be able to deal with Chen Zonging. At this time, he was completely replaced by ferocious anger, and even dot 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 he lost his normal logical thinking ability. Ruan Wen Yao completely forgot. Just a day ago, Chen Zong was alone and broke into the Huang's house. There were more than fifty people, fierce, and surrounded Chen Zonging alone. In the president's office, the atmosphere suddenly fell cold. Standing in the center of the crowded crowd, Chen Zong took out a cigarette slowly and lit it. Give it to me. Ruan Wen Yao roared ferociously behind him. The black bodyguards crushed a group of bodyguards, violently raised the million volt electric baton. The crackling electric current burst, and rushed towards Chen Zonging. Such a terrifying electric baton attack, it is no different from killing. The body of an ordinary person cannot withstand such a terrifying electric current attack. A million volts is deadly enough. However, Chen Zonging stood there calmly, smoking slowly, his figure faint. Those countless bursting electric batons blasted on him, actually as if they had entered the ocean without any response. A voltage of one million volts exploded violently around him. But he, his complexion still, calm and indifferent. All around, the complexion of a group of bodyguards changed. This, is this still human? Exclamation mark. The current flashed and the batons bombed. But he stood calmly and smoked calmly. This scene was too weird and too unreasonable. In the endless burst of electric current, 
he slowly raised his wrist and glanced at the time of the Omega watch. You guys, have you hit enough? His eyes slowly looked around him, and then a breath flashed in his eyes. It's my turn. While talking, his figure has teleported out. Boom. A palm. A bodyguard's chest was directly smashed and collapsed, and his body flew straight out of the office door. Puff. The other bodyguard hadn't reacted yet, and the whole person was lifted up in the air and then like a doll, he was thrown out of the office severely. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and the straight figure in a suit flashed and moved among the dark crowd. Wherever his figure passed, one figure after another was blasted off. A body with bodyguards almost flew out of the office door sideways. Bang! 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 Outside the office, there was a sound of banging and falling from the body. Outside the door of the president's office. The group of executive colleagues had their eyes widened and looked completely silly. Looking at the body like a doll and puppet, it was thrown out crazy. At this moment, all colleagues are shocked and dumbfounded. In the blink of an eye, the Flying Eagle team of 50 celebrities, this team is known as the strongest special bodyguard team in Jiangsu, Zijiang and Shanghai, just like that. It fell outside the office in all directions with its body lying sideways and bloody. There were more than 50 people, and none of them could stand up again. In the president's office, Chen Zonging looked faintly, and raised his wrist to check the time of his watch. Five seconds, a little slower, he muttered to himself. It seemed that the opponent had just shot, a little dissatisfied. The action is still a little slower. It's a retreat of skill. At this time, Ruan Wen Yao was struck by lightning and his body trembled dot 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 reversed in horror, this team of bodyguards that he hired at a cost of tens of millions of dollars, just a few seconds. Full load? Question mark. The man in front of him is simply dot 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 reaper, a devil. Chen Zonging took a deep breath, then dot 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 step by step, walking towards Ruan Wen Yao. Ruan Wen Yao's body trembled in horror, and he retreated tremblingly. Chen Zonging don't come here. If you have something to say. Ruan when Yao's pupils were trembling, at this moment, he was really scared. Oh, it's a pity that I don't have the patience to talk to you. Chen Zonging's expression was calm, and he walked towards him step by step. Ruan when Yao was terrified and terrified, and was inevitable. He suddenly rushed towards the Kuyiran. He tried to hold the Kuyi as a hostage. But, just as he just started to take a step, there was a sudden violent pain in the leather shoes under his feet. Ah, Ruan Wen Yao let out a miserable cry and looked down. I saw a black fountain pen. It was penetrating his leather shoes in the instep, and nailing his entire left foot to the ground. The blood spilled along the leather shoes. Ruan Wen Yao's body was pulled by inertia and fell to the ground suddenly. Chen Zonging looked indifferently playing with a pen cap in his hand. You h h h h h h h h h h h h His left foot, together with the leather shoes, was directly nailed to the ground by the fountain pen, and it was so painful that he couldn't move half an inch at all. Kuyiran's pretty face was dull and pale, watching the scene. Completely at a loss, stepping on the leather shoes, Chen Zong walked slowly to Ruan Wen Yao's body like a gentleman. Then, he lifted his leather shoes and slowly stepped on Ruan Wen Yao's head. What do you plan to do with? Chen Zong looked calmly, looking at Ku Yiren. Ku Yiren's pretty face was completely dull. This scene happened so suddenly that she didn't know what to do. Obviously, Ruan Wen Yao is the inner ghost. Install bugs, and the location of your secret laboratory. Except for the Ruan family, the Kui people never thought of other possibilities. Mr. Chen. What do you think? Ku Yiren was a little helpless at this time, her beautiful eyes looked at Chen Zonging with complicated eyes. Kill, quiet. Chen Zonging said faintly, the peddling force under his leather shoes even harder. Ruan Wen Yao howled miserably, his head almost bursting. A dot 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 Chen Zonging dot 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 you dare to treat me like this dot 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 I won't let you go. Ruan Wen Yao was stepped on the ground his whole body furious and threatening. Now, his Ruan family is affiliated with the Huang family, 
and Ruan Wen Yao is a member of the Huang family. With the support of the Huang family behind him, Ruan Wen Yao is even harder. Chen Zonging, acquaintance. Dot, 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 I advise you to let me go. Dot, 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 otherwise, I will make you begging for death. Ruan Wen Yao's eyes were blood ridden ferocious, and his saliva mixed with his nose kept pouring out. Oh, isn't it? Chen Zong's leather shoes pressed hard. Ah, Ruan Wen Yao howled violently, his entire head. As if it was about to explode, vomiting blood! Exclamation mark. Wait, Mr. Chen. At this moment, the Kuyiran on the side suddenly spoke. Sir, save him forever. Kuyiran's voice was extremely complicated, and he said slowly, after all, Ruan Van Yu is a partner of the company. It is inappropriate to die in the Ku group rashly. Moreover, it was in her own office, she didn't want to see people killed. Women, at critical moments, are always weak and hesitant. This is by nature. Chen Zonging looked faintly, and slowly spit out a smoke ring. Never mind. He pulled a chair from the side and sat down. Then, stepping on Ruan Wen Yao's head like this, while sitting in a chair, smoking a cigarette indifferently. He threw a mobile phone in front of Ruan Wen Yao. Call your father and let him arrive within ten minutes. If it takes more than a second, let him collect the body for you. Chen Zonging's voice was calm and said slowly, Chapter 94 Don't talk about business in the president's office. Ruan Wen Yao was trampled on the ground, miserable. He tremblingly stretched out his hand and tremblingly picked up the phone. At this moment, his only way to survive is to make a call and ask his father to rescue him. Shakingly dialed his father's phone. On the other end of the phone, his father Ruan Tan Long quickly connected. Dad dot 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 help me. Ruan Wen Yao's voice trembled miserably, lying on the ground, holding the phone for help. On the other side of the phone, his father Ruan Tan Long was taken aback. Wen Yao, what happened? Didn't you go to the Ku group? Ruan Tan Long asked in shock. Dad dot 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 I dot 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 I was controlled by Chen Zonging's guy. He said, he said, let you be there in ten minutes. Otherwise, otherwise, Ruan Wen Yao's voice trembled with horror, and he didn't know how to describe the lower half sentence. At this moment, Chen Zong suddenly leaned down and said in a calm and indifferent tone next to the phone, otherwise, if it takes more than a minute, I will collect your son's body. On the other end of the phone, Ruan Tan Long was silent for a while. Then his voice yelled ferociously on the phone, Chen Zonging. Let my son go right away, otherwise, he'll let you pay for it. Ten minutes, the countdown begins, it's out of date. Chen Zong looked up at the time, and then, with one foot, stepped on the phone. The atmosphere in the entire president's office was extremely strange and solemn. Chen Zonging just sat on the chair like this, slowly puffing out smoke rings. The clouds were light and breezy. By the way, do you have instant noodles? I didn't eat too much in the morning, and I was a little hungry. Chen Zonging looked indifferently, and looked at the Kuyiran on the side. Kuya's pretty face was stupefied and dull. After hesitating for a few seconds, she reacted, nodding, summoned the secretary Sun Xwin to the office. Xiexu, go make a bucket of instant noodles for Mr. Chen. Ku Yiren's voice was complicated, and he ordered. Sun Xwin, who had just walked into the office, also looked dazed, looking at Ruan Wen Yao on the ground in a complicated and suspicious manner, and then at Chen Sheng. What's going on? Yes, it took a long time for her to calm down and gently bowed her body, her pretty face turned around in consternation and walked out of the office. A few minutes later, Sun Gs walked into the president's office with a bucket of fragrant braised beef noodles. Mr. Chen, your noodles? Sun Gs with a complicated face, and carefully brought a bucket of hot instant noodles to Chen Zonging. Thank you. Chen Zonging looked at ease and reached out to take the instant noodles. He raised his wrist and glanced at the time. Seven minutes left. He was calm and indifferent, just sitting in the president's office and eating instant noodles. Since, Ku Yi said dot 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 leave Ruan Wen Yao for his life. Then Chen Zong didn't bother to kill again. However, Living sins cannot escape. Dare to do it in front of his of death, no matter what, there is a price to pay. Sitting on a chair, 
Ruan when Yao stepped on his feet. He just eats instant noodles lightly. A bowl of braised beef instant noodles was deliciously eaten by him. Ku Yiren stood aside blankly, with a complicated and inexplicable mood. Dot. At the same time, the Qus building was downstairs. One after another BMW cars are coming fast. Crunch. Dozens of BMW sedans slammed the brakes and slammed into the gate of Qus building. Dozens of cars directly blocked the clogged door of the building. Wow! A group of fighters in black suits suddenly got out of dozens of bodyguard cars. There are hundreds of people, murderous and terrifying, at the gate of the Ku Klan. The security guards who were about to step forward to stop, were directly frightened and turned back, and they didn't even dare to take a breath. Ruan Dan Long looked grim and cold, took hundreds of people, through his teacher and moved the crowd, and rushed into the Ku family mansion with murderous aura. He wanted to see what kind of person is that so-called Chen Zonging? Exclamation mark. Dare to threaten yourself so, the whole number of people in the hundred, rushed to the top floor of the KISS building. The crowded black crowd blocked the entire nine tiny in floor. The elevator entrance, the fire stairway, the safety passage. All the roads to go down are blocked. Ruan Dan Long looked grim and cold, and took a group of people step by step, to the door of the president's office. However, when Ruan Dan Long walked into the president's office, his pupils shrank suddenly. The picture in front of me is too weird and hideous. It made him so angry. I saw that my son was being stepped on the ground. And that young man sat quietly in a chair, enjoying instant noodles. This. It's humiliating. It's a shame. Father. Ruan Wenyao, who was stepped on the ground, screamed when he saw his father, shaking with excitement. Father is here, I. Can be saved. Oh. It's finally here. Chen Zonging was enjoying the noodles leisurely, otherwise he raised his hand and glanced at the time on his watch. Well, nine minutes, very punctual. His voice faintly said indifferently. If there is one more point, he dot 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 will end Ruan Wen Yao's life. However, it seems that it can save some effort. Ruan Tan Long led a group of dark and oppressive people just standing at the door of the president's office. His eyes were as cold as cold, and he slowly stared at Chen Zonging. This is the first time he saw this young man. Young man, give me an explanation. Ruan Tan Long endured the violent murderous intentions in his heart, staring closely at Chen Zong with his cold eyes. This is to discuss with Chen Zonging for an argument, putting the whole Jiang Nin away. Ruan Tan Long could make him angry to such an extent. I was afraid that ordinary people would not be able to do it. In fact, most people don't have the guts at all. When I eat, I never talk about business. Chen Zonging turned sideways to Ruan Tan Long, his tone indifferent. Ruan Tan Long. This is to hang his dignified head of Ruan family, chairman of Ruan Thi Medicine, in place. Brother Chen Zong at the noodles indifferently, with a refined temperament gently rolled up a thin noodle with a spoon, then passed it into his mouth and chewed. It's hard to imagine that at this moment, in such an atmosphere dot 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 he still wants to eat noodles. It's the first time I've seen a young man like you. It's not just arrogant, it's arrogant and arrogant. Ruan Tan Long squinted his eyes with a gloomy smile. Chen Zonging still ate the noodles indifferently, and at the same time he did not forget to take a sip of the delicious soup. For many years, I have never eaten braised beef noodles. The taste is still the same as it was more than ten years ago. It is nostalgic, he muttered to himself with a faint corner of his mouth. Ruan Tan Long, everyone, a bowl of braised beef noodles. It seemed that he felt like a Buddha jumped over the wall. However, Chen Zong's expression of indifferent recollection was so calm and calm. Even Ruan Tan Long, who read countless people, was in a trance for a moment. This, it looks like a young man who is less than thirty years old. After all, what is the origin? Why, dare to be so bold in this Jiangnan city? So, life and death? Because he was completely unclear about Chen Zong's specific purpose. Ruan Tan Long was not in a hurry to speak up. In the office, the air seemed a little depressed and cold. The fragrant bowl of braised beef noodles was gradually wiped out. However, Chen Zong did not let go of the fragrant soup. Holding the bowl, 
gently raise his head. The thick and smooth soup was sent into the throat. Faintly sighed, seeming to recall the past. He put down the empty bowl of dough. This instant noodle meal was not very full, but it was just right. Chapter 95 To cover the sky with one hand now, you should always have time to discuss business with someone Ruan. Ruan Tan Long's eyes fell towards Ruan Wen Yao, his son Ruan Wen Yao, who was trampled on by Chen Zongjin, even though he felt distressed, he couldn't bear it. The dignified daughter of the Ruan family, worth tens of billions, was so humiliated. If today's matter is not resolved properly, then he dot 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 won't be a father. In vain as the head of the Ruan family. Oh, we can talk now. Chen Zong took out a cigarette and lit it leisurely. Ruan Tan Long's eyes were cold, and he slowly said, Young man, since we are talking, we must have a talking attitude. Let go of your feet. Let my son go. How can he be trampled underfoot by the young director of his dignified Nguyen enterprise? This is simply humiliation. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Chen Zonging said calmly and calmly. Ha. Huh. At this moment, Ruan Tan Long's eyes condensed suddenly. Behind him, there was a crowd of black people, almost rioting. Chen dot 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 Sheng, do you think my Ruan family dot 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 I'm really afraid that you won't make it? Ruan Tan Long's eyes slowly narrowed, and a terrible killing intent slowly emerged. If you are acquainted, let my son go. Otherwise dot 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 you the end of the game will be ugly. Although, knowing this Chen Zonging is not easy. Although, even the two sons of the Huang family were killed by the young man in front of them. But Ruan Dan Long, after all, is the head of the family, a current entrepreneur, and a hero. He has been in the rivers and lakes for decades. Could it be that? Can he still be afraid that the young man in front of him will fail, no matter how strong it is? Seniority depends on seniority. Moreover, Ruan Tan Long is not an easy persimmon. The two sons of the Huang family. Dot 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 after all, they are too young. Among peers, it is difficult to estimate. And he, Ruan Tan Long, is an old man who has been around for decades. How could he be afraid of this trivial Chen Zonging? Exclamation mark. According to my usual principle, he should have been killed and left today. Keeping your son alive is an exception. Chen Zong picked up the wet wipes and looked at Ruan Tan Long as he wiped off the oil stains on the corners of his mouth. The air at the scene suddenly fell silent. Such a domineering, such arrogant statement is simply unprecedented. When Ruan Tan Long heard this, his eyes burst into flames with anger. It was a hideous murderous intent. Young man, let me go. Thea's still going to be talk about things. Otherwise, Ruan Tan Long narrowed his eyes, an invisible murderer saw a brewing in his eyes. At this time, outside the office, the black bodyguards were ready to go. Murderous intent. Contract your posture and speak, and there are still things to talk about. Otherwise, I will dispose of your son. Chen Zonging's eyes were faint, and similarly, he replied to Ruan Tan Long. The air is dead. Murderous, full. Ruan Tan Long's complexion became extremely hideous, and his pupils were murderous. You are really trying to challenge the patience of my Ruan family. Chen Zonging's gaze was faint, and he didn't bother to talk nonsense. His leather shoes dot 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 slammed on Ruan Wen Yao's palm. Crack, with a sound. Ruan Wen Yao's palm was crushed directly by the foot wherever the shoes were trampled on, and bloody. Ah, Ruan Wen Yao howled in horror, tears and nasal mucus pouring out frantically. Chen Zong dot 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 you. Ruan Tan Long was completely furious. Eyes are cracked. He couldn't think of it. Chen Zong. How dare, in public. Step on his son's palm? Exclamation mark. Now, can you have a good talk? Chen Zonging sat on the chair and slowly lit a cigarette, his eyes faint and calm. Okay, okay, okay. Ruan Tan Long's eyes forcibly endured the anger and killing intent. With difficulty, he suppressed the violent murderous spirit in his heart and restrained his breath. Chen Zonging, if you have something, talk about it, don't touch my son. With these words, Ruan Tan Long's status as a dignified chairman suddenly dropped. But, at this moment, 
he has no other choice. The sun is at the feet of the other party, and life and death are under the control of the other party. Now Ruan Tan Long can only sit down obediently and talk seriously. That's right. Chen Zonging's mouth raised an arc and took a deep breath. At this time, Ku Yiren was sitting at the side of the office, her pretty face extremely complex and light. At this moment, she gave all the rights to Mr. Chen. Ruan Wen Yao's matter is more appropriate for Mr. Chen to deal with than she is to deal with by a woman. Your son installed a bug in the Ku group illegally, and also illegally revealed the structure of the Ku group. How do you plan to give an explanation for this matter? Chen Zonging looked faintly and calmly staring at Ruan, Denon, Ha. Upon hearing this, Ruan Tan Long's pupils shrank suddenly. This, the secret of his cooperation between the Ruan family and the Huang family has been revealed? Exclamation mark. Mr. Chen, I don't understand what you're talking about. How could my son do that kind of thing? Ruan Tan Long asked with a solemn expression, pretending to be calm. Chen Zong gone through a bunch of electronic monitoring equipment in front of Ruan Tan Long. How do you explain what was found from your son? Chen Zong Ying looked at him lightly. Ruan Tan Long's complexion changed slightly. This, this must be framed. Ruan Tan Long turned his gaze to the Kui people and tried to divert the dialogue target. President Ku. This must be someone who framed my Ruan family. Trying to destroy the relationship between my Ruan family and your Ku family. Ruan Tan Long said with solemn eyes. But Ku Yiren didn't respond. But the beautiful eyes are calm, as if watching a play, just looking at Ruan Tan Long. Chen Zonging was still sitting on the chair, his leather shoes under his feet exerted a little force. Ah, Ruan Wen Yao's head suddenly hurt as if it exploded. His father Ruan Tan Long's gaze returned in an instant, and he stared closely at Chen Zonging. Chen Zonging took a deep breath of cigarettes with a faint voice. Also, your Ruan family secretly leaked the structure of the Kiss building. How would you explain it? Ha. Huh. At this moment, Ruan Tan Long's eyes flashed with shock and unpredictability. His Ruan family, the cooperation with the Huang family, must not be exposed. Chen Zonging, I don't understand what you're talking about. My Ruan family and Kiss Medicine have a very good cooperative relationship. How could I dot 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 do this kind of thing? Ruan Tan Long quilled. Oh, isn't it? Chen Zonging looked calm and looked at Ruan Tan Long lightly. Then, according to your opinion, don't you want to admit it, and don't want to compensate? Young man, if you have something to say, you must give evidence for everything. You let my son go, and if you have anything, it is easy to discuss. Ruan Tan Long looked deep and tried to negotiate with Chen Zonging. However, Chen Zong dot 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 but didn't plan to talk to him at all. He slowly exhaled a puff of smoke, then raised his leather shoes and stepped on Ruan Wen Yao's knee. Kaka. The sound of bone crushing echoed in the air. Ah. Ruan Wen Yao trembled with horror, it was a heart piercing pain. Chen Zonging. Ruan Tan Long shouted violently in a fierce rage. Do you dare to move my son a dry? Behind Ruan Tan Long. A group of black bodyguards rushed up. The entire president's office is blocked. Chen Zonging looked faintly, raised his leather shoes again, and stepped on Ruan Wen Yao's other knee. Crack! The leather shoes stepped down instantly, crushing Ruan Wen Yao's kneecap, of flesh and blood. Ruan Wen Yao's whole body trembled with severe pain. It was heart piercing torment. There was dead silence in the air and only the horrible howling of Ruan Gong Tsai reverberated. This is a naked provocation. Ah, Chen Zonging. Ruan Tan Long at this moment was completely violent and furious. It was an unprecedented loss of control. Murderous skyrocketing! Exclamation mark. The ancients said that it is the fault of the father. In my eyes, you are a failure as a father. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and he slowly spit out a smoke ring. Also, your Ruan family is in the south of the Yangtze River. You haven't reached the point of covering the sky with one hand. If your son has done something wrong, he should be educated instead of covering up. Chen Zonging stood up slowly, looking squarely at Ruan Tan Long. If you really don't want to teach, I can help you. At this time, his eyes were sharp and sharp. Even Ruan Tan Long, who has seen countless winds and waves, feels a little bit in his heart, 
this person, in the depths of his eyes. There is an aura that even he is afraid of. Chapter 96 Let my son go. Everything is easy to say suddenly, Chen Zonging raised his right foot again, and then his leather shoes fell, click, impartial, just stepping on Ruan Wen Yao's entire right arm, the sound of the bones exploding, it was like corn on a hot pan popping, and the sound was harsh, ah, in the next second, Ruan Van Yao's howling like a pig slayed through every inch of the scene, Chen Zong dot 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 you, you are looking for death. Ruan Tan Long has a hideous face. Seeing his own son, who was subjected to such abuse, his face twitched, even though he was stable and indifferent. He couldn't control the rage and murder at this time. In this Mijiangnan, no one can let me die. Chen Zong carried his hands on his back and stepped on his leather shoes again. This time, Ruan Wen Yao's left hand was directly broken. The sound of broken bones, bloody, miserable howling, a dot 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 father, save me dot 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 save me, Ruan when Yao was limp on the ground, crying and roaring, his whole body was trembling with severe pain, and it was terrible, Ruan Tan Long's eyes were blood red, his killing surged, and his forehead was violently violent, asshole thing, I won't kill you today, I promise not to be a human being, he shouted violently, behind him, Hundreds of people, crowded in black, swarmed, immediately surrounded Chen Zonging, Zheng Zheng Zheng, there was a sound of machete pulling out the scabbard, one hundred, a hundred-handed machete, killing turbulent, the entire president's officers spread from the inside to the outside of the office, in the crowded black crowd, sword lights emerged, however, facing this turbulent murderous intent. Chen Zonging was still indifferent. Shi Shiren sat back to his original position, and at the same time folded his hands on his chest. His eyes scanned calmly, fighting, willing to accompany you. He slowly lit the second cigarette. Yesterday, the second son of the Huang family was in the same position, but dot 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 their people seem to be more than you. Today, it's easier. Ha. Huh? Upon hearing this, Ruan Tan Long's complexion suddenly became ugly. Yup, he almost forgot. Yesterday, this young man stepped onto the door of the Huang family himself and killed the second son of the Huang family. But at this time today, this disaster has come to his Ruan family. Ruan Tan Long's face was cruel and cold, but he was so stalemate. After all, his son is at the feet of others. The son's life and death are controlled. He can only threaten dare not really do it. With the smell of cigarettes lingering, Chen Zonging sat there calmly, like an indifferent stone sculpture. The atmosphere in the entire office is filled with the smell of gunpowder. Chen Zonging, let go of my son. Everything is easy to say. Ruan Dan Long looked cold and tried to persuade him at last, otherwise, things will be difficult today. Ruan Tan Long's eyes were extremely solemn and cold. While speaking, he slowly, took out a black imitation pistol from his pocket, imitation 92 type, self-made pistol, although, Ruan Tan Long could not get real firearms from regular channels, however, as long as you spend money, you can still get high imitation firearms, they also have strong lethality, a single bullet, is enough to kill a person, the pitch black gun hole pointed directly at Chen Zonging, but Chen Zonging smiled, facing the dark barrel, he smiled lightly, yesterday, the second son of Huang dot 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 the submachine gun suppressed by heavy firepower couldn't help him, now, with this dot 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 the pediatrics like simulation gun dot 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 like, threatening yourself, your threat is really very minor in pediatrics, Chen Zonging said indifferently, with a hint of playfulness, at this moment, Ruan Tan Long's pupils shrank suddenly, his hand squeezed the trigger of the pistol severely. With a little effort, the bullet can burst out of the chamber. The atmosphere at the scene solidified and cooled to the extreme. Kuya's pretty face was calm, and he just sat in the president's chair. For some reason, at this moment, she is extremely quiet, although she is worried. But, as long as Chen Zong is present, all the panic in her heart will be suppressed, as if dissipated. This man invisibly, became her spiritual power. But at this moment, suddenly downstairs in the building, there was a rush of police sirens. At the entrance of Kyus building, 
Dozens of police cars rushed to the scene. A group of police uniformed criminals rushed out of the police car, dignified towards the upper floor of the KISS building. Dot. Policewoman Yamuxia led the team and led a group of police officers to the president's office on the 99th floor. Don't move. Everyone, put down your weapons. Yamuxia's face was solemn, she directly took out her gun, and screamed at the crowded people in the office. Police arrived. In the president's office, Ruan Tan Long's complexion changed, and silently, he hid the high imitation pistol in his sleeves. Then, he slowly turned around, looking straight at the policeman. Police officer, my Ruan family is dealing with private affairs. I don't need you to come forward here. Ruan Tan Long said slowly with cold eyes. This is the Shanghai market. Everything, obey the discipline. You brought people together to fight suspected of intimidation and blackmail, has constituted a criminal offence. Yi Muxia shouted in police uniform with a serious face. Ruan Tan Long's eyes were deep and cold, police officer, can you tell me who? The police called? It's me, I called the police. At this moment, outside the office, Secretary Sungs walked in with a complicated face holding his mobile phone. At that moment, the conflict at the scene intensified and she was worried, so she hurried to call the police. Oh, Secretary Sunday. Very good. Ruan Tan Long's eyes were deep and cold, and he slowly scanned Sung's. Then, he turned his head again and looked at Chen Zonging. Today, the police arrived. This conflict cannot continue. There is a note, Ruan Tan Long dot 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 it is inconvenient to shoot. Chen Zonging, you dot 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 very good. From today, I... Ruan Tan Long, remember you. Ruan Tan Long's eyes revealed endless terrifying murderous intent. Today, his son was injured here. Do not avenge this revenge, and swear not to be human. It's just that this hatred, today, cannot retaliate. The note is here, you can't do it. Chen Zonging still sat on the chair calmly, slowly puffing out smoke rings. This city, there should be many people who remember me but I don't know how long you can remember me. His voice was faint, calm and indifferent. Even in the face of endless murderous intent, he is still indifferent. On the side, Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes are complicated, with a strange look, looking at Mr. Jin's figure. Yup, even the huge crowds of the Huang family couldn't stop him. And this mere hundred people in front of him, what counts in front of him? Now, can you let go of my son? Ruan Tan Long stared at Chen Zong with a stern look, holding back the endless killing intent in his heart. Oh, of course. Anyway, I have finished my lesson. Chen Zong said, kicking his leather shoes. Hum. Ruan Wen Yao's body, like a doll, was kicked and flew in front of Ruan Tan Long. Seeing this scene, Ruan Tan Long's pupils suddenly condensed again. That is endless and turbulent murder. His Ruan family, when and where? Have he suffered such humiliation? This simply lost the face of the Ruan family. He slapped his Ruan family fiercely. However, at this moment, Ruan Tan Long has no other way. Only, admit it. Ruan Tan Long looked cold, greeted his two subordinates and carefully supported the young master Ruan Wen Yao. At this time, Ruan Wen Yao was like a dead pig, covered in blood, and couldn't even walk. Four or five subordinates worked together to lift him up. Go. Ruan Tan Long looked cold, turned around and left. Today, this hatred cannot be avenged. Even if Ruan Tan Long had the idea of slaughtering Chen Zonging thousands of times in his heart at this time, he could only endure it forcibly, because the paper is there. Tiozi was there and couldn't do it. Ruan Tan Long led hundreds of people and walked slowly outside the office. His son was hurt by Chen Zong. This grudge, he will definitely dot 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 will personally avenge it. Stop, you are suspected of gathering a crowd to fight, and turn in your weapons. Yi Muxia brought a group of police officers forward and shouted with a solemn expression. In public, illegal possession of controlled knives is a felony. What's more, there are hundreds of people and hundreds of knives. This nature is extremely serious. However, Ruan Tan Long looked cold. He didn't pay attention to the police in front of him at all, but took hundreds of people, rushed away from the police officers with a cold face, 
and then, arrogantly left, in this Jiangnan city, dot 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 rules and laws dot 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 never have been able to restrain his Ruan family, the reader group, 310,745,503, all extra plots, are announced in the reader group, chapter 97 except asylum looking at Ruan Tanlong's arrogant figure, leading people away. The faces of all the policemen present became a little ugly and complicated. How long did this court hall in Jiangnan city become a decoration? Families are rampant and power swept across. The so-called law of law is just a tool to do whatever you want in front of those behemoths. Yi Muxia's beautiful eyes were deep and complicated and she watched through Aunt Anlong and others leave. Everyone is powerless. In the president's office, silence was restored. Policewoman Yimuxia's eyes were complicated, she glanced around, and then locked onto Chen Zonging. With a pretty face, she solemnly walked in front of Chen Zonging. Chen Zonging, your grievances with the Huang family cannot be resolved by ordinary means. I advise you, it is best to accept the police asylum, otherwise, things will get worse. Yi Muxia's pretty face was extremely dignified, staring at him and said, the police's network of influence is spreading all over the place, and how can they not know the grievances between Chen Zongying and the Huang family? However, due to the power of the Huang family, the police could not intervene at all. Chen Zonggong calmly lit a cigarette and glanced at Yi Muxia faintly, don't bother. He only replied four words, calmly and indifferently. I advise you, it is best to understand the seriousness of the matter. Now, this Jiangnan is no longer a place where you can stay. To register, you must leave. The police will arrange a foolproof evacuation route for you. Yi Muxia said with solemn eyes. Indeed. Today's Shanghai and Shanghai markets are almost completely blocked by the Huang family. Not even a fly can fly out. It is difficult for Chen Zong to fly. If he wants to leave, he must rely on the power of the police. However, his eyes were indifferent, and the corners of his mouth raised an arc. If some families want to die, then I don't mind. Send them a ride. Chen Zonging slowly spit out a smoke ring and glanced at Yi Muxia. Inspector Yi, these days dot 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 you have to prepare enough vacancies in the morgue of your police station. Otherwise, I'm afraid that when the time comes, there will be no corpses in the morgue. Yi Muxia was stunned when he said this. A group of police officers present were also shocked. This, how overbearing it takes to dare to say such a thing? Does the power of one person really think that it can resist the entire century old giant? Do you really regard this Shanghai market as a playground next door? Stupid and arrogant. Do you really think dot 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 you can fight those forces on your own? A police officer furiously stepped forward and said, If you don't cooperate with the police, you will die. Retreat. But Yi Muxia had a complicated face and repelled the police officer. She gave Chen Zong a deep look with beautiful eyes. Mr. Chen, you can do it for yourself. If you need cooperative asylum, you can contact the Shanghai Municipal Public Security Bureau at any time, and we will come forward as soon as possible. After Yi Muxia finished speaking, she turned around and left with a group of police officers. Solemnly and suddenly, the entire president's office was quiet again. Ku Yiren sat weakly and weakly on the president's chair, stroked her bangs and long hair lightly, and her delicate face was full of complex tiredness. The current situation has made her more and more difficult to control. The secretary Sun Gs stood aside, feeling a little complicated and didn't dare to speak. Chen Zong Zong walked out of the office slowly with a cigarette in his mouth. The moment he passed Sun Gs, he suddenly vomited, your alarm is unnecessary. Hearing this, Sun Gzu's pretty face suddenly lowered, she is a little complicated, and it feels like she has done something wrong. Mr. Chen, are you angry? But, I was only worried about him dot 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 that's why I called the police. However, thank you very much. Just as Chen Zong walked out of the office. He added another sentence. Hearing these words, Sun Xu's slightly depressed and depressed mind was slightly startled. Mr. Chen, didn't you blame yourself? Dot. At the same time, Hu Hai City, 
Pwashan Hospital, a whole row of BMW 7 Series cars suddenly stopped at the door of the emergency room. A group of members in black suits rushed into the emergency room carrying Ruan Wen Yao's corpse. Quick, emergency, where's the doctor? Call me the best doctors in your hospital. Ruan Dan Long looked anxious and shouted into the hall. At this moment, the prestigious and prestigious chairman Ruan in Shanghai and Hei Hai City with a fierce and anxious face, has long since lost the old days. The son was severely injured, this. But the lifeblood of his Ruan family. Soon, dozens of top expert doctors from the hospital rushed out. Ruan Wen Yao was covered in blood and was pushed into the intensive care unit urgently. This is already his second time in the palace, the previous time, a piece of paper by Chen Zonging. The whole ear was cut off. Now, the whole legs and arms are all crushed. Dozens of top chief physicians of the hospital came forward in person and performed emergency operations for them. However, when the doctors saw the end crushing wounds on Ruan Wen Yao's legs, all the doctors, all gasped. Several cowardly female doctors were so scared that they almost fainted on the spot. Ruan Wen Yao's entire kneecap has been completely crushed, and all cartilage tissue, all shattered into one piece. How can I treat this? Exclamation mark. What kind of weapon was hurt by this? Can I crush my entire knee like this? Half an hour later, the chief doctors looked solemn and complicated and walked out of the operating room. Ruan Dong, your son's leg dot 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 must be amputated, otherwise dot 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 it can't be saved. The chief doctors said with solemn expressions. What? End? Upon hearing these words, Ruan Tan Long's body trembled in the operating room and almost fainted to the ground. Several men hurriedly supported him. Ruan Tan Long looked grim. No matter what method you use dot 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 you must keep my son's legs. This is the lifeblood of the Ruan family. How can I amputate? Exclamation mark. Ruan Dong dot 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 this is really the only way. Smack. Ruan Dan Long looked grim and slapped the doctor's face with a slap in the face. A doctor fell directly to the ground, bleeding from his mouth. Today, if my son's legs can't be cured, I will interrupt the legs of you quacks. Ruan Dan Long's eyes were terrifying and ferocious, it was endless murderous intent. Exclamation mark. If so, today's son's legs cannot be cured, then. He will let all the doctors be buried together! Exclamation mark. The complexions of all the doctors present changed. This, under these threats, how dare they? All afternoon, the operation was going on in the operating room. However, Ruan Wen Yao's legs and knees have been shattered into one piece. No matter how the doctors pieced it together, after all, finally, a group of doctors looked ugly and pale, and slowly walked out of the operating room. Ruan Dong dot 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 I'm sorry. The attending doctors were extremely pale, walked out of the operating room, bowed to Ruan Tan Long and apologized. They are powerless. Ah. Uh, trash. Useless trash. Ruan Tan Long was completely ferocious at this moment, and all the rage flames in his heart exploded in an instant. Give me. Break the legs of this group of trash quack doctors. With a violent drink, the darkened members stepped forward, and on the spot, assaulted. There was a burst of miserable howls, fractures and fractures. The legs of more than a dozen chief doctors were actually interrupted by Ruan Tan Long on the spot. This is simply unprecedented fierce. Ruan Tan Long had a hideous face and clenched his fists. It was a murderous opportunity merging. My son's legs were trampled to pieces, and now dot 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 I am afraid that he will be disabled for life. This is simply breaking his Ruan from this fateful incense. Exclamation mark. Chen Zong, Kuyiren, I and you, don't share the heavens. Ruan Tan Long's murderous intent emerged, and the sky was angry. Exclamation mark. Chapter 98 If I step on the door in the evening, at sunset, the entire sky was dyed red. At the entrance of Kiss Building, a black Mercedes Benz S600 waited quietly. Kuyiren and Chen Zonggong walked out of the building. The driver respectfully opened the door for the two of them. Boarding. Go away. Five Mercedes Benz cars formed a protective convoy and drove slowly on the street. Kuya's pretty face is complicated, 
She turned her head and looked out of the car window, perhaps only she could bear the pressure in her mind. Now, the sword of the Huang family is pointing straight at himself. The external troubles have not been resolved, but the internal troubles continue to turmoil. First, the group's internal antiques were fighting for rights, and the family was eyeing it. Now, even the partner's Ruan family has become a stinger. Everything around her is becoming an opposing existence. Everyone has only one goal. The project she has in her hands. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes were deep and complicated, and he sighed, not knowing how to deal with it. On the side, Chen Zonging sat quietly on the chair, folded his hands naturally around his chest closed his eyes and rested. It seems that all the turbulence has nothing to do with him. Along the way, the waves were calm. The evening sun dyes the sky red, and the streetscape buildings on both sides of the street are dyed pale gold by the setting sun. The setting sun and the sea are quiet and inexplicable. There is no crisis, no turmoil. Half an hour later, the Mercedes-Benz fleet drove safely into the Qjia Manor. Although, the wind and waves are quiet along the way. However, Ku Yiren's mind is extremely complicated and solemn. She doesn't know how long this seemingly calm day can last. With a complicated mood, he walked into the villa. In the hall, dinner is ready. At six o'clock in the evening, the dinner starts. How did you deal with the leaked company drawings? Father Ku Huihai asked slowly, sitting right in front of the dining table. About yesterday, the Ku group was besieged by the Huang family. Huang's unscrupulously broke into the research room on the 77th floor. His father already knew. At this time, it's a big deal. If this matter is not found out, the entire Ku clan will always be under the secret surveillance of the enemy. It's found out. Kuya's pretty face was a little complicated. It's. The Ruan family did it. Oh, Ruan's family? At this moment, upon hearing this answer, Kui Huihai's complexion changed slightly. Ruan's family is the supplier of pharmaceutical raw materials for the Ku group. It is one of the largest cooperative suppliers of Gushi group. Most of the raw materials for Kus medicines are provided by the Ruan family. But, under such a close cooperative relationship, Ruan family, unexpectedly, betrayed. How do you deal with it? Kui Huihai asked with a slightly deep gaze. This Ruan family is the largest partner of Kyus Medicine. Under such circumstances, how to deal with it will be a huge problem. Kuya's pretty face was a little complicated. He hesitated, and said slowly, I will hand over the disposal power to Mr. Chen. At the table, the atmosphere became somewhat inexplicable. Therefore, Kui Huihai looked at Chen Zonging again. Xiao Chen, the Ruan family. Kui Huihai suddenly felt a little restless. Chen Zonging's eyes were calm, and he stuck a piece of beef with a fork in his hand and passed it into his mouth. Ruan Wen Yao, my legs were scrapped. Ha! Huh. The air on the dining table suddenly fell silent. Kui Huihai's pupils shrank. The whole heart cold a lot. Sure enough, things are still out of control. Xiao Chen is too young. Dot 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 too energetic. Such a young man is bound to cause catastrophe, interrupted Ruan Wen Yao's leg. This dot 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 the matter was completely upset. Ruan family broke. The consequences are unimaginable. At the dinner table, his wife Liu Xiangnan also had a pretty face in disbelief, looking at Xiao Chen blankly. He actually interrupted Ruan Wen Yao's leg. This can lead to catastrophe. Under the little witch Gush Wang, her beautiful eyes widened, and the chicken leg that had just been passed in in her mouth also fell out. Hey, Xiao Chen, you dot 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 too impulsive. Kui Huihai sighed, his face full of helplessness, interrupting Ruan Wen Yao's leg. Things. There is no way out. This Ruan family will never stop dying. Today. The hatred of the Huang family for that century has not been resolved. But now, it has caused the partners to break up. This is an unprecedentedly difficult situation. Chen Zong took a sip of the red wine, and said calmly, Don't interrupt your leg, do you have any other ways, Kudong? As soon as this remark came out, Kui Huihai was stunned. His eyes were complicated, and he was silent for a long time. This, it seems. Indeed, 
There is no other way to save it. Ruan's rebellion is an indisputable fact. Could it be that he tried to dot 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 make the Ruan family look back? Continued cooperation? Driven by interests. What is the so-called loyalty? What if you don't interrupt Ruan when Yao's leg? Could it be that he tried to sit down and talk with the Ruan family? Let them continue to cooperate? Kui Hui Hai sighed and the vicissitudes of life in his eyes were a helpless control of the situation. Today's Jiangnan situation, under the turmoil, even he can't control it. For a moment, he even shook. Did my daughter start that project? Is it right? Dot 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 wrong? This project may make his Ku family completely embark on the international stage and be engraved into history. However, it is also possible dot 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 to make the Ku family fall away and become the ashes in the wheel of history. Did you really break Ruan when Yao's leg at the table? The witch Ku Shuang couldn't believe it. She moved her chair and sat directly in front of Chen Zonging. She looked at the elegant white face too thin a suit in disbelief. This, I can't believe it. How is this possible? How do you look at this little white face? He is so gentle. How could it be possible to do such an unbeatable thing? Chen Zonging slowly cut the steak with a knife and fork, then glanced at her gently from the corner of his eye. I ignored her. Hey dot 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 and yesterday. How did you break into the Huang family and kill the second son of the Huang family? Ku Shuang put his jade hand on Chen Zong's arm and asked with a look of surprise and curiosity. Have you ever practiced Kung Fu? This little girl, the curiosity that had been holding back for a long time was completely aroused. Her beautiful eyes fixed on Chen Zong Fu, as if she wanted to give this man from the inside out see through the general. At the dinner table. Father Kui Hui Hai and Kui Yiren also looked at Chen Zonging with complicated eyes. This is indeed the answer that their father and daughter have always wanted to know. They are hard to imagine. Chen Zonging alone, single-handedly. How did he break into the Huang family? And, the one who cut off Huang Hongyui's head? Exclamation mark. The Huang family is a century-old mansion. Looking at the ancient house of the Huang family, for a hundred years, no one has dared to break in alone and can come out alive. Chen Zonging took a piece of steak leisurely, then raised his glass and took a sip of red wine. Any ants, if I step on the door, I am dot 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 no one can stop it. The whole table was silent for an instant. Arrogant, overbearing, unmatched. His answer is so simple and so vertical. People are as they are. Dot. Late at night. The ancient house of the Huang family in Shanghai. At this moment, the Huang's house is padded with a piece of white linen cloth, and on the surrounding bricks and tiles, white lanterns are hung. This is a funeral lantern. In the center of the ancient house compound, there is a huge dragon ice coffin made of platinum placed horizontally. The second son, Huang Hongyui's body, lay peacefully in the dragon ice coffin. He is wearing a golden silk dragon robe which is more noble than the clothes his elder brother had before his death. And the only thing that makes people feel creepy is his head, because his head was cut off. The corpse is separated. Therefore, at this moment, even if Huang Hongyui's head is spliced, it still cannot be restored. You can still see the huge split in the neck. Huang Hongyui's head was very hideous, even before he died. He couldn't believe that he would be cut off by someone. Although his pupils have been closed, the corners of his eyes dot 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 have already loomed traces of blood and tears. No one thought that it was only half a month after the murder of Huang's father-in-law. The second son of the Huang family would actually be assaulted and killed by this. Moreover, he was attacked and killed on the spot in the Huang's house. The lord of the Huang family, Huang Zengming was dressed in a morning robe. He just stood in front of the morning hall, standing sluggishly, like a century-old stone sculpture. He has not eaten for two consecutive days. At the knee, the last son was killed. How can he still have the mind to eat? My new breed, are you pregnant? Huang Zengming stood there, staring at his son's predecessor for a long time, and then slowly spoke. Next to him, Uncle Zong was wrapped in bandages, sitting in a wheelchair, slowly pushing the wheelchair forward, master dot 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 not pregnant, uncle Zong said with an old voice, trembling lightly, the night before, 
the second son was killed that night. The master rushed to find an 18-year-old female high school student, and forced the seedlings, trying to plant the seeds successfully and continue the incense for the Huang family. However, the results of the hospital test showed that there was no response. Upon hearing this, Huang Zengming's complexion became even more tens of years old. Tonight, prepare medicine. He slowly spit out two words. After all, old age is already high. How difficult is it to plant seeds? His Huang family wants to continue the bloodline incense, he can only borrow the power of medicine to assist. Report, master. Someone outside the door asks to see you. At this moment, a domestic servant hurriedly rushed in from the outside. Chapter 99 Internal and External Troubles Who? Huang Zengming asked Sen Leng with faint eyes. Today, the funeral of the two sons has not yet begun, and they lie down in the coffin for three days, just to save them. The entire Huang family is almost in a state of lockdown, and no one is allowed to enter. And at this time, there are people who don't want to die, dare to come to the door to disturb the souls of the two sons. It's Ruan Tang Long of the Ruan family. His subordinates reported cautiously. He said, there are important things, and I would like to discuss with you. It has something to do with the Ku group. In Huang Zengming's eyes, a slight breath flashed. Let him, come in. Soon, Ruan Tang Long was brought in. He has quick steps and his face is solemn. Tang Long. I have seen Mr. Huang. Ruan Tan Long came to Huang Zengming and bowed respectfully. Huang Zengming stared at Ruan Tan Long with his hands behind his back. His eyes wide. Mr. Huang, my Ruan family, secretly helping you, is known to the Kiwi. Now, my Ruan family and Kiss Medicine have broken. Mr. Huang, please help me, and together, Destroy that kiss medicine. Ruan Tan Long pleaded with a solemn face. Huang Zengming looked at him slowly. Tell me about your plan. Mr. Huang, my Ruan's family is Ku's long term medicinal material supplier. Now, since her Kui is not benevolent, then don't blame me for being unrighteous. I only need capital to raise the price of raw materials. All the time, the entire Ku group. All will fall into the point where there is no material to use. The supply chain is broken, and the of the Kiwi people will be forever. Ruan Tan Long said with a hideous face and methodically. He had already deduced this plan a long time ago. A few years ago, he had already sprouted the possibility of breaking with the Ku group. For the project in the hands of Ku Yiren, this is the final killer move. It's just that today, it was used in advance. Huang Zengming's face was calm, unable to see any breath fluctuations. Okay, how much money do you want? My Huang family will help it together. Huang Zengming only faintly replied a word, and then turned around and walked into the back house. Hearing these words from the head of the Huang family, Ruan Tan Long's expression was extremely excited. With the funding of the Huang family, this battle of the capital supply chain will surely defeat Kiss Medicine. Ku Yiren. Chen Zonging, you, you will surely die without a place to be buried. Dot. A deep night, when a touch of oriental fish belly slowly emerged from the sky, the whole city awakened from the fog. In Kiss Manor, Ku Yiren and Chen Zonging had finished their breakfast and walked out of the villa slowly. Five Mercedes Benz cars stopped quietly and waited. Get in the car and leave. Along the way, it was very quiet. This is already a full month since the conflict between the Huang family. Over the past month, the entire Shanghai has been in turmoil. But the Kiwi people did not suffer any crisis. But the more so, the stronger the anxiety in Ku Yiren's heart. The calmest time is often the most dangerous time. She would not understand this truth. Half an hour later, the Mercedes-Benz fleet slowly stopped in front of the Kiss building. Ku Yiren got out of the car, then stepped on high heels and walked into the Kiss mansion. And Chen Zonggong, with a cigarette in his mouth, followed in faintly. Take the elevator to the 99th floor president's office area. Ku Yiren's pretty face was calm, and he slowly walked into the office and started the office. But, not long after she sat down. A quick phone call came. Ku Yi was puzzled, 
and glanced at the call. Was it from the group's material procurement department? She answered the phone in doubt. Mr. Ku, something went wrong. An anxious report from the director of the purchasing department came through the phone. Our partner, Ruan Thi Pharmaceutical. The price of materials was raised overnight. Almost three times. This is simply a monopoly! Exclamation mark. Ha! Huh. Hearing this, Ku Yiren's pretty face condensed suddenly. Ruan family, this is a complete break, and it's starting to fight back. Cooperation for many years, but eventually fell apart. Almost all the raw materials of the Ku group are provided by the Ruan family. Now, the Ruan family suddenly raised prices and monopolized the market. This is to put the Ku group to death. Without raw materials, all assembly lines may be suspended. The group's capital chain may even break. Ku Yiren's beautiful eyes are dignified, thinking in her heart. This Ruan family, where did the funds come from? To monopolize the market. This is not what the current financial resources of the Ruan family can do, unless, behind dot 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 there is a huge financial support! Exclamation mark. At this moment, in Ku Yiren's mind, the Huang family merged involuntarily. The Ruan family, eventually dot 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 as it become the running dog of the Huang family, abandon the Ku group and cooperate with the Huang family, driven by interests. The Ruan family rebelled. Ku Yi had a serious face and dialed the number of the strategic department. Immediately, activate the resources of all backup suppliers. Immediately carry out cost reduction and initiate a strategic capital emergency. The Ku group has a huge scale of tens of billions. Although there are backup suppliers, but it can only last for a few days. The scale of KISS medicine is too large and such a large supply of materials and generally small channels cannot meet the demand for assembly lines. Therefore, another way must be found. Ku Yiren called his father, Ku Hui Hai. On the call, Ku Hui Hai looked solemn after learning of this, so he immediately prepared to leave for Hangzhou, hundreds of kilometers away, to find cooperation channels. Today, the entire Jiangnan Huhai is monopolized by the Huang family and Ruan family. To break through the blockade, you must dot 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 go to other provinces to find new channels. Dot. Huhai, Phase Villa. Fki's face was faint, and he slowly sat on the sofa, shaking the red wine glass in his hand. His daughter Fan Jin waited by the side with a respectful face. Father, now that the Ku group is in crisis, how should we? Respond? Fan Jin asked with a serious face. Chi lightly shook the wine glass and took a sip at the corner of his mouth. Ruan Tang Long's trick. But dot 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 gave us the family and opened up an opportunity. Fki's voice was faint, revealing endless depth. Father, what do you mean? Fan Jin's pretty face condensed slightly, as if she had guessed something. Take advantage of the chaos and go straight to the vital point of Kiwi. Fki's eyes were deep and he nodded slowly. Now, it is a good time to convene a general meeting of shareholders. Kiwi people are incapable of leading the company and the company is in trouble. All the time. Guess how the shareholders will vote? Fki's voice is calm, but he is in charge. The strategy of the world. Fanjin condensed her pretty face and nodded. Understand. My daughter will set out now and go to the company. Dot 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 convene shareholders and hold a shareholders meeting. Wait a moment, Fchi said suddenly. He sipped all the red wine in the glass with one sip, then, slowly got up from the sofa. Wait for me, change into a suit. As he said, he slowly walked up the stairs of the villa. Father, what are you going to do, personally? Fanjin's pretty face was a little surprised. Of course. Today's meeting, I dot 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 personally held it. Fki's voice was deep and calm, and his figure slowly walked up the stairs. Upon hearing this, Fanjin's beautiful eyes flashed with shock. Father, actually planned to come out in person. Since his father became a veteran shareholder of the company, he has never visited the group's government affairs in person. He has never attended any shareholder meetings. Everything was done by her Fanjin. But today, my father, unexpectedly, intends to come out in person. Chapter 100 Dynasty Change Half an hour later, 
Q's building was downstairs. One after another luxury cars stopped at the gate of Q's building. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Bentley dot 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 a series of luxury cars. A shareholder member in a neat suit got out of the car one after another. They all received an urgent notice from Fchi and came to Q's mansion to attend the general meeting of shareholders. Nowadays, the Q group is full of crises. These shareholders, their own interests are naturally involved, and they are extremely anxious. Today's general meeting of shareholders must be decisive. Shareholders kept rushing to the group and hurried upstairs. At the same time, a silver Jaguar XJ sedan was also approaching from a distance. When the security guards at the door saw this Jaguar car, they were respectful and saluted. The license plate of this car dot 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 but it's a special note. This license plate represents the identity of the major shareholder in the group. The Jaguar XJ car slowly stopped in front of the Kiss building. A security guard respectfully stepped forward and took the initiative to open the door for him. Fchi walked out of the car door slowly, wearing a black suit and a pair of gold-rimmed glasses. Fdong. Good morning. The security guard greeted very respectfully. The man in front of him is one of the directors and shareholders of the group who never show up. Dong Fchi looked calm and nodded slowly. Behind him, Fanjin in a black hole uniform also got out of the car. The father and daughter looked calm and indifferent, just like that. Walked all the way towards the group building. Dot. Q's building. Nine tiny in floors, in front of a huge conference room of hundreds of square meters. The entire conference room table is full of people. Dozens of shareholders of Kiss Building were all sitting together. These people were all the people who followed Kuihuihai and struggled together. Today, they have become the senior directors of the company. A general meeting of shareholders involving major decisions of the Ku group is about to begin. However, Today, Kuihuihai is not there. He went to Hangzhou in person because he was looking for new supply channels. Now in this Kiss mansion, the biggest talker is Kuyiran. However, Kuyiran did not personally visit the meeting room at this moment. She is still in the office, dealing with the campaign's crisis public relations urgently. Dozens of shareholders sat together in the conference room of Novosibirsk University, discussing. At this moment, Fchi dressed in a straight suit, finally slowly appeared at the door of the meeting room. In the meeting room, a group of shareholders quieted down one after another. Old friends, it's been a long time. Fk's eyes were deep, with leather shoes under his feet, and slowly walked into the meeting room. In the meeting room, a group of shareholders got up one after another to greet Fchi. After all, in this shareholder meeting, the Fakey family is one of the veritable major shareholders. In addition to Kuihuihai, Fchi is the second shareholder. Today, Kuihuihai is not at the scene. Therefore, Fchi is the greatest right. Fchi's eyes are faint. He enjoys this feeling. Above 10,000 people, respect him. He held his back with his hands and walked steadily, slowly coming to the front of the conference table. The position directly in front is vacant. The largest shareholder. Kuihuihai is not there. But now, this position belongs to him. Fk's eyes were faint, and he slowly settled down. All the shareholders present have their own merits. However, no one came forward to object. In terms of equity, Fchi has the largest equity in the room, and he is the boss. Daughter Fanjin stepped on high heels and sat beside her father. Where is the Kuyiran? Fchi looked faintly, scanned the surroundings slowly and asked she should be still in the office. Dealing with public relations issues, a female shareholder explained. Fk's eyes narrowed slightly, let her come over to the meeting, I will notify her immediately. The female shareholder did not dare to be ambiguous, and immediately dialed Kuyiran's phone and notified her to come to the shareholder's meeting. A few minutes later, outside the meeting room, there was a sound of high heels. A beautiful shadow appeared at the door. Kuyiran walked into the conference room slowly, wearing a uniform with long hair lightly draped over his shoulders. At this time, she seemed a little tired. Throughout the morning, the company was facing a major crisis in public relations. And my father went to Hangzhou again and mobilized to find new suppliers.
Today's Ku group is almost a mess. And at this critical moment, the family actually made a move to convene a shareholder meeting. This is tantamount to worsening the situation. Chaos adds to chaos. In, here comes. Fchi was sitting right above the conference table with a gentle expression, Chonky Uyiran gestured. At this moment, he seemed to be uncle from the Kuyi population. It's just that the identity at this moment has changed. The family had shared hardships with his father and had a life and death relationship. But now, the swords are facing each other secretly, fighting for power, everything is changed because of interests. Under the benefit, edify people's hearts. A trace of complexity flashed in Kuyiran's beautiful eyes, and he slowly pulled a chair away and took a seat. Fchi sat directly above, cleared his throat, and looked around. Everyone, today, my Ku group, was under attack. Considering that the matter is serious, I, Fchi, will come forward to preside over this general meeting of shareholders. Fchi's voice was faint, but with a deep vigor. After all, it is decades old. Back then, following Ku Hui Hai, he learned a lot of abilities, intrigue and deceive, experience in the arena. The rise of Chi also represents the ambition of the family. Chi is a hero, and his daughter, Fanjin, is no less inferior. The father and daughter try dot 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 with the greatest authority, to change the entire Ku clan. All the shareholders present did not speak, and the complexion on everyone's face seemed a bit solemn. After all, Today is indeed a critical stage for the group. The Ruan family betrayed, the group's supply chain was broken, and the Huang family's threat of coercion. Everything has caused panic within the entire group. Fchi looked deep, scanned the crowd, and then slowly said, Today's conference, the main one, has two agendas. First, public voting, whether it should hand over Project X and announce it to the shareholders' meeting. Hearing this, Kuyiran's beautiful eyes lightly condensed. Sure enough, is it for the project in your hands? Exclamation mark. Previously, many persecutions were fruitless. Today, does the family go out in person and try to pass the board of directors to threaten it? I have objections. Kuyiran raised her hand, her voice calm. Project X was developed by myself and was not included in the group's property. The project patent belongs to me and I have no need to provide it. Her beautiful eyes are calm, but there is a touch of firmness in them. Today, my father is not present. Throughout the shareholders meeting, Ku Yi people were isolated. Almost a half of the Centaur face faction. As the head of the group president, you are in charge of the group. Your identity is bound to the group. Naturally, your project must be announced to the public, Fchi said slowly with deep eyes, unless, he paused in his voice and continued, but there was a sharp flash in his eyes, unless, you are willing to give up your identity as the president of the company, ha, huh. as soon as this remark came out, the entire conference room was shocked, this, this is to, force the palace, 